Well met, adventurer, and welcome to my underground lair. More nine all. Good vibes to all you lovely people.
Let's get ready to crumble. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, and of course, good day. Welcome aboard, folks, for another interesting first try, I'm sure. Good vibes be with you all. Good vibes, YouTube. Good morning, cowhounds. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We need, we need crumbs. We need the thing. All right. Ha! Ah. Boop. Moo! Good morning, cowhounds. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Blutonum. Uh, good morning, Falcon. Uh, good morning. Blutonum's here. If you want to uh, send Blutonum a link to look at. Uh, Twiz Amber's here. Good morning and good vibes. Evil Treb's here. Good morning. Uh, Gamel's here. Good morning. Jurak uh, here as part of the side quest crew this morning. And I'll do my best, Jurak. Uh, good morning, Padabala. Welcome aboard. Good vibes be with you all. And Captain Chaos coming in with a tier one and the 43 months. Thank you so very, very much. Good morning, Zitalia. Yeah, thank you. We have got side quests upon side quests this morning. So starting a lot later than I intended to, but that don't matter. We'll make up for it. We did overtime yesterday, so we're good. Pretty sure my, uh, I'm pretty sure that my clock balance is fine. <laughs> uh, good morning, kind lurkers. Good morning, uh, Destiny's parent. Welcome aboard. Going Gray's here with us. Good morning. Piper Parr is lurking like a champ because he's helping his uh, mom move. So good luck with that, Piper Parr. Hope that's going smoothly for you. Uh, Zitalia, thank you for your uh, words on, on the PZ topic. Indeed, I hope you guys are going well. Um... I don't know if there's a link or anything that we can, uh, like, over the Discord, some 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 direction we can send people in when we shout that out, but I just thought I'd mention it. But yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the setup that I had, for sure. I, I'm, there's no way that a game is intended to just l literally infuriate you within within the space of five minutes. It's, that ain't right. Uh, good morning, Delana. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the good vibes, as always. Uh, Laboratory load is here with the poop. Okay. Well, you can keep that in your poop corner. Uh, no, bad. No. Oh, don't don't make us spray you. Uh, Sublight's here. Good morning. Speaking of selling games to viewers, says the Destiny's parent. Where do I sense a... a viewer rant starting i entirely blame grumbles and his star citizen cinematic shots for finally getting my things together and learn how to play stellaris after many years of dusting uh on my digital shelf <laughs> nice enjoy you know what's funny i was scrolling through my list of games i've not really played and one of them was stellaris and i was like could we do that sometime i don't know probably not that's a funny coincidence i love it i hope you're enjoying uh the experience hey disco welcome g'day mate and welcome this Jurak gifting a tier one sub to waterproof Scott. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jurak. Uh, uh, Minra is here. Hello, welcome in. Bow, I bow to you. Uh, respectfully and politely. Welcome in. Thank you. I hope you're well too. Let's go with some good vibes. Bit of a rough 48 hours for you, Disco. That's sad to hear that, buddy. I hope that the next 48 hours are incredibly gentle and kind to you. I put the link in Game Talk in Discord. Oh, okay. Uh, that's probably a good place for it. Developer of Survival MMO Last Oasis explains why they're launching Bellright. Fire 90% of my studio or we start a new game. Wow, okay. Okay, well, Snail Games uh, are the publishers, and presumably if they have purchased uh, Donkey Crew and uh, put the thumb screws on them, that's a sad thing. So, anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to look at this new product and see if it's any fun. And that's it. End. So, I know that some people might have some strong thoughts and opinions and whatever, and I'm not in any position, and I wouldn't even want to, uh, you know, challenge those. Everybody's entitled to their opinions and stuff, but let's keep the chat nice and clean, and we're not entertaining discussions on 
uh, snail games or anything of that ilk because yeah it's all a bit shady I don't like the whiff of it but I don't know all of it I've just seen a few bits and pieces and uh, yeah they're in big financial trouble and seems like they're acting uh, yeah like businesses often tend to do in those sort of death rolls kicking and screaming and biting everyone uh, anyway Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Then we have to sort something out with the... Uh, maybe we can get a command up for it or something. Um, there you go. Typo's perfect. Probably. I didn't think of that. I'm, I'm a little bit... Uh, this, there's a lot going on. So I'm sorry that I'm a bit late starting today, but there's a lot of side quests and a lot of things going on. Um... Hey, growing great. How you doing? So, um, I have access to bell rights uh, because uh, the Donkey Crew folks, I think they reached out to me. Maybe I applied for it on a form somewhere. Probably one of those. Um, but yeah, the uh, so it's the noise team, it's called, but they've got Donkey Crew uh, pictures associated with them. So I, I guess they're just a contracted team working for donkey crew or something um but they're the ones that said hey you can play the uh the beta now i am supposed to stress that this is a beta version so i suspect uh this might be one of those well i don't know actually i want to i don't want to miss i don't want to say the wrong things let's have a look what's their slated Okay, so they've just got a coming soon, right? So this isn't this isn't like oh this is launching next month or something like that. Uh, this is a pre-release beta version of their product, which is available to be played by content creators. I don't know if anyone else can play it. I'm not sure, um, but it's like an invite thing, and it's March twenty seventh. Uh, yesterday morning PST time, so whatever that is in real time, uh, and through to March the 30th. And it's only active during that period by the looks of it. So, beta version, subject to change, hashtag Bellright beta. <laughs> uh, you can also share that Bellright is coming soon to early access. So there you go. And it's currently available for wishlist on Steam. It's nice when they give me a little script to read that's kind of straight up readable like that nice good take a day off enjoy yourself relax uh i see you were introduced to the kingmaker trailer this morning yes crazy like purpley was like yeah i didn't expect some of those things and i was like what's he talking about so i'll watch it because you can always trust purpley and yeah it was it was all over the shop but pretty hilarious so yeah all right well we're gonna do our usual we're gonna go into this it pretty going into this pretty much blind i've seen like the little trailers and that's it but i i know almost nothing uh let's have a look now this it's slated to have single player sort of offline story whatever and um it's slated to have online co-op i do not know there was no info given as to whether uh online this is in-game music by the way now menu music uh i don't know whether that is um already available but obviously it would only apply to people that are in the uh, are in the beta so here's what it says on the steam steam page establish and expand your own settlements liberate the land and assist its villagers and recruit others to your cause while learning more about a life you had to leave behind command your forces prove your valor through combat and <laughs> that's gonna be good and cement yourself as the hero of your people so some uh i'm not directly comparing because i know nothing of this and haven't played it yet at all so um this is literally just a fresh install i've just done um but it's developed by donkey crew and published through donkey crew and snail games usa both are listed for whatever reasons but if they just bought them then i suppose that makes sense 
anyway, um, that to one side, um, I get the kind of Kingdom Come Deliverance, Medieval Dynasty, and possibly some... Uh, what's that one, that hack and slash one that we do with the sword fighting on Epic? Uh, the name escapes me right now. But anyway, that one. So, yeah, this is going to be some sort of first or third person fighting. There'll be some town building. There'll be some diplomatizing. Uh, looks like it could be fun. Hey, Dev here. Uh, Co-op is available now in your... Oh, nice. Okay, thank you, Alexa. Thank you very much and welcome to the chat. I appreciate that. Um, so, uh, I have reached out for uh, to a couple of, uh, you know, the usual suspects um, to see if they are looking at this as well. I don't know if they're going to be looking at it or not, but if they are, we would try to co-op and team up with them. <clears throat> so, I have a question, Alexa, if I can ask a question of you while you're here. Um, the co-op, is that like as in you team up as part of a kingdom chivalry. That was the one, Drax. Thanks, Drax. Good morning as well. Welcome aboard. Um, yeah, chivalry too. I've played a bit of that. That's quite fun. Um, when you need some, just switch your brain off and just go and hack and slash things. It's quite, quite enjoyable. Especially like co-op with friends. It was co-op PvP. Um, yeah, is it like you team up and you're then against the rest of the the world or are you against each other in the world or how does that work if you've got like a couple of sentences that can explain that i don't know all right uh so here we go let's have a look options so i've had a quick look uh we've got v-sync got 60 fps uh there was a uh or here's some feedback for the devs they got this motion blur setting and it was it was on high by default no it should be def disabled by default. <laughs> Motion blur should always be turned on. <laughs> okay, I'm just obviously tongue-in-cheek. Um, they also have this frame generation thing, which is a new feature, I think, coming up on the 40 series RTX cards or whatever. But I don't have one of those, so yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not going to change too much of this yet. Uh, we want the tutorial pop-ups because we're going to learn the game. Always show health bars. Okay, so we could do it more or less. Co-op enabled? Okay. Co-op access. Okay, so friends invite. Oh, this is neat. So your Steam friends. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You play together to build a settlement together. Fight with opponents and there's no PvP. You know, Alexa, that's really cool. Thank you very much. Perfect summary. And I, may for one, uh, like the sound of that. I'd love to team up with some of my buddies. Imagine Ivan and Dingus characters co-oping their way through a medieval world so that sounds like good fun um uh let's see sound okay we're gonna see if we can play keep the in-game music and sounds uh this stuff i probably am gonna have to turn down we'll test it out first because i'm always uh da -da 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 -da. fluid blocking oh okay so like last oasis style Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That'll be... Uh... Okay, fun fact. I'm not very good at video games. So, we'll see. Uh, at least, like, FPS and, and third-person stuff, like fighting stuff, I'm not... It's not my forte. Kick. Mouse button 2. Okay. Uh, so, there's a kick. Okay, so that's cool. You know, I really enjoyed the, the premise and the art and the... The sort of the overall implementation of Last Oasis, I really enjoyed that, but man, that PvP was rough. Um, like the behavior of the player base was rough. That's that was the issue. So it's not really the game's fault per se, but obviously people were exploiting things. It's a difficult one. Anyway, I, I wish we could have had more fun with that. Toggle the HUD. Yes, Shift U. That, I'm not being rude. I'm not being rude, chat. Shift U. Toggle the HUD. Okay. That's good. All right. I wonder, has it got controller support? Hmm. Vicious A. Input. Hmm. Don't know. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's jump in. So, new game. 
I saw sunflowers in one of the videos. We're set for a secret weed field. Nice. Perfect. Hey, quit your bitching. Welcome in. Good morning. Uh, hey, Gamble. Perfect. Shift you. Shift you too, good sir. <laughs> I'm not being rude. Okay, new game. Let's go. Uh-oh. 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 Here's the first hour. Character create a boss. Your character's name. Oh, are we playing Jeff? I think we might play Ivan. We could play Vl Vladimir. Might make more sense. Blah. Ivan, Ivan, or Var. Okay. <laughs> this the preview doesn't have. Wait, please let them. Oh, there's a beard. Yes. All right, it's already a win. Jurak, you can already put it on your wish list. It's got beards. Okay, we'll go with this. That looks almost Mohawk. Okay. Uh, I quite like this one, the thick handlebar. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. Ivan, Ivan the bar. Let's go. Are you ready to start the game? Yes. Hey, have fun. How you doing? First boss or <laughs> spotted. Yeah, first boss defeated. I like the artwork. Looks beautiful. Oh, man. At least there is a crosshair. I might have a chance. Good morning, Red Snare. Welcome him. Good morning, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope we're going to have some fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's got a lot of the things that I like and look forward to in a game. So we'll see. We'll see. Does it have fishing? Mmm. That's that's important. Does is there a fishing mini game? Or just the ability to go and fish? Also, can we down in fur on furniture like chairs? Other really important questions that I'm pretty sure uh Alexa. Also, thank you for the follow, Alexa. Much appreciated. Uh and thanks for supporting and being here and chat with us. So yeah, can you sit on fur Can you fish? <laughs> These are important questions that we, my, myself and my community, need to know. Hey, thank you for the cookies. Isn't it funny how one small decision can have consequences? Okay, just turn it down a little bit. Through history. Is the stream stuttering? Or are we victims of a predetermined path? Was it chosen for you the day you visited your favorite Have you got stuttering? on your 10th birthday? Was it destiny that the royal family were hunting there at the same time? Okay. From a tree on high, That's weird. you watched as Prince Voldar and Princess Osen laughed, talked, and tracked wild animals without a care in the okay. world. And you watched in helpless horror as a stray arrow bolted through the trees, hitting the prince in the chest like a lightning strike. Just like that, the prince was dead. The prince and was when dead. the princess found you standing over her brother's dead body, it felt as though the gods were playing a cruel trick. On what? You. It wasn't me. Panic and confusion. You ran from the scene. Thanks. Of Thanks for the feedback, gang. Would carry you. Fueled by rage and grief, the king demanded the head of any child who fit your description. <gasps> no. Fearing for your life, your father asked a friend to bring you far away. Away from the king's wrath. In the middle of the night, you were taken from your home. 
and brought away on horseback. There's no fishing yet. Oh. In tears, you called out to your mother. Yet. But it was too late. Your old life was over. For years. Good morning, Arya. Welcome in. From the royal family. Good morning, everyone. Resentment growing. You heard stories of your homeland. The rise and fall of a rebellion. Rebellion. The death of the king. And the reign of the evil. We can seal the text right here. <coughs> but on the eve of your 20th birthday, Almost your the guardian, text. the man who smuggled you out of Calvinia and kept you safe all these years, was brutally killed by a mysterious assassin. Oh! As he died in your arms, his hand clutched a coin with a strange sigil emblazoned upon it. A clue. Now, you have returned to your homeland for answers. Through choice or through fate, vengeance would be yours. But how will you fare in a land you no longer recognize? Hmm. We return from exile. We have hunting and traps. Nice. That's cool. I like that. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know uh, what that was, that little blip, but hopefully it's not the usual of the network connectivity between this because my video will be stuttering and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it must have just been a high load. Let's have a look at my performance statistics here. Okay, very high CPU load. Graphics card is fine. Okay, we might have to tone down a couple of graphical settings. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it, and you guys let me know. Whoa, okay, so as usual, I've got to turn that down. I called it. <laughs> Mouse sensitivity, right down. I don't know about this one, but we'll bring that down a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'm doing it again. So when I apply settings, it throws the computer up a bit okay interesting all right so and there is controller support so that's great so we'll be able to get some great pan and scan wonderful hopefully I have to turn that sensitivity down a bit as well all right nice uh, also one second I've got to turn that music off why was that music still playing? That was weird. Okay. Also, I think the music during the intro overpowered the voice acting a little. So I don't... Often those are like a, a, a dedicated video that plays within the game sort of thing. Um, so I don't think that would have been affected by the sound settings. But I could be wrong. So, uh, that's that's something I noticed straight away. It happens a lot in games. I want this stick. Give me the stick. Talk to Dobrun Yorklin, the Elder. Okay. So, let's see what we've got here. We've got a mini-map. We've got a path to follow. Uh, we've got a time of day on the bottom right. Northern Descent Lowlands. So, we've got a location. Uh, and we've got a quest on the left-hand side. And top left, we've got a health bar, presumably. Why is the rum always gone? Presumably a uh, nourishment or food or hunger bar type thing. Oh, oh, no, stamina probably. Stamina and health. Okay. And then we've got some mushrooms, some berry, and we've got a little uh, knife and fork. So I'm just calling things as I see them because we're... Uh, so that's a rock. We need a mine, a pick for that. Okay, so we've got some survival stuff going on already. Nice. Okay, I'm going to harvest a stick. So there's little animations for each of the sort of harvesting. There's a piece of copper ore just lying on the floor. And that's unlocking information in my uh, doobly-doo. All right, well, let's not get too lost. We've got trees to cut down. Have I got uh, plants and berries to pick? Oh, I have a stick. I have a stick. We are now armed. Okay, let's see. Tab brings up your inventory. This looks pretty slick. 
That looks very neat. I like that. Okay, we've got the codex. So that's updating with bits and bobs. There's information about the uprising. Okay. The Carvinian uprising. Boy, I should read this as Ivan, maybe. Stick later. Obey me first. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hi, Viper. Good morning. Good morning, Shady. Good vibes. Mikios is here as well. Welcome in. All right. Uh, sorry if I've missed any stuff. So the game has caused a couple of stutters um, during a loading sequence and uh, applying some settings in the menu. Don't know why, but uh, it's quite heavy on the CPU. Um, but otherwise seems to be performing very smoothly. Yeah, everything's settled down now. So I think those were just like little anomalies. Ten years ago... Well, tragedy struck kingdom of Carvinia when Prince Voldar was killed by a stray arrow while hunting with his sister, Princess Ozene, who pointed the blame at a young child that was in the area at the time. So this is a, a recap of what we saw in that video. I also thought the music was a little bit overpowering. It was beautiful, but a little bit too loud for the voiceover text. However, I thought the story and the voice uh, over quality uh, and all the animations and imagery was really top quality. I thought it was really good. So, um, uh, right, fueled, boy, fueled by his fury and grief, King Rowan ordered the execution of every child who matched the description of the one who killed his only son. In retaliation, a counter movement was formed to protect the children of Carvinia. To ensure a safe future for the youth of their country, the rebels plan to march on the gauntlet, Carvenia's capital, to take the king's head. However, tempted by promises of gold by the king, an unknown member of the rebellion helped set an ambush that seemingly wiped out the rebellion leaders. After the betrayal, the rebellion fell apart, and a brutal time followed as the king died and was succeeded by Queen Osene in the years following. The final death toll of the rebellion is to believe believed to be in the hundreds. Man, sucks. Right, we're here to reclaim what is rightfully probably not ours, but we're going to reclaim it anyway, and we can squabble over it afterwards. Talk to uh, Dobron Yorklin, the elder. Okay, looking pretty neat. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's third person, okay. Herdin. Herdin. Sunflowers! Blah, secret Whitfield. Mm hmm. Hello, it's me, Ivan. I'm back. Look at this old ruin over here. That looks cool. I wonder if we'll have to do some... I wonder if there's like rebuilding and repairing. Big tree in the center of town. Lovely. This is a nicely put together little town. I like it. So where's uh what peasants there's no time to lose. Excuse me. Oh look kitty cat Kitty cat Uh I don't know how to crouch. <laughs> Hello Kitty Cat Nice to see you crumbs You look like a little tiger Hey Dutch Eagle good morning You talk you sound like my taxi driving friend Mr Pick Up and Drop Off, yeah. Uh, good morning, Dutch. I think we need to talk, and if you don't like You're a new face cover it up. Here. We don't make faces showing up rarely as access. well for this village. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you came here. Uh... I mean no harm. I came from the lowlands looking for some answers. Excuse me, have I done something to offend you? Okay, we keep low profile to start. In a perfect world, I could give you all the information you need and you could be on your way. But speaking openly can be a death sentence these days. 
As long as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. We just started keep. What button to pet the cat? I don't know. I was staying away from the mouse buttons because I thought that it'd be one of those stupid things where I end up punching a cat and then I'll never live that down. Okay, but speaking openly can be a death sentence these days. As long as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. Okay. Uh, do I have your permission to stay in the village for now at least? Meow. But you have my permission to build a shelter on the outskirts of the village. Come back once you're set up and maybe you can earn your keep. Okay. I have my... He, he, so he won't let me stay in the village, but he will let me stay... Put a shelter in the outskirts of the village. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I'll just do that and I plan to earn your trust one way or another. Build a shack for yourself and wait until tomorrow to take with Dobrin. Okay, build your first shelter, a shack. To do so, press B to open construction menu and then select shack and place it on the ground. Uh, each construction requires resources to build it. Building shack shouldn't be a problem for you, but later on hired villagers will help you out with more complex constructions. You cannot place buildings too close to existing villages. Finding a good spot close to all sorts of resources is your first big decision. All right. Okay, let's go. Meow. I want a kitty cat. Okay, okay. Is there a peck the cat? Kick. See, this is why I didn't start pressing uh, buttons. Interact is F. Let's try that. Let's try that. I can't. There's no marker over the cat so i can't interact with the cat okay maybe that's coming later remember this is a beta version gang so we've got to give it some time to uh to cook this spot over here looks quite good near to a bunch of trees not close not too far from the village we want a little bit of space to expand into i guess it's a little bit up and down though but all right Pro tip, try to build the shack to the south near the plains. Oh, this is what I was going to say is I want to have a look around the territory first before I just insta-pick something. Let's have a look. Hang on, if I press M, so there's a bigger map. So this is Harbindine. Oh, my lord. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's neat. Okay, we're not going to go too far ahead, but that's that's cool. So, yeah, let's I saw that there's a ridge over here looking into a valley. So, let's have a look at that. Also, yeah, I thrive on making mistakes and sort of learning from them slowly over time. So don't worry if I make mistakes. I'm not here to get it all right and do it all perfectly. It's totally cool. If I don't make any mistakes at all, I won't. I mean, I will make mistakes anyway, but if I don't go through that process and then I don't learn stuff and then I kind of switch off a bit, so. Wait, there's an auto run. Okay, we got to find this button. Hang on. Was there an auto run? Move forward, strafe, sprint, walk, jump. Toggle order run H. Thank you. Now that's a good hint. Yes, that's going to save me from ending up injuring my finger again like I did in Medieval Dynasty. <laughs> oh dear. It'd be funny if I wasn't in pain a lot of the time. Yep. And remember, we're playing a beta version, so we're just we're just easing our way in through the tutorial, and lots of stuff still to come and be developed. So uh, yeah, we'll just see what it's got to offer, really. But it's like I said, it ticks. Well, I don't like to phrase it like that. There are many many aspects of this game that appeal to me, 
So we'll just see how it goes, right? So we've got to dig stumps up, okay. It does look pretty though, doesn't it? So this will put us... Okay, because I'm sure progressing. Let's have a bit of a sprint. Bit of a sprint. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing there'll be rocks to mine and stuff over there. So, because stone's probably going to be... This looks like a nice spot. Not too far from the road, but not right on top of it. Oh, look at the birdie. Big eagle. I had one of those when I went on my shopping trip the other day. Just beautifully just took off out of a tree and just flew right overhead. It was uh, really fun to watch. So graceful. Okay, build shack. Oh, I double clicked it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Add construction material. Build part. Okay. So I need to get more twigs. Oh, it's going dark. Add flax. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is cool. There's lots of materials here. Excellent. I wonder if we need a... I'm always torn with things like this. But the whole... How many times you've got to click things to get things done. But again, we're going to have villagers to help us with this stuff going forward. So I suppose it's only early doors. And on occasion that we're going to be uh, doing this. It was a little bit stuttery again there. So I'm running an RTX 3070. Uh, I have an Intel i7 decent processor but I would have what I would call like a mid-range kind of PC everything's on SSDs and stuff so and 64 gigs of RAM so just as a point of reference for the developers listening I'm running my camera on the gaming rig today um, as we did yesterday so we know that sometimes that can be uh, that can lead to interesting results Ah, oh, look, here's flax. Nice. We needed eight of those. And now my inventory is full. Damn it. Dang, damn it. So, can I... I can go round... Okay, and I can sort of choose. I can put materials in, and then I can decide whether I want to build the part or not. It's interesting. Add construction material. Okay, so, so lots of sticks. So you have to run around to where like all the different bits are. That's interesting. Okay, uh, so we need uh, more flax, I guess. Purple flowers. Oh, that's sage. Is there DLSS? I don't know. I didn't see... Let's have a look. I didn't see a DLSS setting. Uh, it could be that we have to change... Upscaling. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It is DLSS. Yeah, it's right there. So, it's on balanced. We could maybe go performance. Try that. Again, I haven't changed these and everything's on, like, ultras and stuff. So... Probably not helping myself in that regard. It's funny because... Ooh. What? So, oh, there was... Oh, my inventory... Oh, okay, because my inventory's full, it doesn't let me pick up any more stuff. Okay. Waiting for the bear or wolf or something to come and attack me. This is this is kind of cool though. I don't. I'm not sure about this. The why it's two steps to add a part and then build a part. But we'll see. 
Was that flax seeds? I think so. Okay, full inventory again. Oh, that's kind of neat. Some more pieces that go on top to hold the flax down or whatever. Did it! Oh, and it went first person or whatever when we were inside. Shack will provide a place to sleep along with access to crafting a workbench, a crafting workbench and some basic rep recipes. Okay. Neat. Okay. We got berries. Okay. No gear yet. Okay. What's this? Simple workbench. Manage. Requires workers. Craft. Okay. Uh, I need a simple axe. Oh, not two though. Don't double click it. And a simple club. And we might as well build a torch. Just for fun, please. So you set those running at the bench. And then you can move off. Private stash. Put our seeds in there. Oh. Now, here's a good question. When you craft at workbenches and stuff, is it pulling stuff from local inventory boxes? I love this little camp, by the way. I love this little uh, shack or whatever. This is this is awesome. It's a nice, a really nice model, and I love that it comes with this little uh, torch there as well for light. Yeah. Hey, sitting duck. How you doing? So yeah, question for Dev in chat, uh, Alexa, if you're still here. Also, you know, if you don't have the time, you don't have to. I'm sure, you're hopping about all over the place, but um. Do, do you know, can you confirm whether the inventory of local boxes will be used at crafting benches? Or does it have to be on your person? Do the ingredients have to be on your person? Excuse me. No, it looks like you're a fire hazard. <laughs> yeah, this is also true. Okay, we have an axe. Uh, oh, here you go. Simple work. So well met, this one needs two bits of flax. We can layer. test it. We could test it. Well met. Ingredients well need met. to be brought to the crafting station. Okay, thank you, Clerch, please. Uh, Lima! Thank you for the tier one and the nine months Twitch, baby. Let's go. For personal crafting, it should be in your inventory. Okay. Thank you, Disabled Donkey. Good vibes, folks. Thanks for that. Uh, let's go. I'm a little bit wary. I guess we're like in a starting area, but like, I'm like, I don't know, wildlife or... <laughs> let's face it. There's going to be a boar or a bear or something. Something's going to end... End me very soon. Okay. So stuff has to be on your person. I think that... Or my... Suggestion would be... That... And again, this, there might be reasons why later on or something. But my suggestion would be that... I, or I would prefer it. 
I put it this way. I would prefer it if you could utilize the storage boxes and things that you've got with, the, with together with your benches and that. And I would, and you know, even if there's like range limits and whatever else, I would also, perhaps more importantly, I would very much prefer it if um, you could do the animation and it was like a gathering radius. So if you were like harvest stick and there's like a stick here and a stick here and a stick here, I would like it if you did that and then you picked up like five sticks. Because also, look what it's doing. It's putting it on the floor if I don't have the space. So I've got to go back and I've got to do another interaction to go and get my stick. Which is, you know, that one's not really a criticism as such. But I think it would be much cooler if you could... Um... So this is a large... Oh, wait. So this is the copper ore. Okay. I think it would be uh, very cool if you didn't have to... Uh, do the animation every single time. I think that'll be one of the first things that people will complain about. <laughs> Our Twitch baby is called Bertram, and he likes finger painting. Nice. Hey, Adubba. Want the game to play itself? That's not having the game play itself. What are you talking about? Okay, so we've got a uh, we've got a torch. Now, here's another thing: Can you drop the torch and accidentally set fire to your home? Asking because that's happened to me in a few games, most games. <laughs> So this seems to be not a weight thing, but a number of slots thing, from what I can see. I could be wrong. Could be both. So I need to get more wood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Icarus is like the standout in that category. For sure. So, okay, I, I want to reiterate again that what we're looking at here is a um, beta version. There's lots of development still ongoing. So we're looking at this pretty early. This is only available for three days for us. And there's no fixed date or no published date for when the game uh, is going to release. It will go into early access from the documentation I've received. So just, you know, pinch of salt. I know we're always looking for, like, things we don't like or whatever, but... We have a good opportunity to give some feedback and have an early look, uh, you know, and let people know which the things we like, the things we'd like to see changed, maybe. So I've got 13 wood now. So yeah, based on that, it would appear that it's the number of slots. Brown alert. Good morning, Grumbles. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Joint. How you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Yeah. Okay, so then you, when you come back to the bench, this is interesting. When you come back to the bench that's got a job waiting, it then carries on uh, with that processing if you've got the stuff in your pocket. So that's kind of cool. We're going to need a bigger box. Yeah, definitely. I'm really liking like the UI, the 
all the pictures the detail i i gotta say as well we haven't changed any of this from an accessibility point of view or whatever i'm loving that the text is really popping like it's really both the size of the text the font that they've kind of gone with and the way they've done this gentle these soft shaded backgrounds to everything um it's really nice it's got a, it keeps like a nice immersive feel about it um yeah i'm enjoying that as a first impression so it's telling me how much time i've got remaining on my berries oh okay and this is one of those where you can have i guess a uh, food drink what are different kinds of sustenance i'm guessing it's one of those okay wait until tomorrow to check in with the D dobronance okay was there anything else i can build i can build a campfire a camp chest i think that's gonna be uh necessary a research desk with the little oh, i like these pictures as well housing tent another shack an outhouse a hey, dub somewhere for you to live i could build that for you wow wow so you press f to place the construction it's middle mouse wheel rolling the middle mouse wheel up and down to build the outhouse we'll uh chop one of these down add two logs oh we need to make ourselves a an axe right okay wait we got an axe sorry i mean we need to use the axe that we made just before okay let's go Uh, uh, oh, okay. So I'm hitting it. It doesn't necessarily give you the most feedback. And then we shove that giant tree in our pocket. Just like that. Your attention, please. Advertisements are now running to support good causes. Thank you, please. <laughs> <laughs> the wood goes straight in pocket. Oopsie. So, yeah, okay. I'm trying not to think all the time back to uh, Last Oasis, but there's definitely a... Uh, put the things here. I'm not quite sure what Oh. Oh no, now I'm uh, now I'm fisty coughing. I've pressed the right mouse button and uh it put me in some sort of combat animation. Can't be hello, it's night time and you can still see. <laughs> wow. Okay, inventory full. So, that's interesting. It says it gives you one... Okay. <laughs> okay, you can just go click, 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 click. Uh... Okay, I need another log, is it? I think. Okay, that's 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 interesting. Click click click. Uh didn't I have another tree that I cut down somewhere here? Yes. So the log actually does a lot more. Done. Oh, don't attack the outhouse. Oh, you use the outhouse to discard? items like spoiled food okay and that stacks that's interesting items put in this container will be destroyed yeah that's fine huh so i wonder if spoiled food can be used for like anything else like compost or whatever that's kind of cool that's so it's actually an outhouse that functions as like the dustbin or whatever the recycler that's pretty cool i like that I 
All right, Dub, you can jump in any time. Yeah, hey, Squig, good morning. Hey, Salt Shaker, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you angry. Take that. Oh, you did a golem cam? Ha. I don't even know wow. if it worked. It probably worked. Can it double as a toilet? It doesn't look like it. Which makes it a pretty shitty outhouse. <laughs> I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens. Okay, so it said wait till the next day. We've got the next day. The sky's got a few little, uh, or had a few little moments there. Look, a flock of crows. Oh, I so miss birds in game a lot of the time. It's like, uh, there's games where it's just, there's no birds. And it really bugs me. So I like that they have birds. Coin pouch slot, quiver slot, back slot. I've got two back slots. More evidence that this game was made for dub. Uh, what happened to... Oh, there. Okay, so I have to choose. So let's put my club in slot number two. Okay. So you got the blocking. Oh, so it's which way I'm pointing as I press the... Was that how it worked in LO? I can't remember. No, in LO. Oh, no, you can move it. Yeah, because we got fluid defense on. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of good. Oh, the, the, when we get into the combat in this, it's going to be such a nightmare. I'm going to be so bad at the combat. It's going to be hilarious. I like that he actually puts the weapon on his belt and takes it off the belt. That looks, that looks cool. It's not like, whew, magic weapon in the hand. We've got some neat little, uh, hopefully nobody's going to raid my, raid my little house. Oh, let's put some of this stuff in storage. Yeah, the inventory, like the, the way that's been designed is, is, looks very cool. There's a bunch of things that I'm already enjoying. I definitely think that there can be some enhancements to the, to the the whole animation thing the rain and everything looks quite good there's a bit of a greeny gr like grid thing that i can sort of see a little bit but look at this look at the rain oh look oh no it's all soaked through it's almost like we live in a really well met, shambly welcome shack also the fact that this layer. isn't stacking that's annoying <laughs> <laughs> we need we definitely need stacking inventory um let's build well let's see what they tell us to do because otherwise i'll start doing things and it'll be like now build a chest and it's like oh uh jj window first of your line thank you very much for gifting a tier one sub to the community uh another junglist is now a member of the uh, invited into the underground lair. I'm sure we'll find out about falling damage soon. How dare you? How dare Weather effects do look cool, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Duck, you've been playing some Rimworld lately, haven't you? I love this little village. This is very neat. Work peasants, there's no time to lose. Uh Alright. Hello? Hello, Rose. So wait, the NPCs have got different levels to their skills and stuff? That's cool. 
this uh this weather's pretty neat how's the stream holding up are we okay <laughs> yeah i've just gotten into rim mode myself and it's uh boy oh boy it's uh hilarious my character Ivan here he got kidnapped oh wait hang on we haven't done this yet look at this spare so a coin and i will pray for you um i'm not paying you to pray for me thanks very much but look we can get a whole lot of cinematic stuff done in this game as well with that ui toggle that's perfect the voice acting seems a little bit on the quiet side as well for the npcs you again give me a chance to earn your trust if i fail i'll leave you alone i'll tell you what we actually have one problem you can try to resolve if you're willing of course go ahead what is it i'm up to any trial it gets cold around here especially close to the mountains if we want to keep ourselves warm we need fur for it rabbit or wolf pelts but you see our hunter oh we got into a little discussion about how things should work in the village regarding payment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're setting me up for the... You do lots of work and quests for us, and we no pay. <laughs> um, and I'm guessing you couldn't agree on the little issue. Get to the point, man. I want you to convince the hunter to deliver traps and bring rabbit fur too. We don't expect you to do that every day. We want to be self-sufficient with our fur trapping. So the priority is the traps and the rabbit fur would be a bonus. Take care of that and then I would consider your requests. Okay. All right. Go speak with Emily. She's a bit of a troublemaker, but her heart's in the right place. Okay, I like her already. She has a good relationship with everyone in the village and knows nearly everything that goes on around here. Oh, mm, busy bossy then. If anyone can point you in the right direction, it's her. That's what I'll do. Talk to Emily Feltoir. Okay, nice. Here is one coin. Uh, so let's see. Talk to Emily Feltwar. I'm guessing here. I like that the NPCs are just going about living their life and everything. Very nice. This weather, man. Don't try anything stupid. This weather. Where is? Where is Emily? I thought she'd be here. Hello, are you Emily? No, you're you're Jane Rolf, who likes to walk into people. No, I it definitely. Oh no, okay, it's the exclamation point I'm going towards. Okay. So the hunter's area was there, but the hunter uh, wasn't there. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of neat, right? <laughs> I'm also getting those uh, uh, thoughts of like mana lords. So I'm really looking forward to playing that one soon. Where are you? You're in near. Where are you? Am I gonna have to rebuild this shack or something? Oh, here you are. Stop running away from me. Greetings, newcomer. Greetings, so newcomer. Your face is awfully familiar. Beautiful English summer, yeah. Oh, look, there's kitty cat again. There's crumbs. Uh, have we met before? Your face is awfully familiar. I get that all the time. You have, especially from the birds that nest in my beard. You have to be Emily. Elder told me you know where I can find Hunter Lubomir. I am. What can I do for you? Wait. The question, look, Lubomir, I'm looking for him. Do you know him or not? Unfortunately, <laughs> I need to find him. He's in the forest, just up the hill, not far from the village. Okay. 
He's in the forest. Perhaps bring a book so you have something to do while he rants at you. Bring a book so you have something to do while he rants at you. Thanks, I think. Okay, I like the, the humor already. Okay, he's uh, this way. Should be out in shorts and a t-shirt in that weather. Oh, here's a thing. Can we swim? Let's have a look. Why is this all crossed out like we're not supposed to go in the water? Alright, well, we can just run through the deep water, so that's okay, I guess. Uh, he's over here somewhere. H for auto run. He says as he has already run the whole distance. Oh, there he is. This is cool. So he's out here just doing his work in the in the forest, or probably not doing his work in the forest. Hello, my name is Ivan. What are you looking for? It's dangerous to wander around the woods alone. Haven't you heard about wolves or bandits lurking in this area? No, but I have heard a story about a like lazy hunting. huntsman who's not so doing any job. You don't look like the hunting type. So what are you doing here? Oh, damn you! I'm perfectly capable of hunting or being hunted, one or the other. Elder Dobrin sent me, he asked for traps. If you have them, the people of Herndin need them. Wolves and bandits lurking the area. Are the bandits riding on the wolves or something? Oh, I like this. Hilarious, he says. I'm sure you'll still be laughing when a pack of wolves rip you limb from limb while you're oh. still alive. Or bandits beat you bloody and sell you as a slave outside of the local. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ivan could be kidnapped in this again. Can you help me at least? I need to build trust with the elder. Nobody in the village even wants to talk to me. If you're worried about my well-being, you should help me. You're asking for help, but you don't know a thing about me or what I went through. I used to be a respected member of the community. I even could have been an elder if I wanted. But they degraded me because I refused to be a slave to Ashbourne's puppets. Okay. So I left. I still tried to contribute from a distance, providing them with fur, food, and creating traps for the sake of the village. But they wanted more. They always want more. When I asked for better pay, the elder said no and actually warned me not to ask again. At one point, he said he'd speak to the brigands about my behavior. Oh. I don't want to defend anyone, but it seems like Herndin isn't wealthy enough to pay you. That does sound rough. We're trying to win this guy over, right? Well, <laughs> Amelie was right about you. You really love to talk. Okay, we can just... Uh... That sounds yeah, rough. Fine people of Herndin don't agree with you. That's why I want to leave that life behind. What do you mean? Let's make an arrangement. You need traps and I can teach you how to make them so you can catch smaller animals. Nah. You look like someone who can get things done. I don't know why, but I feel like you have a lot going on inside your head. Ah, uh, there's a lot going on inside my head. Many marbles rattling around. Together, we can make each other's lives easier in this land. So, can we cooperate? Okay, I'm willing to join you if you provide me with shelter and food. Together we can make each other's lives easier in this land so we can cooperate. Okay, so he's teaching me about having some villagers helping. I think it's possible. Uh, I'll come back once I've built a shelter for you. I don't think I'm ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> I don't think... Build a housing tent. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm ready for this kind of commitment. We've only just met. You can at least buy me some gruel in the cheap brandy wine. I don't have a pickaxe yet. Okay. So let's, uh, oh, we got, uh, and so I do need to build a box. <laughs> let's go back and build a box. And, oh wait, 
There's our shack over there. Now, can I set that as a waypoint? Yeah, I can. Okay, and now the shack appears on my mini-map. Ah, oh, that's very cool. Optional waypoint setting. See that, Star Citizen? You see that? It's easy. Wrong button. Uh-oh. What happened to OBS there? That went all dark for a moment. That was weird. My computer's like, no. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, OmniZeek, how you doing, buddy? Optional waypoints coming in 323. I don't know, are they? Because if they are, heck yeah. Player position waypoints would be great. Uh, right, uh, so I want to build a box. We've got to build it. Actually, let's build a housing tent. So we press... Well, no. We press F. He's going to have a nicer tent than me. I'll put him over here. Hmm. Oh, okay. So you, you put everything in this pile and then you go around and build it. Okay. All right. I got it. So what do we need? We need, I need to be able to pin the recipe or something. Six flax and one logarino. All right. Let's get a logarino. You can um, click and hold on things like cutting the tree down. So that's not like a clickety clickety click. That's just a click and hold. In my pocket. Hey, Sinister Snack. Good vibes. Yeah, the star map update wasn't ready for the Evocati testing from what I uh, saw on Supermax uh, interview with a... Uh, no, with £10.42, sorry. Uh, interview video, which was superb. Really well done. Really down to earth and just straightforward. Uh, so that hasn't been... Uh, that wasn't in the testing yet. But. Yeah, hopefully. So, yeah, okay. So every construction comes with a little building site next to it. Oh, that's actually quite neat. That was kind of cool. So now we need flax. Flax on, flax off. At least it's plentiful. Not like in some games where it's like, we need all the flax, there is none. Might as well just get, grab a bit of this. I want I do want to build a box as well. So let's chuck this in here. Okay, and then we can just come over here. Oh no, don't hit it with the axe. You fool. No. So, yeah. It's, I kind of appreciate that there isn't like a big silhouette everywhere because that, oh, stop, put the axe away, man, because that takes you out of the immersion. But I'm not entirely sure about this. I can't make my mind up, chat, about the whole running around. I don't know. I suppose we do that in... MD as well, right? Okay, housing tent, manage settlers. Housing tent storage. Okay. Interesting, and then it automatically clears up the construction site thing. 
I wonder if you've got multiple jobs going on. Do they each come with their own construction pile? Hmm. We'll see that later on, I guess. Okay, I want to build a box. Oh uh, dear, I've wasted my points. Just put that there. So add wood. Two more pieces of wood. Do I have any in here? I do. Done. Camp chest. Okay. Food rations allowed. Resources allowed. Equipment allowed. Okay. So I guess... Oh, my food spoiled. Dang it. Huh. Go back to Ludemir, Netherby. Okay. Okay, so it's literally, it's just deleting that stuff. Yep, that's what it said it would do. <laughs> uh... Okay, you've got categories with a crafting bench and things. Yep. All right, let's go back to uh, Ludomir, buddy. So it looks like the camp storage has got those options so that you can choose what your villagers will put in there for you. So you, I guess you can organize and also have your villagers keep stuff organized. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Viper, is whilst the blueprint is immersion breaking, if you're working with blueprint kind of crafting hemp nice that means damien will like the game um then it it's a bit weird that you can't sort of see the points that are missing so i find it a bit odd that you're doing this benny hill running back and forth around the building maybe i'm doing it wrong but my first it's just my first impressions right it's not like a fully qualified review or anything any good news is my new home ready yes I'm ready. You can join me. Now you can teach me how to build traps and how they work. Let's get to it. Build the research desk for me and then I will show you how it's done. Okay. Oh, and remember that once we build them, you should place it in dense forests to increase the chance of catching something. Neat. All right, we'll do. Let's go to work. Bleh! Welcome to my village, my friend. Also, you can bring your campfire. We don't have one that saved me build. Your villagers can be assigned one of three roles at any given time. A worker fulfills your crafting and production orders. A companion travels with you and follows your commands. And a guard patrols and defends your settlement from danger. That's cool. That's really cool. You can command your companions by giving them contextual orders with E to attack, harvest and move. Try it yourself. It is vital that you and your villagers, st vill villages, villagers, stay well fed. Going hungry will cause your companions, workers, and guards to stop what they are doing in order to find food. The better the food, the longer they can work. Neat. I like it. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the other buildings are going to look. All right, and work. Okay, we survived. Ah, this is cool. So this bigger... I was curious about this. So the bigger tree's got to be uh, cut up. But I can't... Uh, I don't know where to strike it. I guess anywhere. This is kind of neat. I like this. I mean, I like it as a first impression. Am I going to still like it when I'm uh, cutting my thousandth tree in a row? <laughs> we'll see. But I, I prefer, I, I like it because I like the immersive stuff. If you're thinking about it from a pure gaming point of view and efficiency, then maybe you won't like it so much. But I, I kind of like it. Plus, again, a lot of this stuff is going to be out to us, to the, uh, to the interns, right? 
Good morning, Dr. Waggy. Welcome in. Hey, Silver. How you doing? Oh, there's that log I left before. Okay. Uh, research desk. Okay. I didn't forget already, chat. Research desk. Huh. Okay. Uh, add five flax and nine pieces of wood. Oh, hello. What, what what are you doing? Okay, managing your settlements. The more powerful your settlement becomes, the more you're likely to attract raiding parties. Raiding party! Invest into guards and better gear to fight them back. Build outposts. Don't limit yourself to just one settlement. You may need resources that are found in other corners of the region. Oh, that's cool. You can find all the useful information in the town overview ta tab. Okay. Ludomir, you're currently a companion following me everywhere. Uh, please, when in danger, autonomous produces or harvests order goods. Can I get him to go and get wood? Hold ground, guard reservist. Okay, that's cool. Cool options. He's good at crafting, delivery. Oh, he's got fives in pretty much everything. Wait, he's working on the research desk now? Let's go. Okay, morale, stout. He's living fancy. He's living the life. Yeah, look, he just went to, to my camp chest, got some wood, and took it over to build the research desk. That's awesome. Let's go. And now what? Is he going to go and get the wood? I think he is. Look, don't... We're not keeping a close eye on you, but we're keeping a close eye on you. Hurry up. Get the wood. Chop it, chop. This is kind of neat. I like it. Uh, I hope we get into some of the fighting stuff. Oh, that was a young tree, so I completely wasted my time cutting it down. I... He asked for a research desk. That's right, Slickson. All right, then get to work. I have an idea. Why don't you build it? <laughs> Why don't you build it? Not my job, mate. <laughs> Craft the trap. Research the small trap. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh, wrong thing. Where's all my flax again? Oh, missed it. Yeah, there you go. So that would be a perfect opportunity to do a gathering radius rather than a one per. Uh, I got to do everything myself around here. Terrible. So as I'm adding those bits in, I wonder if he then comes over and uh, finishes finishes the work off maybe now he should be collecting wood though because i'm like make i need that made so if i've understood it correctly he should be hopefully going off to gather some wood oh inventory full damn it damn it dimitri One, two, 
one more. Well met, adventurer, and welcome to my underground lair. I had a log here all along. Oh, I, I can't. I've got too. I've got too much wood already. Okay. Ah, so things are stacking in the. So they're stacking when we put them in the storage boxes like that. But not in the camp story. Okay, so that's that's inconsistent. Yeah. So in there they're stacking and in there they're not. Hey Canberra, how you doing? Hey, oblivious to me. Thank you for the tier one and the 14 months of support. Much appreciated. Good vibes be with you both. Welcome on in. We're just having a little look at the beta version of Bell, right? And uh, yeah, there's a lot to like already. First impression. Oh, that's a young tree. Don't want that. just waiting for a bear to run out of the woods and murderize me the whole time i don't think that's going to happen in this area but there's definitely i definitely have the sense of like any moment now bear suddenly mere bear no uh... That's a bit annoying. Cut the long log. But then it can't see where to hit it. I mean, if you're going to show me that, you've got to... Like, the point where that is displayed has got to be the point where I can swing to hit. I think. <laughs> My harvesting skill just went up. That's cool. I didn't see that we had the skill progressions yet. We haven't looked at that yet. Hey. Again, things that are in beta and we're getting our very first impression of them. So I'm just calling it as I see it as we go along. And some of it will no doubt be a lack of familiarity or whatever or, or whatever on my part. So I'm not I'm not dissing it. The flames appear to be going through my shoulder. <laughs> I'm, I've got a hot shoulder. Oh, wait a minute. So is that not counting? How do I... So how do I chop up? Is there a way to... Chop that up then. Hmm. No. Okay. So I need little. I thought that that was. I thought that was letting me. I'm sure it was doing that. Add construction material. Oh, build part. Is that it? Ah, huh. I thought that was counting as wood to uh, to put in there. Maybe not. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a reason why realistically you would hold the torch like out ahead of you or off to the side or whatever, yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, so we can farm hemp. So is, is it, oh, it's, so it wants me, yeah, it wants me to collect sticks. But I, th maybe I'm, oh, dead wood. What does that give me? Oh, that just gives me a, like a wooden stick. So yeah, we're just looking for some sticks right now. There's an extra log. Oh no. Young tree, that does that just gives me nothing. Wow. Hemp counter. We haven't reached that stage yet. But it's a good thought. Oh, a sapling. Okay, those are just giving me a bit of bit of wood, okay. I guess I should put some berries in the storage for the for the doobly dude. I, I do like it if a game does a, you know, take down the tree, get the, get some logs and get some branches as well. So I'm not sure yet whether it was doing that and I just missed it or oh, inventory full again. I think I would prefer it as well if when your inventory is full, if it would say, you know, no, your inventory is full rather than harvesting and putting it on the ground to be looted. Don't know. Also gut feeling. So I should put some of these in here. Yeah. And some of that. Oh, but the wood pieces are not stacking. Oh, volume 50. Okay, so it's... That's full. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so I just need one piece of flax. I'm guessing we'll get things like farmers and herbalists and stuff like that and they'll take care of those kind of needs as we go along. Oh man, you can move to cancel the animation as well, which I kind of like because at least you're not stuck in it then. But also the temptation to just move to the next piece of flax is is incredibly high. So get twitchy fingers. Ha! Huh. Ah, take that research desk. That I have managed to place. Uh, I guess it kind of works like that. Uh, one worker can use it to research new buildings and craftables. Cool. Okay, so we can even have people assigned to do the research while we're out and about, which makes sense. Um, world general. Okay, no, I didn't want to. Tech tree, simple workbench. Oh. Manage workbench. Okay. So have them village hall, standing torch, logging camp, foraging. Oh, there you go. Foraging camp might uh, help. So we put uh, small traps in. Research is on. Workers will be automatically assigned. Make sure that you have enough workers available and their job priorities allow them to work here. You have enough resources to fulfill the orders if any are required and you have the necessary tools to perform the work okay priority five okay all right research okay and it needs five pieces of wood like that and two pieces of flax okay so you've got to put the bits in there and then a worker will come and do the job interesting Yeah, 
Okay, so they've definitely gone all in on that model of like have the things. That that almost feels like there should be a type of storage that that can pull from. Or maybe the workers can just go to the camp storage and fill up the requests uh, themselves. Maybe. In fact, we should test that. We should uh, take those things out, put them in here. Uh, like, oops, like so, and then we'll see. Okay, if you do shift, then you can do a split. Okay, but then it doesn't actually work. Oh, because I'm carrying too much of the logs already. Okay. <laughs> Smurgersbird. And I can't even put that in there. Okay. We need another box. We're going to need a bigger box. This one over here. Uh, yeah. Add three. Yeah, so I. I'm a little bit bemused with the whole you can't get branches or you can't cut up the wood. So can I drop stuff? I can. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that sort of solves that temporary issue. You can just dump stuff straight on the floor like that. Hmm. The search for more... Why don't you... Get up. Go get me some more wood. Housing, tent, storage. Oh. Is this where he's going to want the food placed? Surely he can come and get it from the chest. Hmm. I put it in here, just in case. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's sleep it off. So use the sleep mechanic. Sleeping. So there's some stacking in the bigger boxes up to a volume limit. There's no stacking in the private um, box. And there's no stacking in your personal inventory. So, yeah, we'll see. Hey, what do you up to? Hey, my man. Hurry up. With whatever you're doing. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you can't chop it up. So yeah, we need to gather lots and lots of these sticks. You can't do it says wood, you can't just slice up a log into the smaller pieces you need. Are the minions names? Good morning, Alzir as well. Welcome aboard. Um Yes, you can wish list this on Steam. Chiching. Uh if you're that way inclined. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, we're currently looking at a beta version, which is available for about three days or so until the 30th. And uh, I'm lucky enough to get a chance to have a play of it and share it with you guys. Hello, it's me. Again. I'm going to read from a best joke book. Full of laughs. Uh oh, it's a slicks and joke, everyone. 
You better be prepared. I went to the library and asked if I could borrow the DVD of Batman Forever. They said, no, I have to return it in a week. <laughs> you have to return it in a week. All right. Are you... Are you going to help me out, dude? Have you got... Have you got the stuff and things for the building? Or... This is nothing. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, the fact that you've got this... Uh stacking thing is interesting okay you're gonna do some work you got the pieces are oh, you doing the oh yeah okay you're doing the research nice research finished oh my goodness so he went to this side of the table and he looked like he was using a typewriter <laughs> and We've researched the traps. Don't forget the bait. Oh, uh, you got to come with me because you're going to be playing the role of the bait. Okay. Uh, what else could we build? Maybe we put, I'm going to put a campfire down. Yeah, here. And maybe he'll build that as well. Do I have to honor sign him from the research or will... No, okay. Logging camp. Maybe the logging camp gets me the chops logs into wood. Oh, there you go. Logging camp chops logs into wood. So we need one log and three pieces of wood. Oh! Oh! So that means he did go and get what he needed from storage to do the research. That's fantastic. Okay, what's your job right now, worker? Okay, come with me. Uh, so, oh, what do we need to build? <laughs> Hang on. What do we need to build the small traps? Small trap. Needs... Five pieces of wood. Okay. So, hang on a minute. Let me drop. Alt. Drag and drop. Alt for all. Oh. Uh, okay, cool. We have a pile of flax there now on the ground. Nice. Actually, we can do that with the hemp as well. And we'll just create this... Uh this pile on the floor. Mm. I wonder if that deteriorates over time. I spy with my little eye something beginning with sticks. Damn it, not harvestable sticks though. Man. Okay, so we need to research the logging camp then for what I'm looking for. Oh, we're oh, we're in Herndon here. It's probably not good if we go and start chopping their trees down. Sorry, did I, I roll out loud? silly one two need more sticks just 
Oh, what was that? Oh, that's probably cattle over in the village. I don't want to be eaten by... Oh, it's a deer. Hello, deer. Okay, let's go. Uh, E. Go over there. That's interesting. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get this deer. Huzzah! Okay, that was uh, yeah. We'll call that one a work in progress. We'll call that. Um, cancel the orders. Follow me now. Hey, come on. Are you gonna combat? No. Okay. I don't need that right now. Um, he's hungry and he's going to stop following me. Oh my god. Oh. Well, get yourself some berries. There you go. Stop belly aching. Hey, Cubby. How you doing, bud? Cubby! Hula! What's up, my man? We're back in medieval times with Ivan. Oh, that's a log. Okay. Where is village? Village over here. Howdy. Yeah, so, well, I was sort of testing it. Move, move. But it's kind of silly that if he's going to... How do I get him to not stay in that spot anymore? <laughs> That's not working all that well, is it? Uh, camp. Okay, that's as much as I can fit in there. We need this campfire set up. Oh, that needs some stones. Okay. Three three stones. Did I have three stones? I had one stones. And <laughs> I like the animation puts down like five stones. I know we're working on the trap, but we're currently side questing to make the campfire because we've got this meat and I don't want this meat to spoil. Also because old uh, Jim Bob over there is getting hungry apparently, so he's being a right moany pants about it. How is there no more stones? There were stones everywhere before. Oh, that's a rabbit. Can't we just run after it and go... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, don't want that. Oh, I found tin ore. Oh. Okay. That's cool. I need a fresh cup of coffee. Coffee break coming right up, folks. There'll be some adverts. They only go on for three minutes, regardless of how many ads are in it. And they help me to uh, keep the coffee, but more importantly... 69% uh, of everything I earn through content creation goes to charity. Uh, so uh, they help to pay forward for people in dire need, such as the people supported uh, directly and indirectly through research by as the Norwegian Cancer Society uh, that our buddy Tiger's Den is running charity streams all week this week for that uh, cause. And we donated... 2,069 euros which is about 24,000 Norwegian krona or something or 20, 20 odd thousand um, to that cause this week So, and that's all thanks to the generosity and support afforded us through running the pledge and all the goodly people doing things like 
subscribing or giving bits or buying merch, um, etc, etc. So I'm forever humbled and appreciative of that support. And I know also we are donation aware. So we know that it doesn't always work out or that people can't. They want to give, but they can't and so forth. So please, please never feel under any pressure. Um, it's it's meant to be a good vibes thing. All right, there we go. Campfire. This is quite a neat campfire setup. I like this with the sticks and the meat there. Piece of cooked meat. Is it cooked already? No, it's cooking. Okay, so it's doing the dot 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 thing because it's still cooking. Okay, that's cool. All right, three more wood needed for that. But I'm carrying a big log. I got a big log. Uh, was that the log that we put down before? Or did it vanish? <laughs> I don't know. We put that one there. I think this is just part of the, the oh, part of the camp setup. Yeah, no, my companion fella is he's a little confused right now. He's a bit discombobulated. I got my army. I can make an army with my one companion. Uh, where's my settlement? Raid threats one. Call to arms. Okay. And you can... Oh, here you can manage the priority of everything. Oh, wow. You can create all your new outposts and everything here. Housing. Has one of two people in it. How do I... Where's the population? Lubomir. So he can do crafting, delivery, cooking, and construction. This is quite cool. I like the uh, the detail here. All right, there we go. I warned you about it, and now it is upon us. Select an item and an origin settlement to order. Oh, okay. So you can get your settlers to deliver things between the different locations. That's awesome. Sounds like mega hail going on outside the cave. All right, I'll be right back, folks. Thank you for being here. Uh, we'll leave you with this and see what, what's the worst that can happen.
All right, I have returned. Let's see what happened. Did he finish that research again? Don't know. He didn't eat either the meat on the skewers. Hopefully they're not burned. <laughs> they probably are. Okay. Wait. Okay. Logging. Oh, we learned logging camp. Okay. He did do the research. That's phenomenal. I'm just going to keep shoving research jobs in here then. Uh, foraging camp sounds like a pit sore. Produces wooden planks. Oh, here we go. Stockpile. The main storage where workers bring produced resources. Food and other gear allows periodic deliveries between multiple stockpiles. Okay. That's cool. Advanced workbench. Here you can craft improved armors, tools, weapons, and refined materials such uh, will be critical for the success of your settlement. Okay. We've got some fencing. Foraging hut. Best to place near lush areas. Okay. Harvest plants in the area around it using the workforce. Okay. That's cool. Needle. Hopefully your man there is not starving. Oh, I think this needs more, more, uh, more cooking time. All right. Making charcoal again? Probably. Probably. Okay, there should be hopefully some sticks over here. Uh, I know we're, we're on the trapping quests and we might be doing a few little side quests along the way. I do like to do my side quests. It's, uh, you know... You're a regular here, you'll know that. We may even have an animated emote to that effect. Uh, I'm just having a little snack. Very light snack. I'll be back on the cam once I'm done with that. Because I ain't no heathen, Mr. Hula. Not a thing at all. No. It's definitely not why I was late starting the stream today either. Uh, there's a neat little stone wall. We're going to need some more food. Stick. Berries. Let's go. Oh, inventory full. Dang nabbits. Dag nabbity do. Oh, okay. I got loads more stones in my pocket than I needed. Over the wall. Hopefully, your man there is not starving to death. Can't wait for the mana lords. Yeah, I'm looking forward to mana lords a lot. A lot, a lot. Mm. Okay. So, that's camp chest number two. Okay, we'll just pluck some seeds, put some extra berries in there. Put them. Ah, it's all going to end up being a bit of a mishmash, isn't it? But that's okay. A whole load of wood. Some tin ore. Okay, we can keep that separated. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Let's have a village hall, central hub of any village in your first big milestone that unlocks more advanced buildings, as well as making you a higher threat to other factions. No, let's not rush into that. Let's... <laughs> no need to rush. Let's go for the workbench. Because that just needs some stones, some flax, and some logs. So he should be able to do that. Uh, I put all the wood away, because I'm silly. So, let's get this going again. Oh, he... What? He did that. Nice. Okay. Oh, good job, man. Good job. <laughs> just throw that log into the research table. Hehehe. <laughs>
Wait. Did that the wrong way around. Oh, sizzling. Okay, it's cooking. So we'll put that in there. We can probably get some of these. You can hold Alt down and click all of them. So that's groovy. Put the flax in there. Okay, starting to come together now. We'll keep the seeds in our private stash, I guess. Slowly starting to come together. I like he's doing a lot of research for us. This dude's a little bit OP. <laughs> um, but we need we're gonna need more people. It does look pretty chill. Yeah, it's one of those ones I was looking for different games on Steam a while back and I stumbled across the trailer of this and I thought that looks like it could be super fun. Um, okay, what else? Oh yeah, the trappy trap, right? So what do we need to do to make... How many did we have to make? Craft a simple trap and set it in the forest. Okay. And don't forget the bait. Hmm. I guess berries? Did we make one of these? Oh, wait. No. Uh, five bits of wood. Okay, we've got that already. You keep going there, old uh, nettle bee. Advanced bench is done. Nice. This one's cooking. Perfect. So I guess that's when we're going to... Well, I don't know, actually. We might need that so that we can see things like the pickaxe and that. But it did add recipes to this bench, too. Oh. Oh, holy schnickschnack. Okay. Okay. Nice, okay. Woodcutter's axe, makeshift blade, war hammer, battle axes. Oh, you can zoom in and out like that. Look. Oh, look at that. Who can read that? If you can read that, let me know. Uh, <laughs> uh, a bow, a war hammer, simple archery. So, where is Toolmaker? Oh. The tool maker is what gets you the pickaxe and stuff. Not yet discovered. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that's cool. Pit sore. For planks. Stockpile. So this is the stuff we've... Okay. Logging camp. Which is uh, unlocked. That... Foraging camp, which will a smoking rack, nice campfire with a cauldron. Oh look, here you go, simple, simple pickaxe. Mining camp. So once we've got foraging camp, then we'll get that. There's a farm with a hoe, thresher, compost, compost pile. Ah, oh, there you go. There's the answer. Composting pile. Shovel, weaver's loom. Oh my goodness, look at this. Loads of stuff. The well, the village well. Well, well, well. An apiary, nice. Food cellar. Village granary, bakery, windmill. Oh, superb. Love me a good windmill. Village fishing pier. And an inn. <laughs> Why is the fishing pier so far off? Also, it would have to be somewhere near water. That's so cool. Okay. 
Uh, getting ahead of myself there. <clears throat> okay, we got a joke for you from Dr. Wiggy. I lost my job at the bank today. A nice old lady asked me to check her balance, so I push her over. <laughs> wow. We have cooked meat. Where's old doobly do? Is he in his... Is he in? I can't see if he's in there. He's not in there. I don't know where, where, where old John Nettles has gone. Hey, Dingus74. It does look pretty awesome, doesn't it? And again, remember, this is a, a pre-release beater. So there's lots of stuff to come along. What? Oh, we've got all this to... Oh, now, because we got the advanced bench, we, got, we can research the things that come with that. Carpenter's hammer for building town structures. Oh, I wonder if that makes the building somehow easier or whatever. I think we need a wood woodcutter's axe. Trapper's camp, that'd be awesome. Okay, let's follow the... Uh, we're going to keep following the tutorial, though. I'll keep getting so tempted to, like, step further ahead, but... Why? Hey, what? Didn't we set this to work ages ago? Okay, it, we'll get it when it gets to halfway and we close it. Right. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. Ha. Huh. I thought it was carrying on when I wasn't there. Maybe that only does that if there's a worker on it. I suppose that makes sense. I need a drum and cymbal for my uh for my jokes. I'll get right on that. Hey, LC. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Okay. I has trap. Oh, right click on it to build it. That's cool. All right. Uh, dense forest area. So I'm guessing up there where he was before. Looked like pretty busy. on target right so difficult so difficult for me um well it's kind of near the village actually hmm I don't know maybe that thicket down by us is, is good enough like there Whoop. let's find out if there is falling damage hey is there a combat roll? Doesn't appear to be. You can do a slow walk, though. Um, okay, let's see if this is going to work. Add a berry, add a dried berry, add a mushroom, or a roasted mushroom. Okay, we need some berries. Very nice. Before, it's like berries everywhere. And when we were looking for sticks. 
Berries. Okay, where's the trap? Uh, oh, it's got a little rabbit symbol on the mini-map to guide you back to your trap. That's cool. Add a berry. All right, that's the trap set. Bring three small traps to Dobron and bring one pelt, which is an optional bonus. We're definitely going to do that. So we've got to make three more traps. We can get our trap guy to make them. What's the ETA until I step onto my own trap? How dare you? Oops. There we go. How dare you? As if. ETA 5 to 10. What? What? Oh my god. What? So rude. So rude. When would I ever? How uncouth. Oh, I got a bit too close to Dub's hut there. Got a whiff of that. Oh my god. The whole vintage story walking into my own traps thing was just... Uh, so many times, like once or twice. You could forgive it, right? But so many times. Like even I, I was getting annoyed with myself. I was like, like, you know, in a jokey, I don't care kind of way. But I was like, what is wrong with you? As in me. That I keep walking into the same traps. They're literally traps I've set. I know where they are. I've walked into them before. I mean, to be fair, sometimes I was being attacked by wolves and bears and, you know, stumbled. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, st I don't want the stones, really. Now we're probably going to need them for something. Whoop. Just making sure that the traps are still functioning? Yes. See, some people get it. You've got to check the quality of these things. You've got to make sure. None of this, none of this, you know, half a job. Oh, let's poke the trap with a stick and see if it works kind of thing. No. I'm like, no, if you believe in your trap, you've got to put your foot in it. Take pride in your work. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We're just waiting for the day when you set fire to the trap and then step. Oh, wow. 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 How rude. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. What about a bow? Oh, we need cords and river reeds. We have not even found them yet. Okay, so we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. I kind of like this idea of being, the, you know, going from camp to camp to camp or whatever you don't have them deliveries and things it's gonna so it's gonna be a big sprawling like campaign 
as opposed to more centered in one or two spots. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna rest. I don't know if I should eat my food. For, I'm gonna eat my food first. So it doesn't go off. And then... I'm gonna rest. <laughs> Loud sleepy music so that you don't fall asleep. Okay, so... So your man, yeah, okay, he's going to come and make some more traps for us. Excellent. Now we're going to go and check whether we've had any luck. Oh, I forgot that there was that log there. Do, do, do. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if this is, like, enough of an area. <clears throat> remains oh snap we got some raw meat but we didn't get any fur okay so the trap works already in that spot excellent that's great to know we got some foodie food Meat's back on the menu. <laughs> let's go. Right, hang on. Let me do me... Uh, I've got a lovely green tea. Let's get this tea bag d dealt with. Okay, there we go. Good vibes, everyone. Meat's back on the menu. I did walk into it, but it was already set off by the prey. See? Safety first. I let the... Was that like barking? These poor young trees. We've got mine. Swing and a miss. Yeah, I'm just out for a stroll, just picking up some sticks. Sticks seems to be like your uh, your go-to required resource. That and obviously in the flax. Inventory for oh. Lovely. Oh, there you go. So we've got two sets of food there. I don't know what that's given us for any kind of buff. Okay, I can't add any more uh, baits. This is cool though. I look at this. I really enjoy that we're gonna be able to uh, set up and run our, our little village like this. Let's do the old slow walkthrough. This is gonna be so cool. Once you get it all built up and bustling, or like multiple different locations as well, so it doesn't ever become stale. And there's always going to be something going on. Also, people doing deliveries between your different encampments and stuff. So that'll all make it feel alive. Because that's what you really want with these games, is you want... And you can turn the health bars and all that. That's an option. You can turn that off. Do we have to ration them? No, we throw out as many as we've got every single day. And we take them in from wherever they come as well. 
and we just try and radi radiate them out and have people hopefully have a good day and a good time. All right, kooky cook. It says four. I don't know if it needs all four to finish the cooking process. So we'll test that with a... We'll for science that with a... Uh, with a doobly-doo there with three. Now, oh my goodness, he's already made the three traps. They're already in the stores. So all we need now... Uh, is um yeah oh he's getting is he says he's hungry is he getting food from the thing no i've i've just fed him the berries i think he will gather the food from there i hope so <laughs> otherwise it's rather awkward I mean, there's like literally berry bushes right here. There's no need to starve to death. You can literally just come and grab some berries right, right here. So stop being lazy. Thank you for building those traps so quickly. Now, stop being lazy and go and get yourself some berries. Should just research the foraging thing and get him to go foraging for himself. Well, for, for both of us, I guess. Good vibes. That's what we're here for. Uh, hello. Excuse me. Would you like... I'll give you some more berries. Mm -hmm. I feel like the game... You could play quite a lot of the game with the UI off as well, which is nice from an immersion point of view. And the fact that you've got online co-op, I wonder how many people can be in a session together. I hope it's, I hope it's at least eight. So that would be cool. That would be co really cool. I mean, four was already cool with uh, MD, but. Almost immediately, it was like there still wasn't enough space for everyone to play. Uh, Captain Typo, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Oh, full inventory. Oh. Oh. My torch is out. Can I repair it? Oh, is that indicator on the left corner? So that's saying that two pieces of meat are cooked? Or is that saying that Lubomir's just stolen both pieces of meat and eaten them? <laughs> you better not have eaten all that meat. He bloody did. He he did. He took both the pieces of meat. Did he put them in storage? He did. Oh, snap. So this thing here. Maybe my pockets are full again. Let's try and pocket this. Oh, it's there now. Okay, so when you do the shift click, move things, there it doesn't seem to render in your pocket. Okay. All right, my man, let's go. Uh, you know what? Would you build me an extra trap? That would be pretty cool. And maybe make yourself a simple axe. Because maybe that's why you're not doing any logging for us. Yeah, could be. He's got a winter cloak. I love that. I love that cloak. 
What are my um, player attributes looking like right now? Harvesting is two points out of ten. Chance for extra harvesting yield plus six percent. Nothing in farming strength. Okay, so we haven't really done any of that yet. Cooking, one point. Hunting, one point. Nice. I'm assuming that will probably adjust as, it, as the game develops. Usually he blames chat. That's not true. I rarely blame chat. Rarely. Yes. We got a pelt. Is that the same as... Is that the same as fur? Rabbit fur? I mean, it's a very small trap. No, okay, bring one pelt to Dobradin. Oh, one in inventory and bring... Okay, we have. We've got the extra... We've got the optional pelt. Okay, perfect. So he's made an extra trap. I've decided I want to put an extra trap out. That's really cool. So you, so you get a little pop-up on the left-hand side that tells you when one of your peeps has done something, like completed a task. Like there, sim he's made a simple axe for us. Well met, adventurer. That's really cool. To my underground lair. And now he's going to put it in storage. Awesome. Uh, Caviorowi, Caviorowi. I don't know how I'm butchering that so badly. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard, LC. Thank you for the prime on the line and the twenty-five months of support. Thank you, buddy. Awesome source. Um, so I'm going to take those. I'm going to take that axe and I'm going to actually, while I think of it, I'm going to repair my torch. Repair. Torch. Go. Needs one piece of wood. Okay. See if we can get our head around this. Boop. Don't skip leg day. Whatever you do, do not skip leg day. Oh, it makes me mad when people skip leg day. You want it? You won't end up looking like this if you skip leg day. <laughs> there you go. And the order repair. Urgh! Don't skip leg day. Makes me mad. Okay, uh, and then Ludo. 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 Oh, door. There you go. You got an axe now. Go chop some wood for us. Choppy chop. Oh, you're going to Dub's house. All right, I'll leave you to it then. Okay, we've got four traps in the inventory. I'm going to go and put another trap over here. These seem to be working exceedingly well. So maybe in this area over here, we put one. Put a berry in there. Nice. All right. Let's go and talk to the uh, town elder. I love the big rabbit head thing. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to the town elder. I do want to build a logging camp. I wonder if... Lumberjack spot. What? I didn't even see that one before. All right, let's go and talk to uh, Dobron. No dangers yet. So the game's tutorial area is very gentle. <laughs> I gotta be really careful. I am super tempted to start building like more and more things, like right, rush forward a little bit. 
just just because you know time limited to play the game but also i don't know these raids and everything <laughs> i suppose it'd be pretty funny if they came and just trashed everything right away my stomach hurts badly i'm too hungry oh i'm sorry to hear that buddy i would offer you some berries madam hungry and down on luck oh coin would mean the world. A double threat go guy hungry and down on your luck don't try anything stupid um excuse me have you ever seen most of the things i do stupid's my middle name we are keeping the peace here all right well by carrying a massive axe around on your shoulder got it <laughs> message received sir peasants, there's no time to lose all right well they don't have to be so rude these these brigands there's a quest board here stop wandering around oh okay stop wandering around what won't talk to you without with a weapon out oh i'm sorry i'm sorry you're back. that's you kind of cool you're back did you manage to convince him Blah, here's your fur don't ask me how are we good yet Plus 30 renown. That's good. Really impressive. Unfortunately, that's not the end. I need something more from you. You see, we have a problem with wolves. And someone has to take care of them. Oh, here it is, chat. Here we go. Here's uh, the beginning of the end. Have you lost your mind? Hunting rabbits is one thing, but fighting wolves? That sounds dangerous. You showed me you're true to your word. But I need more to trust you. Will you do it for me or not? I don't know. I'm going to go and let myself be murdered by a pack of wolves just to win your trust. It seems like a bit of a foolhardy mission. I'm in. Stupid's my middle name. Fine. I'll bring you wolves pelts as a trophy. All right. We gained some trusts. All right. We're at the level of stranger. 50 out of 100 to the next level. Uh, find the wolves making the lives of the villagers miserable and kill the wolves. Uh, I need... I need what's his name? Work peasant, there's no time to lose. Stop being rude to me. I won't stand for it. Lubomir needs to be my companion. Currently working as companion. Okay, good. Yeah. Keep going. This looks like it's filling up over time, like we're getting more pally or whatever. Okay. Following, charging, an order. Okay. Q is following. Where is he? Hello. Oh, it's you, Emily. I don't have much time for pointless chatting. I have too many things on my plate right now. Well, you shouldn't be so greedy when you go to the buffet. <laughs> Here he comes. It's like whistling for your horse. Dude. Come on, Ludo. What's taking you so long? Dude. Good news. Dun, 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 Good news, dun, buddy. Dun, 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 We're going to go and fight dun, dun, some wolves. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go and fight some wolves. It's going to be amazing. Oh, they're all the way over there in the dark. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go. So down the road a bit and then to the west. Oh, look, moo cows. Lots of moo cows. Mm. Exactly. It's your, it's your moment to shine. Game over, man. Game over. Uh, Akamas91. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard. We need 26 more for our current follower goal of 10,069. Nice. Come on, Ludo. Come on. Keep up, son. I'm not. I'm only jogging. 
Bleh. Why you not keep up with the man? Oh, there's some of these reeds. Maybe we should get these reeds and learn about the bow. But I don't know if we can even gather the reeds yet. Maybe we need a sickle for that or something. Oh, no, it would say if it was gatherable, it would say uh, what tool we need. Hmm. Don't know. Let's go get these wolves. How How hard can it be? I mean, there's two of them. Oh! I looted an offerings box? Was I... Old coins from the age before tyranny. <laughs> Gifting them to elders will increase the villagers' trust in you. Huh. Examine pagan shrine remains. Pagan shrine? Uh, knowledge books. These books contain valuable knowledge. Use it to expand your own abilities with a P or use or those of your settlers in the NPC inspect screen. They can greatly improve skill mastery, but more advanced books require sufficient knowledge to learn them first. Cool. Pagan Trine. Do they suffer as we suffer? Uh, or do they laugh at our plight? Hear us, O oh mighty gods. We dedicate ourselves to earning your continued blessings of prosperity. We pray you'll accept what we have to offer, no matter how meager. Hmm. Cool. So I got a knowledge. Whoa! Agility novice book. Times three crafting novice book. And a harvesting novice book. Cool. Okay. Learn skill by reading a book. Can't exceed your potential. Okay, so we're reading a craft book down there. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I like this. This seems to be like a nice amount of depth. Like not too much, just... It's doing all right. Where's these wolves? In before we get murderized by the wolves. Mushrooms! Uh, let's give matey boy here some mushrooms. So that he's not going to moan about... That's a deer. Alright, here we go. We're going off-road. Might as well eat something myself. Take that, mushrooms. Well, this is going to be hilarious. This is going to be hilarious. Okay, first try. We've got the block mechanics. We know that from... Uh, and the attacking mechanics with the different swings. We know that a little bit from Elo, but it's been a long time coming. Or a long time since. Come on, Ludo. Probably not so hard. Hmm. Creep up on it. That is one wolf. Oh, charge. Okay. So I can send him to follow or not follow. Okay. Let's go. Where's the other wolf? Can I order him to uh, oh, attack target? Go. Ah. Smack on the head. Huzzah! We are victorious. Okay. Okay, so if I press Q, 
I've just noticed or learned that that turns off the place location thing or whatever, the order. Okay, sleeping restores your HP. When your companions lose a battle, they respawn, but become injured for a certain amount of time. When they lose again before healing, they die forever. Wow. That's really cool. Oh, that's really cool. So there's a definite risk reward. That's very cool. Okay. Right, come on, buddy. We've got to find this other wolf. That's very cool. So you've got to be careful. You're going to send your... Uh, your interns into battle. We don't like, we just cover it up. We don't make mistakes. Hey, Lanavar. Good vibes, buddy. Yeah, we've got Easter weekend coming up. I'll probably do a cheeky thing on Monday. You know, I'll probably do an extra little cheeky, little cheeky bit of RimWorld or something. I don't know. We'll see. What's the 28th? So... This is available to the 30th, so we might play a bit of this on uh, Saturday as well. We'll see how, how we're time. doing. Don't worry. Be healthy. Uh, oh, wolf. I, this is kind of cool, though, that you can send your... Uh, send your minion in to attack and everything. This is very cool. Oh! <laughs> yes! Go for it, him instead. Have it. Ha ha! I best thee. Oh, did you see this? <laughs> it felt like that was like a much bigger wolf. He just came charging out the corner. There's another one. There is another one uh, over here somewhere. Okay. All right, we're good. We have defeated two wolves. Okay, let's 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 go home. Okay, good job, Dobby. You're not Dobby, you're Ludo. Whatever. Should we attack the third? Oh, there's a third. There's a fourth wolf. No, no, we're not doing that we're gonna get mold we're gonna get surrounded i'm gonna and he's gonna die and it's gonna be miserable come on so you can get him to hold position by pressing r or you can have him in charging mode so that feels really cool to me like just having the companion with you i think is a great thing uh, a really fun thing and then being able to use them in these different ways. That feels very good as well. Wait, so I don't want my axe out at the moment. I want my club in case there's trouble. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's interesting that they've gone with these two slots. It's kind of cool rather than the 15 things on your belt. Uh, he's hungry. And he's going to stop following. Okay. Um, here you go, buddy. Here, have another... Have another mushroom. Come on, man. That was cool. I like that. <laughs> I got a little bit scared when that wolf just kind of charged around that corner. It moved quite quickly. It was good. It was good. That was that was fun. I mean, I am a big scaredy cat, so it's fine. No, don't hit the tree with the stick. Here, would you like... I'll give you a berry. Look. Actually, I'm going to need... I'm going to need more berries for the... Uh, for the traps. So let's get some more berries while we're here. There we go. 
Okay, Ludo. Alright, we're nearly home. Go to the traps first. See what we've got. Okay, just some meat in that one. Oh, replace broken trap. What? So we have to... Oh, the traps only last so long. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of... I wonder if that's like an RNG thing or... Like it's after three uses or something. Hmm. They are quite effective though. Okay. And here's our little camp. Let's get some food cooking. All right. Cheers, Dr. Waggy. Safe travels. There we go. Some cooking. I like this. It's, it's, it's got a real feeling of... What's the right way to describe it? Like so, like a sort of a purpose. Like you feel... You can feel that energy that you're, you're living in this little village and you're sort of contributing to it and whatnot. I like that. Okay, dude, I... Stand still for a moment. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, gonna have you change to a worker again. Or you could guard the camp. No, you can be a worker and you can make me some more traps. Uh, two traps, please. One off. Oh, top up. Okay, so always make sure there's two traps. Wow, that's cool. That's a nice inclusion there. You've got your priorities as well. Drop to the bottom, drop to the top. Push to the top. That's neat. Now, about this learning thing. Oh, I see. So that's a bar all the way up to the next level. Learn skill from a book. Okay, so we're going to read from the... I like that, that there's a time lapse to you learning that skill from that book. So you've got the two ways of advancing, at least by performing those tasks or reading the tasks in the book. So if there's certain things that you want to maybe be able to make a better bow, but you don't want to uh, 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 craft for two hours to get your skills up or whatever, you can find these books or whatever uh, to, to learn those skills from. That's neat. That is neat. Uh, let's rest after our hunting. And we'll go to the town in the, in the daylight. <laughs> not as Atlas-like? No. I mean, if you're not Atlas-like, generally speaking, in a game, unless it comes to the server meshing, it's the only thing I really... <laughs> I like the theme of Atlas. Uh, and I like the server meshing of Atlas. Pretty much everything else I don't. I don't have a lot of time for. <laughs> Your attention, please. Sadly. Advertisements are now running to support good causes. Thank you, please. Okay, let's see. How's the cooking going? Okay. Let's give old Ludo here. I mean, again, he should be able to well, take man. food from the chest, I think.
We'll keep one in our pocket. He's making the traps. Excellent. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Uh, actually... See, I'm already, like... It's like we're long-term playing. I'm like, let's go and replace the traps. And... Awesome. Uh, which one was it that was broken? Hey, Reckless, how you doing? Hey, yeah. Exactly, Afsan. I mean, you know, I'm kind of done with bashing that game. It, just, it comes from, uh, I suppose, is where a lot of these things come from. I just so desperately wish that they'd managed it better and... and but, you know, it is what it is. They, uh... They meshed it up. They did done meshed it up. But, having said that... It's amazing how much uh, superb fun we've had... In that game, in spite of itself. So it just goes to show if there is a will there. Communities and player bases can come together and just make something great out of whatever, you know? At least in that kind of game, it gives you that kind of uh, possibility. Need some more berries, man. Bleh. Okay. So let's get these traps run in again. And then we'll go over to uh, the pelts. I mean, it can look very beautiful at times. You know, they, you have moments in it. There are moments in it. But, um, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go and see uh, Dobby handing our next quest. I'm enjoying this. Like you can see that there's some beater elements to it in that, where there's nothing that gets in the way of just having some fun with it already. And that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. I feel like, even though I've turned the blurring off, I feel, I wonder if there's like a depth of field thing. I don't know if it's just my eyesight. It could be. <laughs> uh, third person field of view. Maybe this is a little high for me. It's interesting that this isn't a number. Uh... No. Okay. So it might just be that. And it's a bit weird that when you apply the changes, that's causing the computer to max out for a few seconds. Like that. So you get that video stutter. That's weird. So again, beta. That's something that I assume will be ironed out before it comes to release. Uh, right, we've got to go and see Dobby son up here. Do you have to wait between reading those books? That's a good question. Um, if I read, well, let's see. Let's read another crafting book. And then, oh, I don't know what else we had. We've got Agility Novice. Agility. So, yeah. It looks like one at a time.
Remind me to try that agility book in a short while. Oh, I feel like that. It's weird. Normally with field depth of field or, or field of view, less is more. But in this case, I feel like that's got, that made it worse. I think it was about there, right? It was just off the, uh, just off the side. Yeah. I'm a little bit sensitive to things like that. So like motion, motion blurs and anything that does like depth of field, which I, I don't Those think should be more grateful. it has that. That might be under blurring setting. Um, but any of those kind of get like motion sickness kind of thing uh, or headaches very easily from, from video games. Sir? So this one seems pretty solid so far. We've been playing for like two and a half hours and I don't really feel like I have a headache. I get a little tingle that there's something there, but that's that can happen in a lot of games for me. Uh, I don't have too much time, so if you need something, make it quick. Why is this guy just walking between us? Get out of here. Regarding the wolves... Regarding the wolves, I'm going to pelt you with these wolves' pelts. Wait, you're back again. Work Surely, peasants, you there's no time to lose. Surely you didn't. What? Survive? I got the pelts from the wolves as requested. They won't be a problem anymore. I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's much appreciated. It's okay. I like your mustache. We can be friends. But also, there were four wolves out there, not two. Don't worry, I left the other two alone. Can I continue my investigation here now? Yes, I suppose you can. Even though I might question your mental state for taking on those wolves, you've shown you're not a danger to us. What? Indeed, you seem to be more of a danger to yourself. You seem to be more of a danger to yourself. So he's like questioning my mental state for taking on that quest. Don't worry, I had Ludo with me and I sent him into battle. He was very good. He only took five bites. Excellent, I'll get to work then. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get answers. Before I go, I have a question for you. Who is Lord Ashbourne? Oh, I do want to know that. He's the Lord of the Lowlands. He was given his role by the Queen herself and... Oh. It doesn't matter. Go now, young one. I believe you have a matter to investigate. Go now, young one. I see. Okay, thanks for information. I get going. My renown is a hundred. We've gained the trust of Herndine. You anything else? Do you need any help? I have something for you. Oh, we can gift him things. I'm afraid I, don't have I don't have anything for you right now. Okay. No. See you later. So we're now an associate of this town. I wonder if that means we can talk to other people now. Hello? Sorry, I'm busy. Go find the village elder. He should be able oh, to help you. no. Okay. Can I ask you something? I think we can help each other by working together. What do you think? Oh, okay. So this is how we're going to hire the villagers. Those peasants should be more grateful. All right. What does the tutorial want me to do now? Or is that is that it now? It's We're on our own. Could be. So, it would be... I think it would be good if we got a forager. So, I like how she says, go away. But then... What are your roles? You don't have a role? Are you new in town? It's customary that you should greet the elder. Okay. Uh, I think we can help each other. By working together. I don't know what you do, but with a name like Olga Falcher, you're a shoe in Can I ask you something? Of course. What's going on in the village? Have you heard something interesting? Can you tell me about more about the situation here? Oh, everything is great, mostly. Lord Ashborn really take care of Everything's great, mostly. So she appreciates Lord Ashborn. Anything interesting? Hello, Huffy, over on the YouTube. Welcome in. Their faces hidden behind masks, waiting to prey on unsuspecting wanderers. It sends shivers down my spine just thinking about it. Oh. Bandits. Dimwater Marsh and Drenchwood Grove. Okay, that sounds like a tale to keep people away from those areas. I doubt it's a sinister. Sure. Let's go, Ivan. Let's get ourselves in big trouble with bandits. People are going hungry. 
guards seem more interested in lining their pockets than protecting us. Mm. And that's why he had no money to pay the trapper. These guards. I'll see what I can do to make things better. See you later. Also, do you know anything about this cat? I would like this cat to come and live in our village. Hello, kitty cat. Meow. Those peasants should be more grateful. Yeah. What? Those peasants should be more grateful. Wow. You know, you two are practically twins. Who are you? You are a weaver. Oh, I talked to you already. I like the weavers actually got the fancy clothing. Advertising their their wares. You are a beggar. No time to lose. Uh, who are you? You look like you might be a farmer. Apprentice farmer. That could be handy. Is there marriage and babies in this? I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, yeah, so there you go. We've got, um, we can read the agility book now. Oh, how much I would give for leftovers from the Lord's Feast. Because we'd finished reading the other book. Hurts badly. I'm too hungry. Okay. I mean, we could take on beggars and give them work, right? This weaver lady, I'm just going to hire her because she keeps standing out with her fancy clothes. Uh, I need someone who can forage, I think. Farmer is very tempting, though. Joan Hud. Oh, you're a merchant. Oh, what do you sell? Sight. What can I interest you in today? Um, what do you have in stock? Oh, mushroom stew, actual cooked food, cloth quiver. Wait, how many of these coins? I got this old coin. I've got 66 gold coins. Okay. I can't afford anything. Well, I know I could afford the carpenter's hammer, but I could make my own. Okay, let's see if... Uh, it's what a bit can annoying. You can't go back to the previous. Uh, is there anything I could help you with? These are tough years, and I'm sorry, but I don't have any job for you at the moment. Okay. Anything else? No. Why does he keep saying thirsty something or other? <laughs> I'm parched. <laughs> and you are Madeline Typhoon. We are oh. keeping the peace here. I'm ignoring you. Here. Come take oh, a you're a bookseller. Greetings, friend. In a world full of noise and distraction, oh. there is nothing more valuable than a good book. Take a look what I have. Yeah, everyone's just walking the around the town. Uh, what do you have in stock? Oh. I could even sell for 50 apiece the books that I've got, maybe. Well, I don't, there's no point, though. We got them for free, so might as well learn them. Okay, that's cool. So they're 150. Do you need Welcome any help? Oh, I was hoping you would ask me that. Oh. Your knack for uncovering mysteries is just what I need. I didn't know about this. Something that might greatly benefit from your unique talents. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. My, my name traveled wide and far and uh, far and wide. You caught my interest. What's the special thing? This better be good, Oscar. What's your angle this time? Whoa. It's a task suited to someone of your discerning nature. <laughs> Hidden across our wilds or ancient shrines. Each one a repository of forgotten wisdom. Oh, he's going to ask me to look for the other shrines. Fun that you should mention that. I've actually come across one of these already. That's quite the stroke of luck. I'm fascinated by what these prayers could signify. It's not really luck. It's just that I tend to get lost very easily. So I read uh, one. Uh, no, I tried to. Or no, did we just select the agility book? Yeah, we did. So it is one book at a time. Okay. Uh, so I already solved this quest. Greetings, traveler. The books in my store are essential tools for personal growth, enlightenment, and self-discovery. 
How do you find it? I find the or the voiceover very quiet. Like, do you find does it come across at all to you guys or? I grew up in a small village near the gauntlet. My mother brought me here when I was little because she married a traveling scribe. Yeah, yeah, no, all good, Captain Type. <laughs> Cat Pain Typo. I keep, I'm even misreading it as Captain Typo. Cat Pain Typo, that's so good. Okay. So, you really love books, huh? Can you tell me more about why books are so important to you? Absolutely, I do love books. They've been my teachers and friends when I didn't have any. Books hold a lot of knowledge. Spare a coin for an old soul. For everyone, just, just a few pennies to life. stave off hunger's bite. So okay, so they are audible. Okay. What I can with the people here. Tell me. Okay. You know yeah. Because, like, I don't find the, I don't find the music too loud. So it's not like I feel like I need to turn the music down. I find that it's the voice acting that needs to be. Yeah, okay, thanks, Viper. Yeah, exactly. So I was kind of... My, I should have started that way around. That was my thought process. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Uh, books hold a lot of knowledge. Hey, cheers, sitting duck. Take care, buddy. Have fun in whatever you're up to next. Can we uh, get a shout-out for sitting duck? He's a good egg. He does a lot of fun stuff. He's been playing some RuneWorld lately. Go check him out. Uh, books and I think the knowledge should be for everyone not just the rich or the lucky so I'm passionate is that a jab at me I'm passionate about sharing what I can with the people here tell me uh, do you know how to read oh yes I learned in my younger days who taught you who taught you oh he's trying to pry he's trying to get in on 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 our backstory old friend of the family maybe we'll speak later about oh, it yes, of don't you worry about it my friend pet 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 Yeah, some of the coincidental walk by stuff is clear. So they, obviously it's just volume leveling. Uh, again, we're in the beater, so they'll get there. Here, but your coin spends the same. Expert innkeeper. Make it quick. I need to work. Whoa. Okay. If that's your attitude, bud, I'll go I'll build my own tavern. Can I help you? I don't have anything for you. you don't have any job for me? Okay. Anything else? No. Anything else? But yeah, it's a good point that they, it, whilst they're walking around, gives the feeling of the. Sorry, I'm busy. Go find the village elder. He should be able to help you. Uh, you see, this is the, so. This is obviously a beta thing. They shouldn't be saying, sorry, I'm busy, go find the Elder, if we're already connected with the town and and then they offer the conversation anyway, right? So... Those peasants should be more grateful. Cletus is normally so nice too. <laughs> yes. Hey, spicy tuna roll, yeah. Uh, it, it is. There's the Kingdom Come Deliverance meets Medieval Dynasty meets... I want to say like Last Oasis, obviously in terms of some of the design ideas and features, like the combat and that. And no, I, I like it so far. I'm enjoying it very much. Again, this is a beta version. Um, uh, there's no scheduled release date yet, so pl some plenty of time, hopefully, to uh, continue the development. I'm looking for good people to help me survive this place. Would you consider working with me? These lands are my home. How do I know you won't bring trouble to them? Oh, I will bring trouble to them, my friend. Okay, and then we get to see a breakdown of his abilities. He's quite good at fighting as well, with a high threshold. Follower happiness plus 10, not enough renown. Uh, required trust level of bell right. Village is not liberated. These lands are my home. How do I know? Okay. I came seeking allies, not enemies, but I respect Sorry, your I decision. Go find the village elder okay, so he's it's kind of giving me some clues. 
as to uh, what I need to do. Uh, there's someone to talk to over here. There's a speech bubble. The I'm chasing the speech bubble. I'm coming up on the speech bubble. Are you the speech bubble? No. You're the speech bubble. Are you? Oh, is that Emily? Hello. How's Emily. our new Handinian doing? Any progress in your search? Oh, so they see me as like one of their village now or something. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking about what I should do next. Any ideas? I presume you're going to stay in the lowlands for a while, so I think you should work on your camp. It's your home sweet home after all. Fair. It's your place to protect yourself and plan your next moves, if that kind of thing matters to you. Hire some people and build more useful structures. No, I don't know, you City don't Twenty. Living in that uncomfortable shack, do you? No, this is true. I don't want to live in the shack. I want to build my own tavern or farmhouse. Uh, and what should I do after I recruit some people? Are you sure nice people want to join me? I've slept in worse places. <laughs> Elder from Padstow has a problem with bandits. It's an opportunity to meet some of the villagers there and gain their trust. Earn some coins. Oh, so the if we can go to Pals Padstow. There, you'll at least gain some funds for your search. And by the gods, be careful when showing off that sigil. You might run into someone willing to kill to protect its secrets. Oh. Whoa! What sigil? Have you been staring at my sigil, lady? Earn friend trust level from people in Herndon. Okay, so we basically got to keep talking to people and offering quests and things until they're friendly. And then they might uh, come work with us. Help citizens to earn trust in a village. If you have to hire them and unlock new gameplay opportunities. Earn renown through completing quests, building constructions and fending off threats. This is your currency with which you hire villagers. Once you build up a certain level of trust with the village, you can engage in a liberation. <gasps> okay, so this is the whole... We're going to free them from the yoke of the, the... The bad dudes. Hey, Victor. The elder has been asking if there is anyone who could help him out with some things. You look like you could use some help yourself. I could use some help. Would you, uh, would you want to work with me? To make such an offer, traveler. If you raise your standing in the village, I will reconsider. Okay, your fair enough. So not I enough renown. I need 178 renown. I mean, I'm not that far off. That guy was so Victor. We've got to try and remember that. Victor was more, uh, approachable or inclined to join than to others. And Emily said we should go to Padstow. Bandit encampment. Or maybe we just go and fight these bandits. Here's pa oh, Padstow's quite a way, isn't it? Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go work on some village stuff and then we'll go and have a look at one of these bandit camps. You got his name on the kill list? Wow. Wow. Send in the turkeys. It's just gonna end it's gonna end in tears though with the whole AI. It's it's gonna end up being one of those uh uh you start off beating the AI a few times and then it just gets better and better and better and in the end you might as well not even launch the game anymore. In fact, you might as well just disconnect your PC and burn it outside in the yard. <laughs> You got to log into your PC and the game says, don't even bother, mate. <laughs> don't even bother. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah. We got research we could do. We got a new, haven't we, we've got the advanced tool bench, right, that we could make. I think I want a foraging camp. 
So this takes five shrooms, five stones, and five berries. That's got to be achievable. Uh, we've got the stones, so we need shrooms and berries. Okay, that's still cooking. This is cool now. So now we're like getting into living in the world. Uh, I like the sense, it, like I said before, it. my initial feel on this is it's giving you enough of a sense of purpose. And I can feel that the game is moving us quite quickly actually towards, you know, the world opening up and then it's your choice which path you're going to take, where you're going to go. I quite like it. Uh, it's got a good vibe. Got a good starting vibe. For me at least. I mean... The, the story and obviously all the extra years of development time and whatnot and updates to Kingdom Come, you know, it's it's nowhere near like on that level uh, yet. Um, but you can see the the possibilities, I feel. Definitely feels like it's full of possibility. And again, I don't know once we know more about the co-op side of things. I'd love to know what the co-op uh, will be like and the like the limit and things like that. So five shrooms, so I'm going to... Oh, he's going to do some research. I don't think we had enough shrooms left. I could be wrong. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you do... Exactly. Exactly. We're going to... We're one day... How terrifying would it be, right? The day that the AI takes over your computer and starts talking back at you like how... I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Oh my god. Like, but it does it just to just to meme. Like, just because that's part of the human psyche. <laughs> I mean, I suppose at some point people won't even know what that film was anymore, so... Sad but true. Oh man, that trap's broken again. So yeah, I think it's three times each with the traps. I think. Talking about RimWorld, yeah. Oh, I seen it. Add fish. Oh, they said the fishing's not in the game yet, but there will be. And we've seen that there's a fishing pier. It's going to be great. It's going to be so good. He had that as a sound pack? Nice. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought Tab was bringing out inventory before, but I could be wrong. Uh, okay, so... 
I should eat that. Before that goes off. I can eat that. Oh, let's do the trifecta then. That's kind of silly because now I'm going to sleep, aren't I? Oh well, actually also we can read a book. Uh, harvesting book. We get more stuff from what we harvest. That's cool. Yeah, okay, 67% research and we need five mushrooms. So we've got to go to where we fought those wolves. Or I guess anywhere there's lots of mushrooms. Is this where? No. I think it was this area here, right? This dark area with the cliffs. I guess this is meant to be a fog of war type thing. I think we'll rest. And then we'll take old um, Dingus with us into the uh, into the forest. Is this called a single player? So I'm currently single player, uh, Kumo Khan, but uh, it has got already online co-op together. I don't know much of the details of it yet. Oh no, it's it's peeing down. Oh, so that's probably. I can you oh no you can can you run the fire though that's that's almost a pity i think it would be cooler if the campfire went out but then they would have to be an indoor or they would have to be a lean to or something you can build to put over the campfire that would be cool yep dingus yes you're going to the forest you're coming with us you are coming with us. All right, we've got to go and get some. Uh, we've got to go and get some mushrooms. <laughs> I forgot that we had a dingus in chat. I love it. <laughs> I was referring to my buddy Cringer's uh, character that he plays because we're playing Yvonne, like loosely. And uh, Dingus and Yvonne are quite the uh, quite the comedic pair. Hi, my name's Dingus. Nice to meet you. So it's a shame we can't pick this up. And I don't know. He had that, or maybe it's not his. That's also possible. So let's see if we can find our way back to somewhere. Oh, here we go. Mushrooms. That didn't take long. Ah, take that. Or, no, can I have the mushroom? No, no pineapples. Bad tuna roll. I get a few extra for cooking and for traps. Ha, take that. Okay, I need to put this weapon away so that I'm not accidentally clicking and... You know, we're probably going to need a bunch of stones, aren't we, for what we build next? You know what would be very neat, I think, as well, as if we could, say, order them to, hey, pick up these stones for me or whatever. I guess we could give them stuff to carry for us. Is not a bad idea. Give them a couple of mushrooms to eat on the way home. It's not a bad idea at all. I wonder if he put them in storage and whatnot. Mushrooms for days.
Yes, I have. I had a good chuckle uh, on the roadmap when I saw the dynamite. I had a very, very good hearty chuckle. Dynamite? What could possibly go wrong? Give the dynamite to Ivan? <laughs> Dingus? What could possibly go wrong? Hey kidney, how you doing buddy? Why yes, isn't that what you do? Of an average day, of an average uh, Thursday? I had to think what day it was then. <laughs> signs you're a streamer. <laughs> signs you're a full-time streamer. What day is it? Okay, so, uh, oh, no, no, come, you, hello, yeah, work. Go to the research desk, that's it, get your job done. I can't remember what he was researching. Oh, the foraging hut, right? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, what about advanced research bench? Logging camp, that could be really handy. Okay, foraging camp is now unlocked. So I'm going to build one of those. Forage Wait, that's a campfire. That's no, no. Okay. So you got to click on it and then press F. I thought you could hover over it and press F. Okay. Let's put that. Oh, it says it's got a works in a radius, right? So it wants to be somewhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's put it over here by these. Uh, Oh, this little area here. Does it want to be like right in the middle of the area? Because it could be. Oh no, it doesn't like that. Okay, so here. I guess it's gonna be stuck there. It looks like there's mushrooms and berries and stuff. Maybe between that one and and this little orchardy area here. Okay. Okay, it needs loads of wood and logs and whatever. I'm hoping this will count as like a reasonably lush area. I mean, there are mushrooms and stuff here, so... That should be a good sign. Plenty of bushes as well. Okay, so some logs. Big overhead swing. I 
think we have to go and look into this whole bandit thing. That should be pretty hilarious. But it, it would be kind of cool if we could win someone else over to come and join us in our in our village. Inventory form. It's kind, of, it's kind of cool. It's unusual, but kind of cool that you have to already spread this stuff out a little bit. I quite like that. I think I'm quite enjoying the slow pace as well. I'm sure if you had a team working together, it would be uh, a lot quicker. And we could probably focus a bit more, but I don't really do that. I'm just, just doing whatever pops into my head at any moment. Do I need stones for this? No. Wood, logs, and flax. Okay. Look like a good tree to take out. Oh, he's actually helping me out already with the construction. That's cool. Oh, that's neat. Good job, Hodor. Good job. Nice. I like that he just came and helped out with that. I didn't have to, like, tell him specifically. That's, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I mean, I know they've got this worker category. But I, I like that. I appreciate that. It's different than what you have with MD, where it's like they have a specific job that they're assigned to in that, right? Oh, you know what I should have tried building? I should have done the blooming... Oh, I'm such a buffoon. This I even said I would do it that way. I should have done the whole lumberjacks station and um uh the the wood cutting thing in me, Bobby. Cause we're gonna need the wood for every single building, right? Oh so silly. And we might have learned if we can make uh wood cuttings or whatever from Which I feel like they should probably rename that to like branch or something. It's a little bit confusing to call it wood. And then not be able to make the bit of wood from a log. Again, maybe you can when you put the lumberjack station down. In fact, I'm even talking about it now. Why don't we do it that way around? What does... Allows one worker to chop logs into wood. Oh, there you go. One worker can use this to cut down trees in a small area best to place near a dense forest. Okay. F. So let's look for... Where is dense forest? Oh my goodness. But this is all going to be so far away from my camp. There is a bit of forest closer to the camp, I think, right? There's the camp. So over here. So this doesn't have to be... Uh, I wonder if we put this in the town. I suppose it doesn't really matter that much. It probably should be near the stockpile. And then the, the logging camp thing... Should be over by the by the woods over there. I'm gonna put this down here. I guess that might be the log pile or something. We'll put that there. 
here for now. Mining camp, stockpile. So maybe we should build the stockpile. Smoking rack campfire. Nice. Weaver's loom, trapper's camp. So producers wouldn't. Okay, that's for the planks. Yeah. Okay, let's get this done. Um, eight pieces of wood and two logs. All right, so eight branches and two logs. It's a shame I can't go back and rob from that other building. Get that, get this one done first. <laughs> How's it going, kidney? You doing well, bud? You're dual watching. You're over on the YouTube as well. Oh my goodness. Now we're in trouble. I was kind of hoping that you, you wouldn't find that one. <laughs> yeah, folks, don't forget that if you want to support the nonsense that we do here and our charity pledge for absolutely free... You can go and subscribe on the YouTube channel, YouTube channel and help us grow that over there. Uh, that would be amazing. One log and three more bits of wood. Okay. Thank you, Raddy. Young tree. Earn the friend trust level from the people in the town. Okay. I think by having a nicer village, that will appeal to them. And then we probably just have to talk to more people and see if any of them have a, a quest for us. Oh, that's done already. Is that... No. I don't know if I'm hitting it or not, I can't. Okay, I was. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's it needs to be slightly improved feedback on tasks like that. Or like a clearer indication of where you're hitting that kind of thing.
I think it was just branches I needed now. I almost also almost feel like it shouldn't be a left click to gather things, but it should be the F key for the interaction. It's a bit strange sometimes to go from the one thing to the other. Like for swinging at a tree, I get it that that feels like an attack, but for uh, picking up the wood from the floor, Almost feels like it would be the F key rather than the... I think middle mouse key would be annoying. But, you know, or, you know, it's probably maybe even configurable in the menu. Thinking about it. But th this is an example. You've got log cut. So this is what I would like to see. Is when it says log cut... I like that you don't have to be super precise with the with with to see the log cut option. But like now the log is moving a little bit and I can't see where to hit it. I don't think I should have to see it. I mean either you're gonna go full simulation, full immersion, in which case you need to be more accurate. But I think as soon as you can see the spot, you should be able to swing and hit the spot. Like as long as you're facing roughly the right direction and and whatnot. It feels it's a bit odd that you're kind of looking at it more or less and you only need to be like a couple of little centimeters off to the side to <laughs> to not hit the log that you're clearly aiming at. <laughs> it feels feels uh again not a massive criticism but just like I think that could be better. Okay. Chop logs. Got it. Select recipe. Make wood. How many wood am I going to get from my one log? I've got one wood currently, and we're chopping one log. Come on. Give me like eight. Yeah. I think F or E... You know, whatever your interaction key is, I think that should be your harvesting. But I also, as I said, my humble suggestion and desire would be to have it harvest a radius. Um, oh, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's all right then. Five to one. Nice. So now we'd be able to get old um, dingus here. <laughs> dingus. We'd be able to get dingus. Oh, there was a question about renaming them. Uh, that doesn't currently seem to be an option. Unless it's in the settlement management screen. No, that just clicks through to the person. Okay. Hmm. We're doing well, though. <coughs> he's he's uh he's enjoying the time. But what is he? What have I got him making? Oh, he's keeping the the traps going in rotation. So we should always have two traps ready to go, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, there's one, and they'll make the other. Okay, nice. Okay, so we should build the logging camp next, rather than the foraging. Yeah. Okay, and we want that. I think that's too near to there, really. I think over here. It's not really a forested area. It may be over here. 
actually, yeah. Okay. So we'll build this one. 13 wood, 6 logs, and 10 flax. Not too bad. Bang. He's happy doing all the work. Hey, I'm doing plenty of work here. It could be argued that I'm doing too much work. I think. My humble assessment of things. I think old uh, Hodor could be, you know, getting a chop chop on. See, I don't. I like this. This is cool. This is cool immersion. That the big trees need to be then cut up into pieces before you can use it. But if you're going to do that, you like okay. Here it's just easy. It's just a perfect position. But then it's got to just work really smoothly, right? Otherwise, oh no, my axe broke. Oh no, I forgot to fix my. I forgot to fix my axe. Oh no! Well, Holdor has got an axe, hasn't he? Oh, fiddlesticks. I've got coffee. Everything else uh, can wait. Holdor? Okay, you keep your axe for a minute, buddy. I've got to go and repair mine. Dag nabbit. Alright, is it. Oh, we're coming up to coffee break? Okay, I'm going to actually make some. Uh, some food as well. So I'll be gone in a few minutes. You guys can enjoy some adverts and some lovely scenery. Um, I still don't have any firewood. Uh, uh, repair, repair. I've got to do this now because I'll forget otherwise. Repair. Simplex needs three pieces of wood. No, he's taken all the wood to the building site. Oh, you there. I mean, it makes sense. You're doing a job, but. Dag nabbit. Oh, I can't do the lumber checking because my axe is broken. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So. I will need to steal Holdor's axe then, or... Okay, here's what we could do. We can put my axe in the storage. And another log. Oh, I just hope he's gonna... He's gonna... He's gonna take it to the other building. Um, I need him to... Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna steal his axe. Come here! I am going to steal your axe. Thanks. What if I give him the broken axe? I wonder if he'll repair his own axe. Okay. All right. And leave you with a nice... Uh, well, not really that nice of a view of our village, I guess. But anyway, I, you get a view of our village. And I'll be uh, I'll be right back in a few moments. Thanks for hanging out with us so far, folks. Plenty more to come.
Oh no, I've come back and it's winter. I know I made some food, so <laughs> it was a slightly longer break, but <laughs> I didn't think it was that long. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. Oh no. All right, what's our minion been up to? Has he been working hard? Getting stuff done? I wonder. Oh no, roasted mushroom, but oh, it's not finished yet. How are you getting on, bud? Did you fix your axe? No. <laughs> you can't cheese it by giving them the broken axe by the looks of it. Damn it. Hmm. Okay. Um. So we're in the process of making the logging camp over here and I now have a working axe again okay let's go so that's kind of cool so day seven it's gone wind so I wonder if they've just done it on like 10 days is a, is a year or something or 12 or whatever just to show you it during the the sort of demo whatever be kind of cool there's not going to be any hungry animals out here right <clears throat> He's been walking around moaning about, mumbling something about his leader leaving with a broken axe so he can't do anything. Wow. What a big baby. I guess that means we can't uh, have any more mushrooms? Question mark. He's just getting his steps in for the day. <laughs> That's funny. I do like this whole, like, we deliver, we help deliver the goods, and I'm sure, assuming that when we've got more people, they'll be able to do that as well. And that then the villagers will just come over and help with the construction once we're, uh... You know, once the goods have been put into the stockpile. It's kind of a neat concept. Having the... Having the stockpile thing and the workers and that function together. I quite like it. So, uh, ten flax, two logs and six wood.
Oh, that's cool. Okay. Mm. All right, update from Grumpy. Eli is doing well. Uh, so Grumpy's son, little Grumpy, is doing well after his surgery. He had to have surgery yesterday on an intestinal block. He's five years old, I believe. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so some good news on that front. Because that was very worrying. He had to do a whole load, like five different kind of MRI and fluid scans and stuff for them to work out what was going on because he was in a lot of pain, the youngling. <clears throat> and uh, so they've done a pretty quick uh, operation turnaround and hopefully he's uh, going to get better from that. So sending some good vibes to the uh, Grumpy fam. I just thought I'd share that with you. Nothing private there per se. All right, I'm just sending him a quick DM back. <clears throat> awesome. All right. Oh, look at the snow. Oh my goodness. Sorry, chat. Thanks for your patience. I just had to do some DMs and stuff there. Not real good. Aha! I can carry two logs this time. Nice. Oh, wait, I think we only needed one more. <laughs> okay, and now six wood. Okay, I can chop some six wood from a log. Go, 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 Hodor. Let's get it done, man. And I'm still living in this little shack. Poor Ivan. Oh. I love that you can quickly click things in and out of the queue. Very smooth. All these menus in that work very, very well. probably do need to make another axe. But I think if we can get this camp, logging camp up and running. Oh man, yeah, okay. And we need to get some flax planted as well. I got no winter clothes. It's lovely and atmospheric, isn't it? With the uh, the weather.
Okay. Oh no, one more piece of wood. And then oh goodness, are we even gonna get flax now? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, chat. Oh, we should have we should have stored up more flax. We I I like the fact that it suddenly turns to we when something's gone wrong. Um you chat, you should have uh you should have stored up some more flax during the during the summer. We or we could go to the merchant in town, maybe they would have some. Or the farmer. Okay, I think we have to go to town and get... We're not going to get any out here, are we? Oh, what a nightmare. That winter actually came in so quickly. Great idea. You should store up... Fla wow, thanks, Lixon. What would I do without you? Amazing. Thanks very much. I don't know what skinny Pete would make of that. What would you make of that, Pete? I don't know. Blooming Egypt coming in with a suggestion like that. That would have been useful six months ago. Six months ago. And now, I don't know. Unbelievable. All right, bye. Thanks, Pete. I had a similar feeling, but I thought you could probably express it better than I could. Sorry, Slickson. He's, he's a bit, you know, it's Pete. He, he gets a bit excited. <laughs> you earned it. Man, Cletus is going to love this game, isn't he? Okay, let's go to the town and see if we can buy 10 flax. Are you stuck? You, I feel like I've walked past you there a couple of times. Oh, is he starving to death and that's why he won't... <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I don't... I can't order him about anymore. Not sure. I think it, it might be because he's hungry. It's either that or it's because he's stuck under that tree. Yeah, I'm exactly. We've got some extra wood that we can put on. That's a good shout. We've got some extra wood now that we can put on the fire. Oh, man. I, I just didn't think that in the, 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 the season was going to progress that quickly. Which, again, I assume is part of the three-day kind of test or whatever. Maybe, yeah. Okay, if we get him a mushroom, we might be able to get him out of that uh, of that funk he's in. That's a really good suggestion. I can't, I can't set him to companion right now, and I think that might be because he's hungry. Yeah, they're roasted, but if it still says dot, dot, dot underneath, then it hasn't finished yet. I don't know if that noise means it's finished. Because I thought it was like that before, but then... It bamboozled me. <clears throat> yeah, because it says if you don't keep them like well-fed and happy enough or whatever, they'll stop following you. So I don't know if he's like preparing to leave the village. We'll see. Let's learn something together. I 
for now. Yes, see, look, now he'll be my companion. You can be my hero. But I do think we need to chop that tree. It's struggling a bit with the pathing. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Go work on the logging camp. I may be flaxed. I think I am flaxed. Um, okay, let's put... Actually, we can give him another mushroom while we're here. He's a tree hugger. I mean, he might be. Oh, he's got the flax. Has he got all... Has he got enough of the flax? He oh, haven't got enough of the flax, have you? Budge. I'll give you another mushroom. Ten items of flax. That's weird. Uh, was it twelve? I am. I am a. I am such a kind boss, right? You get not one, but you get fifty percent of the mushroom harvest. Let's be honest now. I reckon there's a lot of bosses out there that wouldn't give half of their food away. I reckon that there's a significant percentage of bosses that wouldn't give half their food away. Just one dwarf's opinion. traps we better get some more food taken care of get that out of the way hmm You get paid in experience. <laughs> oh no, I just put my mushroom in as bait in the rabbit trap. Don't. I mean, I suppose we might get two pieces of meat from the rabbit. One. I have nothing to put in there. That sucks. Wow, winter, who would have thought winters in medieval times were really rough? <laughs> yeah, these are all gone. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Excelente. Oh, that's uh, that is good. So we'll go and set this other trap. Like so. And then we'll go to town and we'll see if we can buy some flax. We need 10 pieces of flax. And yeah, then if, well, if not, I think the next step is we're going to go and uh, fight some bandits. <clears throat> See if we can earn some kudos points with the town and then maybe we can get somebody well i mean i don't know who we'd even bring in at the moment this is the one we've already done right yeah i 
make myself some more food and then hope that it's spring when I come back. I'm like halfway through my rice and it's cooling off quickly. <laughs> it's tempting. Go and have second coffees. I think bandits have... No, but I think the bandits will give us um, some reputation. And uh, maybe... Feels like the chill's settling in for good. Novice blacksmith. Okay. Maybe he's got a quest, actually. Who are you? Um, random Sorry, person. I'm busy. Go find the village elder. He should be able to help you. Yeah. Yes? No, never mind. There's the pussy kid. Make it quick. I need to work. Expert carpenter. Can I help you with well, anything? Just the person I was hoping to run into. Oh, nice. My wife, bless her heart, has been poring over one of the new books Oscar brought in. She mm -hmm. believes she's found a cure for my, well, my memory has been dodgy as of late. So oh. I could really use your help gathering some herbs. Okay. You're a good egg. Here's the list. They grow near the old well outside the village. It's a bit of a trek, and well, I don't have the stamina I used to. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. I knew it. As soon as I was like, bring herbs. Oh no. I was like, this is not the quest you want to be taking right now. I've already got a quest with you. Who's this with an exclamation mark? Where was the marker guy? Wasn't this the marker guy? Yeah. Frosty in sight. What can I interest you in today? I really don't know what that first sentence is or first thing he says. What do you have in stock? Man. <sighs> Wait, I can sell berry jam? I don't ha huh? I don't have any berry jam. What? Pitchfork? I don't have a pitchfork. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. This is just the list of what he'll buy at what price. Okay. <laughs> okay, that threw me for a second there. Okay. Meh. Uh, hi, goats. Uh, you can't talk to the goats. Or at least I can't talk to them yet. You're the book guy. You're the innkeeper. Jeez, imagine living here. It's so cold. Hello. Hi. Uh, do you need my help? I have something special for you. I was sure you were going to tell me more about those coins I found. Can you tell me more about them? I want to give you some coins I found. This one? No. Oh! I can sell the old coin. Oh, okay. Sure. Gained 30 trust. Nice. Hungry and down on luck. Coin would mean the world. Sure. Okay. Oh, is it the board? Solstice. Denizens of the lowlands, the grand solstice doth draw nigh. And with it, the esteemed Lord Ashbourne extends a heartfelt invitation to a celebration of momentous proportions. Distinguished guests from the farthest, etc., etc. Whoa. Lieutenant Berthold Krug. Krug. Hmm. Okay. 
Threat and heroisms. Uh, uh, heroism. No more banditry. Well, that can't be true. Through strategic brilliance and unyielding courage, these outlaws have been scattered to the winds. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Taxes. New taxes. Lord Ashbourne's noble wisdom calls for a modest increase in contributions to the community. Fear not, for these coins shall blossom into citadels, walls, and bridges, fortifying our realm against adversity. Rejoice as prosperity dawns upon the benevolent gaze of the Lord of the Lord. <laughs> oh. Bradford election is close. This vital, pivotal decision will carve the destiny of our beloved Bradford. Spread the message across the lowlands. Let every villager know about it. Okay. Betrayers. Your Lord has decreed rewards for those who expose collaborators against our realm. Should you uncover treacherous plots, a bounty of riches, gold, silver, gems, and fertile lands awaits your loyal hands. Land, yeah. Stay vigilant for the Lord's favor graces those who protect our land from the shadowy threat of betrayal. As the sun of gratitude rises, it bathes most warmly those who, with steadfast loyalty, shield Ashbourne from within. My goodness, whoever wrote all of this, they definitely have uh, studied propaganda. <laughs> I hope I won't freeze to death. I hope so too. Um, anybody around? Oh, this is the old yeah, trapper's place. Uh, apprentice weaver. Mm, weaver, would you have some flags? It's customary that you should greet the elder. I think we can help each other by working together. Can I ask you yes. something? What do you do for a living? I'm a weaver. It's been a peaceful trade for the most part. The village relies on my work for textiles, Oops. but with the bandits making travel uncertain, resources can be scarce. Hmm. All right. Nope. Yeah, so I'm kind of, um... I can't, I can't proceed with the without the flax. So look, there's our little village in the distance. So what we'll do is who's this? Wait, there's an exclamation mark for us to talk to. Wait, you're, you're more of a question mark. About the herbs you wanted. I'm still working on that. Gods above, did you really kill those wolves for the elder? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Fighting wolves isn't hilarious. I promise you it's rough out there. Why is it so no funny? Thought you would actually do it. Least of all the elder. Huh. He was just trying to get rid of you. I wish I could have seen his face when you actually showed up, furs in hand. <laughs> just for that, I'm happy to help you. But I need something in return first. Okay. What do you need? You're going to help me kill the Lord of the Lowlands. <gasps> Betrayer! Hand her in. It's just regicide. How dangerous can it be? But seriously, if you really <laughs> want to help, let's start with the people of Hand. The Lowlands is in a tough situation. And there's plenty of people out there in need. The elders are either overwhelmed or incompetent, or both, in the case of Dobron. Oh, wow. So I want to do something about it. Just don't tell Dobron. Okay. Let's go. You have the freedom to talk to people now. Lucky you. Let's find out who... What's a little regicide between friends? <laughs> Uh, you seem to have issues with the Dobron. What is, what's with that? Her 
Andean and all of the lowlands is going through a difficult time. We're hungry, getting taxed into poverty, and dealing with threats from bandits and brigands. Yeah. And yet, our elder isn't doing enough to make things better. He doesn't want to step on any toes, and I'm the only one here who questions his lack of action. Oh. So yes, okay. we butt heads a lot. That's why we have to work behind his back to help my people. Okay. I got you. Who are you exactly? Still building trust, so I can't tell you more than you need to know. All right. Just know that I was born. I mean, we're still building trust, but you've told me about a plot to overthrow the local elder if you hold up your and kill deal, maybe I'll tell you <laughs> and kill people in charge. Anything okay. Spare, kind soul? Ah, yes, the Lord of the Lowlands. He is one of the Queen's peons well sent to oversee the people of the Lowlands. He's the one who's taxing us so harshly and letting us starve while he feasts every night. Right. But he also has eyes and ears everywhere. So eyes and ears everywhere. That tree! It just blinked at me. Everyone except me, of course. I know he's a shrew in wolf's clothing. A <laughs> shrew in wolf's clothing. I like it. That's all Before for now. We begin our work, I want to know more about you. You've come to our village from Wisterfield of all places and surprised us all, but why? Well, uh, let's just say, oh, you don't have enough trust with me yet. Someone close to me was killed and I believe the execution order came from someone in the lowlands. I'm trying to find out who. You want to know about me Divul without divulging anything about yourself? That hardly seems fair. Trust works both ways. Yeah. Indeed. Then I suppose we should start building that mutual trust then. Bleh. Okay, agree. Anything else? Yeah, have you got any flex? I need, say, ten or like a hundred, maybe. So I've been thinking about ways we can make fools out of the brigands because, well, you know why. Huh. I formulated a plot that will scramble their tiny brains. If you're interested, of course. Sure. I'm listening. What's your plan? The brigands are dangerous because they're well organized and they trust each other. So I think we should decimate that trust and organization. I've taken something valuable from one of them, a token. And I happen to know where they oh, exactly, Durak. stash, where they hide loot from their leaders. Place the token in there and let the accusations fly. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now that sounds like fun. Put the stolen item in the secret stash. Oh, let's go. All right, let me just get rid of this dish and I'll be right with you. Right, let's go. We've got a secret, secret squirrel quest. Let's go. <laughs> this is going to go great. Secret squirrel quest. Fresh coffee. Mm. Good vibes. Um, right. Uh, better go get my companion. Oh, he's, he's feeling... He's feeling miserable, isn't he? I'll go and give him a mushroom. I'll go this way. Ah, oh, it's fine. We are keeping the peace here in the name of Lord Ashford. We are keeping the peace here in the name of Lord Ashford. Hardcore parkour. I don't know why we can't get the reeds. Because it... Oh, we can. Oh, can't harvest that because it belongs to the nearby village. Damn it. I figured that would be a thing. 
Hardcore parkour. Thank you for the lurk, Camber. I do miss that we don't have cam combat roll. Combat roll. I would like combat roll implemented. Oh, I think he just went to bed. Pretty sure. Does he actually take stuff from there? I don't know. We've got nothing else to cook. Oh, wait. Uh, we might have rabbitses. Let's check our traps. We weren't gone that long. Hmm. We'll see. Ah. Long enough, though. Two pieces of meat. Oh, yeah. I think Delana's right. Onto something. Take another coffee break and come back. for springtime I guess we could just sleep through the night again that'll put us on day 8 <laughs> I wonder how many days winter's gonna have thank you for the lurk Dodek good vibes neat that's good that we've got enough food there though very, very good. Uh, choppy chop. No. Okay. That's good. We can't borrow stuff from the neighbors. Terrible, right? Borrow. So it seems like it's way more important to keep your your people fed than yourself. <laughs> I haven't seen any negative effects of not having eaten yet. Although I guess that might be still coming in development or whatnot. Don't know. Okay. So that's cooking. Put that away, put that away. Uh, we can read our last book. So many were on agility. Okay, let's go do this stash quest. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, the snow's gone. Spring, let's sleep. Snow, spring is coming. Yes. Wow. Yeah, baby. Look at this. Ah, unlucky winter. Not today. You can't ruin us today, winter. Not today. Hey, get some rest, Disco. Thank you for being with us on both sides as well. Rest well, bud. Time to get your dancing shoes on, folks. Disco's here. Let's dance. 1 a.m. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine, ten, 
You know what I should probably do? Harvest a little bit extra. Oh, that quest needed extra anyway, right? <clears throat> but this way we can get the wood supply running. And then if we get the wood supply running, we need to get the foraging hut done. And we'll go and do this quest. Oh, everything's going to be just rosy now. We got we, Everything's back under control. One and a half days of winter. Denied. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, building sites... Was this the logging one or was this the foraging one? I can't actually tell. This is the foraging one. Wait, is this finished? No. Or? Hmm. Okay, we've got a little bit extra. Okay, no. Finish the other one first, silly man. Finish the other one first. I wonder if the forager will get the flax or if we need the farmer for that. <clears throat> All right. Whoa, easy there. No, put the stick away. No, put the stick away. What are you doing with your stick? You muppet. Hey, phrasing. Logging camp. Select a resource to add orders for your workers. Okay. We need some logs. Get me 10 logs. Oh no. And then get me. Oh. Control shift. Get me 30. 30 wood. Oh, neat. Now that is groovy. So that actually the lumberjack thing is only if we wanted to. Okay, so I guess that's to get you up and running quickly. And then this thing is, or to have a second person, I suppose, without building a second camp. Nice. Finally, we can get some stuff under under control. Now we want the logging, uh, uh, not the logging, the foraging. We got it. We got it. Hey, Mama Dingo, how are you doing? Good vibes. Lovely to see you. It's over here. Construct debris sticks. What? What's that? What? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> it needs eight pieces of wood. Okay. Okay, so now it needs some wood pieces. All right, and we've got a little bit of flax left over. We should stock up some more flax. We need to get that farming going, man. That would be awesome. Uh, but we haven't unlocked that yet. Uh... 
wonder if I can move into one of those tents. It sucks that I'm in this crappy shack. Still trying to get rid of the snow in your yard? Oh, yeah, we just had snow here get in the way of our progress. But luckily, it's a video game. <laughs> Didn't require any physical labor as such, or at least not intense. <laughs> uh, we just had to wait an extra in-game day or two. Put the stolen item in the secret stash. Let's go. All right. Yeah. 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 Have it. That needs some reprogramming. Large piece of raw meat. Oh, I've got to go back and cook that now. Not only birds, but birds with shadows that cast shadows relevant to the sunlight. Oh, beautiful. Hey, it wasn't that abundant and that easy in the winter, I'll have you know. Actually, there was that other... Okay, we'll look that up in a minute. That other quest. Seven and a half inches of heavy, uh, wet, white garbage. About four days ago, not melting off fast enough. Oh, no, that sucks. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I hope you can get that sorted out without too much uh, pain and whatnot or hassle. Uh, yeah, this, this, this way, is it? Off to the secret stash. Hang on, I should have... If I'm doing a secret mission, should I take old uh, Dingus with me? Uh, maybe, uh, I'm just playing with different keys now to see what they do. Okay, J is journal. I think we should probably take... Get me to come around with the flamethrower? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think I would do uh, do pretty well. You might not have a house left afterwards, but the snow would be gone. Hey, Finn, good afternoon. I, too, am quite ready for spring to stay and winter to never return, at least until November. All right, mine, Adam. Well, see, the thing is, I love spring. The only one I don't like these days is summer. Come on. Come on, Dingleberry. Hodor. What happens if I hit him? Hodor. Oh, I thought he was going to leave. I thought he was like, right, I'm off. All right, we're going... Dingus, we're going on secret mission, okay? You've got to be super quiet. If possible, turn your back on me. I bet you weren't listening to any of those instructions. Dingus. Advertisements are now running to support good causes. Thank you, please. Nice. Well, I'm glad the podcast is adding some uh, humor and entertainment to your journey. Good vibes.
Did I do it? I think I did it. Because it's got a full block now on the on the quest. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Now we've got to send Dingus back to be a worker. Oh, what's this up here? <clears throat> what's this? My review, yeah. 100%. It's copper. Ha, ah, take that. Might as well grab some copper all while we're here. And a random stone that I picked up by accident. Northern Descent. Oh. Mm, what's that? Just another bit of old ruin. Was there anything up there? Let's go and investigate. Oh, I think this was just where we arrived, right? We came... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we came in. Let's go have a look. Can't believe we're gonna be we're the first thing we're doing in this first village we meet is joining up with the troublemaker lady. Come on, Dingus, let's go to town. We got to talk to lady about make trouble. This is uh beta and this is uh well, I guess invitation or whatever. A uh, key provided by uh, developers or agents on their behalf. I do suspect that at the very least on, on release we'll get to do a multiplayer run of this with uh, various friends. I strongly suspect that. Because I'm really enjoying this, even in its beta stage like this. I mean, it's uh, it's very solid. As I said, you can see little areas that need a bit of a uh, bit more time to cook and that. But you know, there's fully released products that <laughs> still need to spare a coin for an old soul. Still need cooking time, to say the least. So. Where are you in this house? No, that's not a thing. Netherby is hungry and he will stop following you. Dude, uh, I will give you some berries. Here, have some berries. That'll make you very happy. Where's Amelie? We are keeping the peace here. Here you are. In the name of Lord here, let's talk to the next to this town guard. Won't talk to me because I've got a weapon out. Make it quick. I it's need kind of funny. <laughs> uh, make it quick. I need to work. About the stash. Did you find it? Without being followed, I hope. Well, I was technically followed by Dingus, but, you know, he won't say anything. The token's placed. Let's hope your plan bears fruit. It's going to be anarchy, especially if they're drinking tonight. They might even start killing each other. Oh. Oh. You're excited they might start killing each other? That's dark. You're right. I should be more compassionate. Yeah. Those poor brigands. I hope those spanners can talk things out quickly so they can get back to make our lives hell. <laughs> spanners. They don't deserve to be bullied, those fine young men. Okay, fine. You've made your point. I'll talk to you later. 
Hey, and I got another old coin. So I got even oh, more trust with this town as well. 330 now out of 500. Nice. And we've got another old coin we could sell to uh, old uh, Edelborn here. Hi, my nice diggers. Have you seen the secret stash? We definitely weren't at your secret stash putting something inside of it. So if you need something, make it quick. Uh, yeah. I have something for you. What is it? It's, uh... Oh, I see. Those coins are from the times before the last rebellion. No one yeah. uses them anymore. Who's he get? a precious and nostalgic symbol for people throughout Carvenia. If you bring them to the elders from the lowlands and highlands, they will surely regard you more kindly. Spare oh. Coin, I will pray for you. So we maybe we don't give this guy this one. Maybe we keep this and give it to the next elder in the next town. Hmm. Because we're already doing quite well with the trust here. All right. Thanks, Dobby. See you later. Oh, how much I would give for leftovers from the Lord's Feast. Hmm. Yeah, reasonable. So would I. So, does this imply that I can use this as a cooking facility? No. That's interesting. Oh, it's just the symbol. I thought it was a cooking <laughs> a cooking pot over a fire. Uh, no, it's just the village symbol. Beautiful. Got too much Red Dead Redemption on my mind there. Earn friend level trust with people in the town. Yeah. It's pretty difficult when they won't, you know do that much stuff with us. Okay. Uh, journal. Moving up in the world. Remedy for remembrance. Okay, let's track this one. Uh, he two hemp, two sage, two flax. Okay, easy. Easy. So it's interesting in the is sort of UI or whatever, UX. They, if you, if tab takes you to the last one of these that you had open. So if you had your inventory open, you can press I for inventory always, or you can press tab and it takes you. And then you can tab and you can, yeah, okay. It's an interesting system. Dingus is hidey hole. <laughs> uh, hemp. Okay. So two sage. Oh no, inventory full. Oh, let's go and dump this, uh, copper. Okay, so we've got sage and flax covered, and we need hemp. Hemp, I think, was up on the hill. Oh, some of this food must be uh, done by now. No, it isn't. Oh, no. Have I got any wood for the fire? No, but there's a piece of cooked meat there you can have.
Yeah, so the inventory management is a bit finicky, uh, fiddly. Not finicky, fiddly. Because of the when it will stack and when it won't stack. Um, and they have a volume thing for boxes, but they don't have a encumbrance or weight as such at this point. Again, anything we see here is subject to change. Um, because it's still a beater. But we'll see how it goes. But it's a, definitely a game I could get uh, hyped for. And I'm very curious to see how it, how it continues to develop. Because, yeah, we've played, we've played fully released games that are uh, certainly not as much fun. Again, I, I do enjoy survival games. Um, so, it's... Oh, man, I mean to set you back to being a worker. Go, dingus. Go work. Thank you. Off you go. Good lad. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, Bonty. How you going, sir, ma'am? Lovely to see you. You thought there was a cat at your back door trying to get in? <laughs> I'm hungry. Hey, Dalibor. Uh, I've got those herbs. I did. Brilliant. Best get to work on the treatment right away, so. Here, take this for your troubles. If I get better, I'll build you anything you want, free of charge. Oh. Whoa. And he's an expert carpenter? Nice. Do we want a farming book or a harvesting book? Hmm. Maybe harvesting, so we're getting more. I'll take I'll take farming actually. And we got another coin. We gain trust as well. We're nearly at full trust level. Earn friend trust level from people in Herndon. Oh, does that mean rather than individual people, it means the town maybe? Because we're currently 480 out of 500 for associate. Oh, uh, let's go and sell one coin to the elder and see if that um, ticks us over. I kind of had interpreted that differently. At first, let's go and see. Test the new theory. Stop wandering around. Um, I have something for you. I want to give you some coins I found. So. We gain trust. Okay, exit. We're now friends. 10 points out of 1,200 to the next level. Ah, so that's how that's working. Okay. Moving up in the world. Talk to Padst... Okay, and now... It's telling us we can move on to the next area. Padstall. Cool bananas. And we can set that as a waypoint as well. We already have a quest objective there we can follow. Awesome. Okay. So now we're friends with here. Will that be enough to get people to come and work with us? Are you new in town? It's customary that you should greet the elder. You said that before, young lady. We've met. I think we can help each other by working Come together. And see you once we've had the chance to get to know you. You're unfamiliar and we don't do well with that. What? Not enough renown. She wants 733. Required tr oh, required trust level has to be bell right. And the village hasn't been liberated yet. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so the more expert ones than that are more difficult. I wonder... We should talk to that beggar. I wonder if he's got really low standards. 
I heard the elder has been asking if there is anyone who could help him out with some things. You look like you could use some help yourself. I do. Perhaps we could work together and have each other's backs. You're a good soul. I'd be happy to work with you. Hey. I'm glad to hear it. Giving it another thought. I need to do something else first. Okay. You are now on board. Come on, Owen Hobb, the beggar. Let's go. Okay, there you go. We got our first uh, extra villager. Owen Hobb, the beggar. Former beggar. Now of Evansville. Meow. I really want to get the kitty cat. We've got so many cats here. Owen. Owen. And Peru. Uncle Owen. Bleh. Come with me. We're going to go to our village. Looking for trouble. And we're going to set you to hard work. Looking for trouble. Oh wait, the the the, the uh, there's things gonna happen in the evening, right? They said they were going drinking at the inn, and that then maybe it's all gonna kick off. Normally beggars are more selective than that. Wow. Just wow. Uncle Owen. You got that one, Winter? Nice. We're going to need a bigger village. Well, no, because the beggar, Hodor, and Uncle Owen can sleep together. Because each one of these takes two. So we'll get him down here and put him to work. There we go. <clears throat> He's going to rest. Fair enough. Dag now it all my food's going off. All right, so we can read farming novice book. And we can keep the other one for uh, a farmer or something. I didn't even see look at his skills or anything. I just thought we might as well give him a home. How you doing, Bonty? Nice to be seen. Nice. They can easily fit in a jar. <laughs> wow. Wow. Or an urn. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is going quite well so far. Um, we got, uh, what do we need to make some more stuffs? We should probably get them to make Oh, I've already got a repair for job for the axe. Craft me a another simple axe and another club for your man there. We'll do that. And I'm going to put that back to two. Okay.
and we need to make sure that that did that i think that foraging hut got finished so now that it's uh summary and whatnot we should make sure we get some uh foraging done Getting used to my new hours and long weekends. Oh, beautiful. Good to hear. Where's this blooming trap? Wait, wait, hang on. I have a torch. Uh, I have had a torch did it just it just finished literally as i took it out oh my god brilliant and i think i can re-up it or whatever what's that barking at me is that in real life outside <laughs> or is that some fox coming to bite my ankles where's my trap oh here Bait the trap. There we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Broken trap. Okay. No. I need more berries. Ah, very nice. Howdy. Hey, Ravarn. If only I had a torch. Bait the trap. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Donezo. Let's go and check if That's this is finished yet. And we should really be sleeping. It's one in the morning. Not finished yet. Three more pieces of wood. Okay. And what about at our wood chopping place? Top quality torch, yeah. Gone. Where I guess they're gonna bring the logging camp stuff back to the storage chests? Question mark. Okay, let's go rest. Actually, let's grab some more berries on the way past. Um, I mean, it's a completely separate product, a different, uh, development team and whatnot, but it's in that genre. So I, I want to like, you know, I'm sure there's some element of, uh, I don't know, inspiration or creative appreciation, <laughs> trying to word it carefully. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, there's, you know, obviously there's clear overlaps. Um, but I think it's more like Kingdom Come Deliverance meets uh, Medieval Dynasty meets, you know, insert name here. I don't know. Uh, with the war stuff and everything. Uh, and and the, having your tribes in your multiple villages. So it's, it does feel very distinct, even though, like, ostensibly, at a glance, 
you kind of naturally go into those kind of uh, direction because it's that setting and aesthetically you're going to get a lot of overlap. It definitely has its own feel and its own vibe in my opinion. So I think we might need the stockpile. Oh, we didn't learn the stockpile yet. Oh, we didn't. Did we not build? We didn't build the advanced workbench either, right? I'm the dingus. Five logs and 16 bits of wood. Okay, but in theory... I should be able to... Set some job priorities here. So... Oh, I can now... Oh, gathering is now up as a task. So what are his skills? The beggar has no skills. Okay. So I want him... Uh, Harvesting and uh, cooking. And doing like delivery jobs. And then my uh, hunter guy. Yeah, so his skills are like, meh. And then old Ludo. I want on some crafting. Definitely some wood cutting. And some research. He seems to be doing well at that and construction. So yeah. Top priority wood cutting. Get that get that wood chop chop chop. Okay, cool. I like it. There you go. So we got gathering and cooking for for Uncle Owen. And then wood chopping and whatnot for uh Hodor. And we want to build the workbench. Hopefully they'll get working on that. I'm just not sure if they're going to be able... Well, it says here resources. Yeah, they must be able to do the harvesting. And then bring the resources to the chest, right? I wonder if he's like looking for food right now or something. They might be, eh? This one could be the... Uh the food box. Oh, there's already six in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. What are you doing? Go chop wood. What? <laughs> He's going to the outhouse again. <clears throat> Five logs and 16 pieces of wood. Okay. So I'm hoping that they're going to start doing the choppy chop. And we can... Uh, does Actually, does he have a... Is that the problem? He doesn't have a... Uh, when you got to go, you got to go, yeah. Uh, he's got this broken axe, right? So, let me see if I can fix that for you, bud. Three pieces of wood. Okay, 
So I kind of screwed myself because I took... When my axe broke, I didn't have anything to, like, repair with or make a new one. So I stole Hodor's axe. So I think that's why Hodor might have been somewhat useless in the axe department recently. <laughs> in the wood chopping, because I literally stole his... The tool he requires. I'm not entirely sure because, again, I'm just trying to work it out as I go along, but it's possible. That's what she said. <laughs> Was it three wood or five? No, oh, in any case, we need to make two, right? So we need to make another one. Ah, you know what? It'll be quicker just to drop a tree down and uh, chop up a log on the lumberjack thing hey tiger Hodor was useless in the axe department for eyebrow wiggle you're incorrigible my inventory is too full Okay, we got a log. Finally. Hodor. Eyebrow wiggle. Folks, that's my buddy Tiger. He's doing his charity week. We've talked about it a couple of times today already. Uh, but go watch him, hang out, have fun, enjoy the energy as he raises funds and awareness. Uh, for such an important uh, purpose. Uh, the Norwegian Cancer Society. <gasps> yes, go and get me all the flax. Yes. Gather berries. Oh, wait, I can have wheat? Secret wheat field? We've not even found that yet. River reeds. Oh my goodness. Look, iron ore. Oh, look at all the stuff they can gather. Oh, lordy. Oh, brilliant. He's already gathered up some of the... the I'm glad we went past there and gave him the job to do. Is that what I've messed up over at the wood chopping thing? Have I not given them jobs to do? It's possible. Glitter beard. No, I did give them jobs to do. Okay. Oh, phew. Okay, that would have been rubbish if I'd forgotten that. So maybe storage is going to be an issue. We need to get that stockpile built. Hmm. Okay, let's get some axes handed out.
Boop. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking on gas. Oh no, there's a bunch of spoiled meals in there already. Man. Uh, repair simple axe. Oh wait, is that a... No, that's a tosh for me. Crikey, that's a lot of fish. Crikey! It's a sound bite I've not heard in forever. Oh no! I need one more piece of wood and two more stones. Oh, that's for crafting. Wait a second. I need one craft. Oh, I need one. Uh... I need a couple of stones. Okay. Flippity flops. Man. <clears throat> Flippity flops. We put stones down before because we had no space in our inventory. You didn't know what that was? We don't want an unintended Ernie? 100%. Also, good ventilation. Don't breathe in that hairspray fumes. Yeesh. I didn't know we had both of those still as well. <laughs> That's my fault though. I should I should only have uh, one or this should be very different. What was that noise? He went, what? As I went over that stone. Okay. Couldn't re... Uh, couldn't... Repeat it. Yeah. Still funny though. Do 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 diddly do 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 diddly do 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 do. There we go. Yeah, look at all the gathering going on. We can see the gathering results on the left side of the screen. Perfect. Just there. Get you some, boy. That's gonna that's gonna be great. I bet there's, now they're going to run out of storage, right? Now it's going to be a question of running out of storage. So having the villagers and getting that sort of up and running is definitely definitely what you want oh no it may be a new oh I, oh no okay it's not that bad that i crafted but it's still silly okay uh oh wait 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 uh you need the axe back right there you go now you can go doing your lumberjacking that's gotta be that's gotta be enough 
Oh, Uncle Owen's doing a fantastic job gathering. I'm really curious where he's going to put that stuff. Maybe in here? Oh, look, mushroom. Yeah, he must be putting in here. Now, in theory, he should be cooking as well. That's such a shame that that stuff's rotten. I'm going to put that in Dub's house. Winter, have you seen we got Dub's house here in this game? Hopefully, yeah, it looks like he's been to the woodshed. And he's bringing some bits and bobs back with him. No, oh, he's got a load of flax in his pocket. Well, he's doing the gathering. What's Uncle Owen doing then? No, he's gathering as well. I th oh, I think the other guy's delivering. I think he's picking stuff up and transporting it. Hey, Lady L. Greetings and good vibes be with you too. Missing axe. He's not missing an axe anymore. Oh, is it one of those where I need to put the axe in the... Surely not. Is it one of those where I need to put the axe in here? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, the tool needed to go... Okay, the tool needed to go in the uh, logging... Encampment. Logging camp. Fudgesicles. Alright, I gotta find uh where's Hodor? There he is. Hey, uh Gives back that axe, please, buddy. Thank you. So in theory, or if I'm understanding correctly, so he's moaning that he doesn't have an axe. Oh no, I think he's not moaning. I think he's, I think that logo above his head is saying he's going off to do the chopping block. The choppity chop. And we can test that theory by going over to uh, by going over to Uncle Owen and having a look. So yeah, this one needs no tools. Okay. We can go over to Uncle Owen and see what if he's got a symbol above his head for gathering. He does. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Uh, I've already given you a roof over your head, a job, purpose in life. What else do you want? Blooming chocolate cookies? My goodness. All right, so we've got... um. Double cookies. You lot are incorrigible. Okay. Oh, cookies. Even more cookies. Oh my god. 
So, uh, we've got to go and meet the leader of Padstow. But I'm still nervous about whether that's going to be sufficient for them to manage their hunger. I gather some some little stones and bits and bobs. And just put them in storage. We should probably set up the stockpile. I mean, I shouldn't have to do that anymore, really, should I? If we set the gathering up right. Buildings. Oh, the lumberjack spot needs an axe as well. Crafting halted at the simple workbench. Because there's not enough resources coming in. Or we just don't have... Okay, that's fine. But that's because the chopping work has only just begun. Uh, so that's fine. Let's go. I think we have to put some berries in our traps. And if we get a hunting lodge or hunter's encampment, I imagine they'll be able to take care of things like resetting the traps. All this micromanagement I'm having to do. Blah, it's far too much work. <laughs> okay. So, oh, sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope this logging camp kicks in. He's coming in for food. But if you had just brought some firewood with you, good, good sir, that I've told to Lumberjack, then you we could be cooking this fine meat. You absolute muppet. Okay, let's get some research going on the stockpile. There are stones and there are... Well, there are no logs, but he should work that out as he goes along. So I want to get the uh, stockpile up. Because I think... I hope that's going to be a lot larger storage and maybe simplify some of this because everything can just be brought back to the stockpile. All right, and then let's go to uh, Padstow or wherever it was called. It was called Padstow. There you go. Actually, we might sleep. So we don't have to go through the forest at night. Now, where's my sit down and have a rest option? Oh. He better bring some bloody logs and stuff, some firewood. Oh, there, he, he just got his first log. Yay. I just saw it pop up on the bottom left. He just did his first... Oh. 
Isn't that cute? Holdor is just... Has just uh, done his first log. Logan? Logan? Yeah, there you go. So if I wanted them to do the lumberjacking stuff and make the wood for me from the logs, I would need to uh, make another axe. Oh, look, here's a tree I chopped earlier. Hey, rabbit, I see you. Yes, I got the second log. Nice. I'll show you how logging's done properly, son. They grow up so quick. <laughs> exactly. Now he's on to gathering mushrooms. Nice. So now at least we're going to have food for days. Oh, apparently some problems on WoWs EU servers. It's being worked on. If it's still a thing. If you're playing World of Warships or trying to. Oh, I, I, that, that gets me. I'm sitting there thinking he's still chopping because of the noise, but it just does that by default when you're looking in that. <gasps> Raid expected? Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, quick, make another club. I've got coffee. Everything else. Oh no, wait. no, 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 no. What is this? Rim world, right? Quick, let's get Hobbs a. Let's get Hobbs a uh, club before he gets hobnobbed. Oh no. Oh no, I like this though. This is cool. Okay, where's Hobbs? Uncle Owen! Uncle Owen? He's over here. Uncle Owen! Okay. Oh, expected tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Oh no. 
this is where it all comes tumbling down this is this is where it all comes tumbling down hey happy thursday uh blender how you doing oh and now they're now they're revolting because of a lack of food you gotta be kidding right now Expected today, a raid on your settlement. Imagine they go up to the town and just smash it to bits. Surely that's not how it works. Anyway, they've got brigands and stuff, so I can't be expected to resolve that reasonably. Come on, cook, cook, cook. I need some more branches. Here we go. Make sure the troops have been well fed on berries before the skirmish breaks out. and down on luck a coin would mean the world well not so much coin but i could uh use some berries so he stopped following my orders because of hunger son of a biscuit there's berries in there i don't know what's wrong with them jeez it appears, chat, that beggars can be choosers. <laughs> At least in this game. Okay. Okay, he's hungry. Okay. We'll leave them on working for now and then we'll rally the troops if we hear if we hear the enemy approaching. We'll give him a good what for. What ho? Huzzah! Huzzah! Bleh! Nobody going to rob a van. If you just did your job a bit quicker, my friend. A coin would mean the world. Oh no, I hope they don't attack during the ad break. Thank you, please. You know what? I can pause it. I'm going to pause it. All right. I'm going to... Actually, we've not even done one save today yet. Ivan, it's got an auto save feature, so that's good. Empty slot. As usual, as is tradition. First try. Okay, I'm going to pause it like that. And uh, you can have some diggy diggy hole so that nobody misses Just any of the excitement. I'll be right back, gang. I am 
a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole, diggy, diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole, digging a hole.
All right. I noticed that when I put the uh, game back into the menu, uh, that it went bananas with my GPU. So I closed the game and it's auto updated. So I hope, <laughs> I hope it doesn't break anything with the save. <laughs> That would be really gutting, but we shall see. And I have a lovely lemon and ginger tea for my uh, my throat. Welcome to Bell Right Ears. Uh-oh, it just crashed the desktop. No. Not like this. Not like this. Hey, Incognito, welcome in. Oh, no. It's not a good sign. Mm -mm -mm. They're like, we've seen you playing this. We had devs in your channel, and we hate it. You can't play anymore. Oh no, it's in a loop crash to desktop. Well, not a loop, but it's it's crashing to desktop whenever I load in. Oh no. Oh no. Hang on, I'll give it one more go. Oh man. That's ludicrously unfortunate. No, it's crashing to desktop every... Okay, let me do a verify files. Oh, no. Verify integrity of game. Oh, no, this would be uh, sad. We're, we'd have to switch over to play RimWorld where we're about to research bigger robots no it's it's uh closing to desktop like it's coming up with the splash screen going to the game menu and then it's um saying oh please be aware this is a beta thanks for playing kind of thing and you go to click OK but even if you don't click anything it just closes completely the game back to desktop oh man alright fingers crossed we can get back in after the integrity check 61% Tiger's still here. All 582 files successfully validated. Although it did, there was an update to some Steam redistributables in Parabot Parallel. Ah. Let's try that again. I don't know, I haven't had time to join anything like that yet. And... Hey, we're back. Yeah. 
All right, we're back. Continue game. Fingers crossed. Let's go, because I'm enjoying this as much as some RimWorld would also be fun. I'm uh, I'm really into this. Like, I don't, you don't know what to expect when you try something the first time, you know? Like this. And uh, I'm very, very uh, pleased with it so far. Maybe, yeah. Quite possibly. But, you know... Good, good old verify. It didn't say it was reacquiring any files. I just noticed, coincidentally, on the list that it suddenly popped up an extra Steam redistributables. So yeah, obviously some some kind of dependency went wrong. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, here we go. Get the flaming Werfer! Get the flaming club! Alright, we're back. Expected today, a raid on our settlement. Okay. Nice. Some meat cooked up there, nice. One more piece still cooking. All right. I wonder what happens when this raid comes in, man. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. this is, I think this is going to be good fun. <laughs> Huzzah! We'll beat them. Take that. And that. I love how we have no good weaponry or anything. I suppose nothing wrong with a good old wooden club. We go clubbing every night. Wait, where's the... Uh, oh, there. Okay, yeah, you're just good to go. Okay, and this one over here. Hide in the outhouse. Yeah, exactly. Maybe they'll leave us alone. And that one's still good. Still primed as well. Okay. Good, good, good. No, in my luck, I'll be standing exactly in the path that they come to attack from. One large piece of cooked meat has been taken. Good, they're getting well fed. Excellent. Fattening them up like lambs to the slow. Wait, what? It is, I wonder, we're obviously getting, uh, I reckon Amelie probably got wind of it and let us know. We've got the right intelligence data. Raid incoming! Guard! Guard. <laughs> so cool. What's going to happen? Oh, they've put some mushrooms out to cook. Uncle Owen. Uh, they're coming from this way. I should probably set them to companion and just have them by me, right? On me. Hungry and down on luck. Well, don't worry. Your luck is about to change for the better. 
He's hungry, so he's going to stop following soon. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. It, how can the cook go hungry? I've never got that, unless it's Hugo. Hungry and down on luck. A coin would mean the world. There you go. Let's get some grub in the other one. Because otherwise that's going to catch me out mid-fight, isn't it? I know how this goes. Oh no, I can't. He's, the inventory's taken up with a the, with the log. He's got a massive log. Alright. Let's go, lads. Let's go. These Muppets. Let's go. Get them. Soldiers. A swing and the miss. Hit it. Oh, the chop your knee. You're going to go down. There you go. Chop your other knee. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly how I. A coin would mean the world. No, not like this. No. No, not like this. My, my short-term acquaintance that I barely know. Oh, not like this. He's dead. Oh no, Ludimir is dead. Take your stuff. No, Hodor. Hodor. Now, they said if he was injured, he could spawn back. But was he injured in the fight and then just... It was too much? Fallen in battle. This character has but a flesh wound. Chance to die when knocked out, 30%. Max health, minus 15%. Okay. So I think he's, uh, I think he might come back. He might respawn once is what it said. And then he's going to be like really, really weak for a long time. And then we can nurse him back to health, but I'm not entirely sure. It, he might actually be dead, dead. He can't, he's just having a rest. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Oh my god. I'm actually quite sad about this. This is quite... Read under the red skull. Oh, we'll appear as a worker in your settlement shortly. Oh, thank you, Sublight. Thank you, buddy. I just looked everywhere else and didn't see the thing right in the middle of the box. Hungry and down on luck. The coin would mean the world. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Well, just get yourself some food in the box. There's loads of food. I wish he wouldn't keep repeating those lines now. Thank you, Delana, as well. I saw your comment. Well, we'd read it earlier that that's how it works. I just wasn't sure if... It kind of, it's like only if you get them in, uh, sufficiently away from the battle and whatnot. I mean, he fought really bravely. He took on like two of them. So we had two sets of like two on ones. He was a one on two and we were a two on one. What's that over there? Bandit camp. 
I'm doing an all look shiny. Side quest. Oh, I think he's back up. Or? No, he's just, that's just his marker where he's down. Uh, the hostiles did drop stuff. Uh, but my pockets were too full to pick it up. And I totally didn't forget to go and put stuff away so that I could pick up the rest of the loot. Damn it. I didn't forget. Okay. If hungry and down on luck. Shut up. Mean the world. Shut up on glowing. Nothing but belly aching out of you. Shut up. Like you're like you're genuinely, genuinely getting on my nerves now, Uncle Owen. This one time, a bandit camp. Oh my god. Right, I, I'll take your apples, you evildoers. Ooh, a strap. These tools made of iron are essential for crafting and researching. Can be found as loot and produced by a toolmaker. And 13 coins. Let's go. That guy made a terrible mistake. He came to... He came to Fight Club armed with nothing but a strap on him. Right. Okay. So, you just... You just... Axis missing for logging camp. Oh my god. But don't you worry. You're going to be just fine. It's just barely a scratch. Okay, we get you up and up and at them, soldier. You're gonna be. I'm gonna do the magic healing walk of Ivan. This one it comes long-standing uh, ritual from Berovia. We walk upon our downed allies to heal their face. I healed your face with my feet. Now you feel much better. Yes. Yes. Soon you're gonna be right as 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 a. Uh, Raindrop. <laughs> that smell can wake the dead. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I got a whole load of nice food. Hey, Uncle Owen, I got lovely food. Anything you can spare, kind soul? No, you can. I can spare you. I'll spare you something in a minute, you son of a. Get out of my way, Owen. I'm going to the side quest. And you can't come with me. I can't even see where smoke was coming from now. Maybe there. Actually, we should have a look at this mining camp. I don't know. Or is this my logging camp? Oh, that's my logging camp. Okay. I don't know if I should put my axe in there. Maybe I should put my axe in there. Oh, crikey. Oh, 
Or when he comes back. I have to make another axe. Go to my trusty club. We're going clubbing. We're going clubbing, my friends. It's about time we went out to explore anyway. Oh, enemy. Uh-oh. Bandits. That's probably what I saw, the bandit camp over there. Ah, oh, there, no, there it is. How many bandits? What could possibly go wrong here, chat? Oh, no. What could possibly go wrong? Wait. There's at least two of them. Oh, and there's another one over here. I've lost some health now. That sucks. I can still take them. That's right. You come out one at a time, my friend. Oh, wow! I didn't mean it! Oh! Okay, so in the beginning of that fight, I didn't know. Uh, in the beginning of the fight, I didn't realize I had to block. So you you press the button, you move the direction, and then you hit the block. Because it's this fluid. It's supposed to be this fluid blocking thing, but it didn't. It kind of didn't work the way. I thought it would. All right, let's try that again. It's using this fluid block system that we had in uh, LO. But it was, it, it didn't, it didn't kind of, I thought you could just hold the button. You can kind of hold the button. It's weird. It's weird. I'm not blaming the game. I, I just need more practice with it. quite good that I was able to get one of them drawn out though. I wonder if I can do that again. They're going to be all together. Come out and fight me, you cowards! Uh-oh. Okay, okay, this time. Have it! And again. Also, I had been hit by the wolf, right? So it wasn't a fair fight from the scratch. 
Oh! Low blow! Oh! Got him! Get the wreck, nerd! Okay. Oh, I deserve some berries. Expanded loot quest item. <gasps> so I can take that back to uh, Thingy Bobby, right? I think we had a we had a quest with Emily to bring stuff back. That went quite well, but I'm like half health now. Hmm. I should call back up. He brought an axe out clubbing, yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't have minded having my axe as well. That wolf earlier, that was kind of... Uh oh, what was that noise? Not another wolf. And honestly, that red dot, I was wor genuinely worried. I was like, it's going to be a bear, isn't it? It's going to be a bear bear. Uh oh, all the mushrooms are ready. That means... That means it's going to be autumn again. For possibly... I don't know how many days... Okay. Man, I want to take out this uh, this camp. Good job logging. Oh, you're back. Oh, hold on, you're back. But why are you bringing with this? Okay, whatever. Don't forget the flax. Uh, what was? Oh my God. Oh, you're talking about harvesting flax for winter. Okay. Thank you. Anything you can spare, kind soul? I can spare you a portion of shut the heck up if you say that to me again. Don't forget the flax. Okay. Well, look, smart Alec. We've got 30 flax now. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go and see Amelie quickly and hand, see if I can I'm sure it was her that wanted bandit coins but it might be that I need to have like three like one from each or something I'm gonna go and see Amelie and then we'll rest because that's how we'll get our HP back and then we'll take out the rest of that bandit camp but I've killed a wolf and a bandit and I had one battle nap and we fought off three other bandits that were raiding our camp so, it's, it's uh, bueno. We finally got the logging going. Oh, we need to make another um, sticky stick or axe axe. And I forgot to drop off all the mushrooms. So, you know, I feel like... I feel like we're winning. Uh, where's Emily? Oh no, we're gonna have to find her. You're the Weaver Lady. What did what quest did we have from you? Well met, fellow. Well met, fellow. Oh, you're a lot more polite now. I suspect that might be one of the things they fixed. That it's not they're not saying go away, instead of their normal greeting line. Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? More quests. Okay. 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 
Cords and pelt. I don't even know how to make cord yet. Tugging at my heartstrings, huh? I'll allow it this time. I'll get what you need. Oh, has she just taught me how to make a uh, cord? Or not? Memoriam track, yeah. Okay, so I have one pelt already in inventory. Oh, that's the wolf pelt. Oh, jeez. No, we've got other pelts back home. Um, Codex. Pagan Shrine. Oh, General. <clears throat> Tech tree. I don't know why that's lit up. Is there a way to search the uh, codex? Lore, world, regions, high pelts, simple cord. A single stranded rope used in simple app applications refined by a weaver. Oh, so we would have to... Oh, that means we have to get the loom thing going and get Don't the reeds from the water and stuff. Okay, that, that would actually be quite annoying. Who's this exclamation mark now? Is this the weaver lady again? I need to find Amelie. Keep going. You keep going, buddy. I'll keep going where I want to, you, you, you bully brigands. Best objective. Yeah. No. Hmm, don't know. Don't know what that's all about. Also, why this this flies? Oh, it's bugs near the lantern. Or. Or is there a dead body here somewhere I'm supposed to find? <laughs> Maybe it's night time, so they're all, uh, they're probably just all in bed, right? It's... No? Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably only the guards out. Huh. Okay. Hardcore parkour! <laughs> Okay, we didn't find Emily. So many logs there we could just steal for our purpose. How does one heal? Uh, we got to rest. I think there are probably like he healing salves or something like that that we can craft, maybe at some point um or uh we gotta rest in the bed look at these fireflies and in shrouded we could make those into little uh, lanterns which i know doesn't fit with this game but it would be cute <laughs> um mm, sleep have we got any wood no Okay, have we got any wood here? No. But we have got lots of mushrooms. Nice. Oh, there's some wood. Excellent. Perfect. 
Because in, in theory, they should be cooking for themselves now. Last time you scolded us for not reminding you. This time when I do, I get scolded. I can't win. Yeah, but you reminded me in autumn for the stuff I need to get in summer. <laughs> and I know you're too smart to have done that by accident. Okay, fair enough. We can still harvest some things by the looks of it. So, okay, so here's the question. Was it a genuine reminder? Or is it one of those, it's probably too late, so I'll remind him now. Because <laughs> if it's the former, I, uh, I apologize. Just dodge. All right. Well, we're doing well here with the logs. We can get this uh, thing here going. Or what happened there? Oh, I didn't get the other log. Okay. And then add 16 bits of wood. Okay, but anyway, let's go to... Uh, pad stole. Oh, no, hang on. We're fully healed. Let's go kick those... Let's go kick those uh, bandits in the watsits. Which was this way. Something he reminds you of in autumn should be easily available, yeah, next summer. Uh oh, what's that down there? I need to make myself an axe as well. That's not going to be a bandit. That's going to be another wolf. It is another wolf. I'm, I'm, we're not having another fight with the wolf. It's interfering. The villagers can look after themselves. It's interfering with my quest to rid the world of these three bandits. This area here has got a little bit of a Red Dead vibe about it. Oh, did I? No, I only drew one out. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, sir. Haha! -ha! Son of a biscuit, have that two for. Oh, you got me. Have it over the head. And another strap and an apple. I love that. All right, one more to go. Some place with a loom you can use. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Have it! Opening salvo. Have it! Oh, 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 oh! Don't get cocky now, dwarf. Have it! Ow! Biscuits! Oh, don't we're fighting in the bushes! I will fight them in the bushes! nerd and I got a piece of rope and 13 more coins get Rex oh yes I love this combat system this is great I remember how much fun it was in LO when, it, when things were friendly 
Oh, this is great. Mandit's note. This new guy thought he was so clever joining us and setting uh, us up for the brigand's trap. Pathetic. Oh, how much fun we had toying with him instead. It's just a shame that he the rat ran away. But we'll get him. He's bound to come back for our loot. No. It, well, the loot won't be there. The loot's mine now. Oh, yeah. Except I can't carry everything. I can't carry that rope. Hang on, I can read that book. That's one item gone. I could throw that trap away. I could throw the torch away. That's for sure. Three pieces of rope. Oh, no, one more. Oh, I got a load of simple cord as well. Oh, we can eat some mushrooms. Oh, that's... Oh, easy money. Oh, there you go. Perfect. They'll find a crude stone and uh, a, a used torch. Oh, that's great. All right, back to camp. Let's make sure the old uh, Hodor is on the mend and everything at camp's okay and then we can go to uh and go to the quest oh maybe we can talk to amelie in the town now as well hey that was brilliant that worked out really well at least you left something for exactly right he's whoever's coming back for their loot isn't gonna go away empty-handed they're just gonna go away with a stone and a crappy torch I've given them the power to hunt with that stone and the power to see at night with the torch. I think that's a pretty generous gift. There's no fingerprint DNA testing there yet. Indubitably, Watson. Hey, we got... Down on luck. <sighs> a coin would mean the world. Okay, I think we have to... Did we learn about the stockpile yet? No. Why haven't we learned about the stockpile yet? It needs two more logs. Oh. Little sticks. Okay, let's try and sort out the stockpile then. I've got full pockets. Is oh, we might have to ditch our uh, hemp. Not our hemp. I mean our sage. Oh, these things will stack in the other box. So Okay. Ah, oh, 50 out of 50. Dang nabbit. Wait a minute. Okay, we're getting away with it. Now it's 50 out of 50. Hey, he's getting the research done now. He brought the logs back in the meantime. That's good. Uh, it's kind of silly to keep this, but okay. Where's the... Where's Dob's house? That's all here. I need two simple cord for the quest. Yeah, there was something for the quest, right? Well yeah. Met, adventurer. I wanted to get my pockets emptied my first and then... There. Pick up what I need. Holy well, cow, Raylan sneaking in with five gift there. subs to the community. Hi, Raylan. How are you doing, buddy? 
how's the uh, well met, how's the health, man? And welcome to my underground lair. Hey, Rayland. Man, it's way more important that you're getting well your health uh, and welcome to my underground handled, lair. man. Good vibes, buddy. How's it going? Well yeah, you just snuck in there. And welcome to my underground lair. About as stealthy as a grenade in a greenhouse. I mean, he must take the the stealth lessons from you? Question mark. Troublemaker. Uh oh, I just took all the food. Oh, okay. Hungry and down on luck. A coin would mean the world. Well, it's a good job you're not my cook. And there isn't loads of food available for you to eat. And how can you be down on your luck? Honestly, you live here with us. One does not get much luckier than that. Branamir. So hopefully they'll just get that bill. That stockpile. Um, so uh, cords for the quest, right? Uh, two simple cords and two pelts. Thank you for that reminder. Uh, now this is a hide. Oh, so we're going to have to go and kill that other wolf. Or... Yeah, because we had to give... Um, well, I'm nearly dead, man. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to need to rest. I don't know if I can beat that... If I can beat that wolf with only that health. I mean, one sec... If I'm... If I'm careful... I should be able to beat that wolf. Where was he? he was over there somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I could take one of my dudes with me fighting. I didn't even think of that. Okay. You're totally right. You I just totally blanked on that. I was thinking medieval dynasty. And I forgot I could take them. You have a meme for that? <laughs> Jurek, you having a meme for something is a bit like RimWorld having a mod for something. There's a meme for that. And Jurek's got it. I don't have any bandages. Bandages was the other thing, yeah. I don't have any bandages. I don't know how to make bandages yet. I don't think. Get him. Oh. oh, wait. Why have I taken Bronomir, who's... Holdor's the one who was injured. I think he's fighting fit again now, though. Not fully. Okay, we beat it. Okay. Easy money. There you go. One pelt. Good job. Now get back to work, you lazy bum. I mean, thanks, buddy. Enjoy your day at work. H for auto run.
<laughs> the man was on his deathbed for you. Yeah, but he, uh, that's, that's because it's part of his life's quest. Keep I was going. just helping him feel more fulfilled, more, uh, one with the clan. This is the way. Is it not you? Uh, is it you? Are you new in town? It's customary that you should greet the elder. Oh, never mind. It's not you. Oh, how are you getting on, uh, Dobby, mate? Well met, fellow. What can you tell me about Amelie? Of a nuisance, that girl. Her heart is in the right place. But being outspoken around here can lead to trouble. Hmm. Be careful around her. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Okay. Ah, hello. Yes. Oh, it was Andrea. Yeah, okay. You fooled me with your red pants. I brought you some... Excuse me, ma madam. Can I help you, Amelia? Or Emily? Uh, uh, yes, I bought some stuff that you asked for. Anything else? Wait, I'll bring the rest soon. Where's the other pelt? I had two pelts. Where did the other pelt go? Did I put it in the camp? Still don't know what's happening. Oh man, that sucks, Rayland. Heart and everything looks good from the blood tests and whatnot. Okay. Oh man, that sucks. Good vibes, Rayland. I hope they can find out what it is and, and help you manage it. Did I leave one in the chest? Oh my god. What? I really, really hope that they can continue to support you, Rayland, and you can find the solution. That sucks, but... I know, but I didn't look at the counter because I assumed that I had the other pelt in uh, my pocket. But apparently I put it somewhere else. But I don't know where that somewhere else is. That's hide. Oh. Found it. Found it. It's alright. Panic over, chat. I found it all on my own. It's it's all it's all good. Cover it up. It's fine. Just happy little accidents. Found it all on my own. Why does it say... Okay. One in inventory. Okay, now I get it. Yeah. Found it all on my own. No need to worry. Stand, stand down the, uh, the search teams. We're all good. The pelt was hiding. Yes, yeah, playing hide and seek. Yes. Dag nab it. <laughs> Cough. I 
Okay, we've got to find Bubble Lady again. Spare a coin for an old soul. Just a few pennies to stave off hunger's bite. I'm going to do more than that, buddy. Everybody here is going to get an equal opportunity <coughs> to be wolf bait. And if they survive, then they get a chance to be... Uh, they get a chance to eat to do you have the, the wolf. Don't skip leg day. Oh, I hate it when people skip leg day. I've wanted to build this for so long. Please take this as a reward. You're welcome. 100 coins, one old coin, and more trust. Yes. That was worth it. That was worth it. My buddy. I wonder who else might come and work with us. Maybe there's another. Oh, here we go. My stomach hurts badly. I'm too hungry. Uh, Have you seen the elder yet? Yep, I'm looking for people to help. I've seen the good you've done for the community, and I want to help. So yes, I'll work with you. I'm glad to hear it. Let's go. All right, buddy. We are a town of beggars and we're proud of it. Skill set beggar. Yeah. Hey, everybody deserves a chance. Everybody deserves a, a chance, a, a bite of the cherry, one could say. Which, to be fair, is probably their average diet in my camp. Even Uncle Owen? I mean, okay, he's pushing my buttons a little bit with his rhetoric. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Oh my, Uncle Owen. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Oh no, I've got two of them. Oh no. We've got two of them. Okay. Hungry what are your attributes? A coin would mean the world. You're just, just rubbish. Okay. Well, you can help with crafting, but mainly you're going to be on harvesting duty and delivery duty and cooking duty. I mean, I suppose you could help with research if uh, what what. Maybe you could research some new lines. He's, oh no, he's homeless because we need to build another another tent. Can't he have my? Can I have a new one and he gets Anything a? Anything you can spare, kind soul. Anything you can spare, kind soul. Oh no, I'm not ready yet. Not ready yet. That's the new I'm not ready yet. That's the... <laughs> that is the new I'm not ready yet. Anything you can spare, kind soul? And what's the other one? An empty stomach and down on my luck. Or something like that. Gee, willikers. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, I need to take my axe back and I need to go choppy choppy. We've got to make some more tools. So I guess I'll help. I guess I'll do all the hard work. Blech. And this needs like a shipload. 
of logs and things as well. Oh my god. Everything around here. We want it done properly. So as the old saying goes. You wanna you gotta do things properly, you gotta call in the and then dingus. Let's take this whopper down here. Yeah, it would be cool if it was like a, you know, they now become villagers or something. And when they learn skills in a certain job, they become a farmer or whatever. Yeah. Can you kill yourself with a falling tree? I don't think so. Whoa, let's just heave that log into my pockets. Where's the other log? Oh, here. Have I tested it yet? No, funnily enough, I haven't tested cutting at a giant tree and then running around quickly to stand underneath it. I haven't tested that yet, no. Do you want to... Uh... i tell you what, when we co-op together at some point in the future, we'll test it. I'll swing the axe and you can stand somewhere appropriate. Yeah, there's no there's no dates listed for this one yet, no. Um Only if I've made a helmet beforehand. Nice. So this guy... Uh, we've had to divert resources. Bloody side quest, man. You're gonna kill me one day. We've had to divert resources away from the stockpile and the advanced workbench because I had to go and be kind and give this this poor beggar a home silly silly me i mean actually it's kind of nice that we can do that i like it <laughs> ah. don't break the trap nice need a berry it's gonna be uh it's gonna be blooming winter again soon isn't it okay well it shouldn't be right now though Listen to the wind blow. Oh, comes the night. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to pick the bushes out by the outhouse. Oh, no, there's none. Someone's already had them. <laughs> Oh no. Are we past the point where there's no more, uh. There's no more berry? No, there's some. There we go. Huzzah! Stick. This is convenient because we need sticks as well.
It's a beta test, so we should test it. <laughs> well, the tree falling logic. The tree death logic. I mean, hopefully, I'm sure it must be a real help for them to... Like, I wasn't sure, like I said, like, whenever we do these things blind, I wasn't sure exactly what we were going to get. But the fact that we've played seven hours of it and I'm still, like, happy as Larry and more than happy to play some more. I'm sorry for the RimWorld uh, fans because I really, really had a lot of fun with where we got to yesterday with the... Uh, defeating the big robot and today we were going to do the research and move on to the next robots and everything but this is because this is only like a two or three day window um you know it just made sense to uh, hop over to this one for uh, for a minute yes Done. Huzzah! There you go. Got it. Nice. <laughs> it's turning into quite the campsite you've got there. So stockpile needs three logs and six uh, wood. Excellent. Looks like houses for Skinny Pete. Oh! What do you think to that, Skinny Pete? Got anything to say to that? Well, 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 I don't know. I suppose I could squeeze in there if I must, but I don't know exactly where they're going to fit. My chairs, all uh, nine of them, and, of course, my paint box. How how many paint boxes could I get in one of those? I don't think very many. Terrible, terrible. I'm going to need something at least 69 times larger. Okay, so thanks for that. Thanks, Pete. It's a perfect ten. I just opened my fridge and it stinks of basil. It must be faulty. <laughs> nice. Hey, got you. Basil faulty joke. Nice. Huh. It's a shame we couldn't snuff out that fire from the uh, bandit camp, but I wonder if the bandits will respawn there. Or I wonder if it would be cool if there was like an RNG, like a small radius and the camp sort of moves around a little bit up there maybe spawns in with slightly different uh arrangement or whatever and like an rng sometimes it's one bandit sometimes it's four and uh, everything in between that would be really cool whack That's what you get, Snacks. Sometimes you get this. Uh, yeah, this one. Oh, 
Oh man, one more log, four more wood. Okay. Listen to the wind blow. First try. It's fun knowing that there could be wolves around as well. Keep you on your toes. She knows. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed everything works out uh we should have the grumbling with uh, not two but all three of us playing together uh obviously health priorities permitting with grumpy and little grumpy in hospital still and grumpy grandpas coming over to them to go and visit little little grumpy in uh, in hospital cheer him on so, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have all three of us playing tomorrow. Uh, which will be the first full grumbling crew uh, for a while, since a while. So, looking forward to that. What could possibly go wrong? All three of us in the ships together again. Oh, I still have another log. Okay. So I chopped that one. Nice. And as another reminder, uh, tomorrow night I won't be streaming because it's Friday evening, but I will be participating in uh, silly party games together with Tiger and crew in support of the charity event and just having fun together. So since it's my Friday now, I will actually be able to watch. Nice. Beautiful. Thursdays. They're the new Fridays. Oh, lemon and ginger tea. Don't mind if I do. Okay, stop it with the axe wings. It's weird, but in a, in a weird way, it sort of rewards you for putting your weapons away when you're working on uh, the building. Maybe if I had the hammer, it would work better. Let's go stockpile 400. Yes. Oh, my God. So good. 400. Let's flipping go. So if I say this is not for food. And you know what? They can just dump everything in there. We'll sort it out later. Let's flipping go. And that one bit of wood left over to throw on the campfire. All right. Time for sleepy sleeps at four in the morning. Two days until winter. Oh. Oh, okay. So 14. So every seven days they're doing for a year at the moment, I'm guessing. Okay. That's cool. At least I noticed it this time. Hungry and down on luck. A coin would mean the world. A coin? I swear. Shush. 
Get back to work. You want coin? You want better meal? You catch better meal. Twelve pieces of wood. Okay. And then I want to go to Padstow. Have we got time? Maybe we go to Padstow first. Because if I build this advanced thingy, Bobby, all that's going to happen is I'm going to be like, oh, shiny tools. And I'm going to get side quested again. Delicious. A delicious, nutritious, nearly spoiled berry for breakfast. Hungry and down on luck. A coin would mean the world. Hey, something happens to those beggars in their sleep. I swear. It's not Ivan's fault, okay? You heard nothing. You saw nothing. The little lean to should be... F yeah, exactly. We survived one winter already, Squig, in it. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. But I haven't seen what I can upgrade to. Well, I mean, we just haven't gone through much of the research because everything's taking up, like, the same bunch of resources. So it's kind of awkward. No, why are there two axes in the logging camp? Select a resource. Oh my god. Wood. Lots and lots of wood. Yeah, just just go. And then... 50 logs. Okay, go. Why have they got two axes in there? That makes no sense. There should be another axe in the lumberjack block, but then, well, okay, whatever. I suppose two of them could gather wood. I just don't know how that ended up like that. Okay, let's go to Padstow. Screw it. Let's go. I didn't need to do waypoint because I already had the quest marker, right? All right, what could possibly go wrong as we go through prime bandit country towards Padstow? And also, why is there a pile of mud listed as a point of interest? <laughs> That's suspicious. There's a pile of mud listed as a point of interest on the map. Highly sus. Oh, is that his other axe? Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's bandits down by the road. This one time at Bandit Kemp. Yeah, look, two bandits. Has one of them got a bow and arrow? Maybe. Oh. What's this? Oh, he's got a quest. So it's a Grumbles. quest giver. Oh, you know what that's going to be? That's going to be... Grumbles. Go kill those bandits up the road that Grumbles. are menacing me. Hello. Grumbles. Igor. Certain material for a special project. Thought you might be interested in getting some work. Okay, tell me more. Simple stuff. Working on a set of unique armor that mm. requires some very particular components. Would I get a set of this armor for free? Stag horns for the helmet. Stag horns? For me? Um, no, right now, buddy, because I don't have a bow and arrow yet. But we can keep that in mind. You might make us some cool armor. Since that's near the starter zone, probably... Uh, 
nice and achievable. River reed. Oh. Mud, tin ore, flax. Nettles, mint, hemp. Secret wind! Secret wind field! Hey, Maui. I have managed to fight down the shark week pain and I'm now starting on uh, actually more good things. Nice. Tie some sticks together to make them look like coral. Wow. Wow. We, we, is that what we're, we're stooping to now? We're trying to uh, screw over the quest givers by giving them like cheap knockoffs. There's a bandit up there as well. There's bandits everywhere. We could take them. Welcome to Padstow, everybody. Meh. Uh. All right, more quests and things. But uh, yeah, everything's sort of smashed up. Kitty cat. Uh, we're going to go this way. Here's the town. Oh my goodness. Are you... Well, you're being in Star Citizen, my friend. You stand on the bench. These are tough times we live in, but a bit of coin can still buy you some comfort. Oh wait, you're the merchant. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not here to talk to you. <laughs> Sorry. You there in the head. Hello, traveler. Hello, Ansgar Selby. I hear you struggle with the bandit problem. Can I help? Correctly, my child. The royal bastards, to be precise. They started the royal to bastards. They started to harass us a couple of days ago. I'll deal with the bar stewards. Tell me where to go. They should be easy to find. The brigands' laziness made them so cocky that the bastards made their camp next to the village. Also, okay. I hope you are not going by yourself. They're just bandits. I can take care of myself. Oh, you're right. I could probably bring my friends. A sensible approach, young one. If you're walking into the wolf's den, keep your eyes open and have all the necessary weapons and armor for you and your comrades if you decide to take them with you. Uh, what are this armor you're talking of? The bandits like to hoard many materials they don't use, so search their camp thoroughly. Oh, I will. I love the loot. The royal bastards are dangerous. Thank you. I'll be going now. Get rid of the ban the bandit camp nearby. Okay. Meow. So I need to go and get my gang. Let's see what this merchant's selling first, though. Where are we? There's no time to lose. Shush. Stop being so rude to me all the time, you brigands. Seeking something these are tough times we live in, but a bit of coin can still buy you some comfort. Oh really? You got a pitchfork. <laughs> I oh I'm three coins short of a pitchfork. They will buy simple axes for 25, though. I could swap a trade in a simple axe for a pitchfork. Piercing, both weapons, speed 82, length 109. Speed is 85 with an, with an axe. Spare a coin. Should I do that? That's really, it's all my coin. Maybe we could learn to make our own, but... I don't know, I'm really tempted. Like, they come at me with, like, cudgels or a little axe, and I've got a pitchfork to the face. The or, let's be honest, pitchfork to the groin. Oh, 
You've got a knack for building, right? Yeah. Our village is in a bar. great builder. We're seeing fewer travelers than we used to, and it's hurting business. I have an idea that could help, but I need someone with your skills. Okay. What do you need me to do? I'm thinking we put up a few travel signs at key crossroads oh. outside the village. It's a simple thing, but it could guide more travelers our way. What do you say? Okay, I'll do it. First things first. You'll need materials. There's a copse of trees near Herndeen that's perfect. Good luck. Thanks. You should see how many building projects I've started and never finished, my friend. You'd be amazed. Okay, bye. More side quests. Okay, I need to get my uh, gang together. I didn't expect... Well, I didn't think about bringing someone with me in case we were going to have to go and fight nearby. We could go and have a look at this camp. How much time have I got left? Half an hour? Plus some overtime, maybe? Yeah, it's a no sign of the times. Oh. Oh, look at that. On the river. Wait, is it just one? Per is this the right thing? No. Oh, it's not. Okay. The bandits. Are okay, that makes more sense. I wonder what the quest down by the river is. That seems exciting. Can we get some river reeds down here? Because we're going to need that for a bow. Huh. No? Weird. Fishing! Oh, that's a lot of red dots. That's a lot of red dots. Suddenly there was like five or six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. Oh, here we go. Cool. I feel like it would be advantageous for our our work, our training as an elite combat force to have my uh, beggar, I mean, frontline soldiers and then me with a bow and arrow just supporting them. You know, like artillery type job. I think, I feel like that was, that surely that's got to be the way we we go. Can you shoot them? I don't think so. I mean, they sort of bleed when I hit them with a bludgeon or whatever. But I don't... I didn't see any numbers, so I don't know if I'm killing them. Leading from the rear again. Hey, look. You've got to put uh, Ivan and Dingus at the rear. Do you want to have your brains at the, at the back? Right? Look at that camp of bandits over there just waiting to be attacked. I like that there's all these little quest givers and stuff dotted around the place. It seems to be quite a few, and they seem to be in very close proximity to bandit camps, which is a bit odd. But, you know. Then again, you don't want everything feeling empty, right? The thing's only very few and far between. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like four more bandits. Whoa. How big is this bandit problem? Is that what they're setting me up for? To say, oh yeah, just take on those six bandits over there. 
there's definitely not another four of them coming over the ridge. Unbelievable. Is that? Oh, it's a bunny. Okay. Let's go get the, uh, let's go, uh, see what it would take to make a bow and arrow. I think we've still got to probably study it or we've got to get that advanced, uh, bench finished. Maybe they've got enough materials together for that now or even built it. I didn't see anything pop up on the screen, but that might be me missing it. I want to see if I can get a simple bow and some arrows together because if nothing else, I think it'd be pretty fun to watch me miss a lot. How's your day been, Maui? Oh, you get to chill out. grab some materials while we're here we're bound to need this I'm making arrows and stuff right it definitely feels also like one of those games where you don't want to put it down you know 100 percent. just just one more one more quest Let's check the traps. Hopefully they're all well fed though. Should be fine now. I'll probably take all my guys out and then there'll be another raid on our camp. I could see that being a thing. Sod's lore. Okay, nothing there. Are they managing these traps now? Maybe? Oh, add a berry. There you go. Hmm. Well, they didn't make the, uh... They didn't make the doobly-doo yet. all the wood man oh, cookies. cookies hungry and down on luck a coin would mean the world would it would it would it now sir kind of weird it forces you to take the tool out when you want to do the choppy chop even though you've got the tool on your belt I, again and that's maybe a quality life thing it should just be like you can just chop if you have as long as you have the tool how is bell right uh i've had a lot of fun with it i wasn't sure i would play like eight hours of it but I'm like nearly eight hours deep and thinking, yeah, we could play a bit more of this. I'll probably do a little bit, a tiny, tiny, teeny bit of overtime so we can clear that camp out and finish that quest. And then I guess, oh yeah, Saturday we'll probably play a bit more then. 
because uh, it's time limited. How many more? Three? Ooh. Boom! Ah! First thing I do is slam my axe, my hatchet, into my new advanced bench. Oh no, copper nails. Uh-oh. Okay, so this can do all the basic stuff as well. A plank shield! <gasps> okay, but we don't need the thing to make the planks then. It's called a plank shield, but it's just using raw wood. Reinforced club. Oh, that needs a copper ingot. Spiked club. Okay, so... I definitely want to make one of those. Oh, this is cool. I could give my guys some shields as well, right? I'm guessing. They need a strength score of one. <laughs> Do we even have... Do we have a strength score of one? We do. We, we have a strength score of one. Uh, what about our dudes? Uh, you've got two. Uh, you've got zero. And you've got zero of one. So it only makes sense to make two shields. Good, good that we check that. So I need, oh, it needs simple cords. <gasps> maybe, maybe we're the only ones that get the shield. Okay. I think we're the only ones that get the shield. Uh, presumably, yeah, probably from chopping all that wood, yeah. I don't know for sure, but I can, I can only imagine that that's the case. That's neat. I like this uh, stockpile thing. Well, even if I'm not sure how they do a really detailed picture of berries on a little box <laughs> nitpicking but you know how fast the dreams of being an archer move to a frontline shield bearer I mean who said I was going to be on the front line with my shield So I, I don't know enough about the whole uh, snail and donkey crew and, and all that stuff. I like I know very loosely some of it, but, you know, it's not exactly a happy story. So I don't really uh, well met, have the inclination to pay too much attention to it. And I don't really want to get drawn into it. I'm not talking about now in chat. I'm just saying in, in a broader sense. Dag nabbit, I need one more. So the thing is for the arrow, for the... We've got to do... Yeah, look, we need... Eight simple cord and ten river reed. So we probably have the river reed now. And I'm guessing that we can make the cord, but I don't know if we need the weaving station for that. Or is it another recipe? No, we have cord. That shouldn't be a recipe. So I think we might need to learn the weaver's loom. To make the cord. Not entirely sure about that. Mud collector and a shovel. Okay, neat. Oh, imagine, oh look, blades, but again, ingots, 
So these are all just things and a pitchfork we need two tin ingots. So we need to learn the bloomery, I guess. Five stones and five pieces of wood. So like in terms of for right now this evening the best I could do oh my goodness we could have a warhammer but we need two more pelts that's yeah okay should we try and kill oh, we need to kill like two walls Every, it's all like another side quest and another side quest but I'm tempted to get a warhammer instead of this stupid stick <laughs> Definitely tempted to get a Warhammer. Oh man, we we need that. I think if we go in there with a shield and a Warhammer and our three dudes... I don't know, man. It's a lot of bandits though, right? It, they attacked with three before. And it was so it was three against three and one of our guys kind of our toughest guy already went down in that fight so i don't know man if it's six and maybe even ten bandits that's a lot of bandits okay there's four of us now but even so so i feel like if i do get the shield it's still there's still a massive risk going into that uh, fight. Hmm. We'll see. Well, let's go. Plank shield for the win. Night's coming quick. Best be indoors before dark. Okay. Oh, that's true. The Warhammer probably is a two-hander. You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. I should probably at least repair my basic weapons and make sure that I've... Um, make sure that the other guys have got decent uh weapons or weapons that have got good durability left in them true we could just save it and reload yeah i've tried not we haven't done any of that so far we've done a save just in case but not use them uh rug brat thank you for the prime on the line and 11 months of support much appreciated thank you rug brat when is this due out? We don't know. There's no release date scheduled. It's just uh, coming soon. So this is a three-day sort of closed beta type thing. Um, hopefully the feedback and the game coverage will be helpful for them in all the ways. Huzzah! Look at that! Yeah, let's go! Interesting! Huzzah! So it takes longer. We can't do the, mo the mobile blocking with the stick anymore. So it's one or the other and there's there is a delay. Which is like totally reasonable feeling. Hmm. Hmm. We shall see. What are you armed with currently? You just have a primitive club. 
in your winter clock. I mean, I could give him. I mean, yeah, we don't have the. We're not going to have the bow and arrow. Unfortunately. This this having the stockpile is like oh so good. So yeah, I'm guessing that we need the the weaver. Let's see if we can find it. What did it? I can't remember what it said before. Simple cord. Yeah, refined by a weaver. Okay, yeah. So that's the answer. All right. So yeah, unfortunately, anything else is gonna just take longer than, I mean, it's not a bad thing. We'll try and do it on Saturday. Worst case, we get our asses whooped and we learn a lesson and have to uh, have to come back and try again on the uh, on the uh, on the weekend. Use this to cook more food than a typical on fire, as well as dry meat and fish with the smoking rack. Requires wood to maintain the fire. So a trapper's camp, yeah, that would be useful to put out. And the loom. We could probably get the loom done. We definitely can get the loom done. Uh, Warhammer. Warhammer. Oh, maybe we don't have that yet if we haven't unlocked it. Elders will trust you more for bringing them proof of your hunting. Oh, we take the wolf fangs to the elders. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, it's not in here yet. Ah, uh, the weaver allows us access to bandages and some bags. Okay. Armored cap. Okay, so I think we should do the weaver loom tech for sure maybe even before this one because bandages probably gonna be a good thing to have right Ten of those, eight wood and three river reeds. We're sure to win now, what? Because we've got the shield. I think so. Must have faith, comrade. Must have faith. Chop chop. Mm. 
I'm gonna do one more. Or find one more twig on the floor maybe is better. Yeah, I will do a quick leg stretch. Reckless, but like a shorter break. Top up my tea maybe. And then we'll do just a little bit more. I don't want to overdo it. But I think there's a little bit of overtime left in here for this one. Since since we're so time limited with the game anyway. Just one more quest. One more quest. Uh, let's see if we can find a twig. No, no twigs. Many things that looks like they would be a twig, but they're not a twig. Oh, that's a bloody stone. I don't want that. Many things that at night might seem like a stick. A stick, a stick, my village for a stick. All right, ad break. We're going to get ready to go and attack that village in the morning. Well, I say in the morning, it's three in the morning already. I can't find a single twig anywhere. Are you kidding me? Not one twig. Okay, a sapling. Great. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna rest. There's bound to be another one. I can't remember. How, I, did I need two? I might have needed two anyway. Okay, so we'll try and build the weaver, and the, and then we'll see what it takes to make bandages. And then maybe that will be enough for the combat. Worst case, I'm sure my troops will fight bravely. <laughs> I love this big blocky square shield thing as well, though. That's awesome. Okay, there we go. It's interesting that I can't do the researching. I want my other I want the other guy to do the research. Uh Ludo. Yeah. I don't know why he was set to research. He shouldn't be doing cooking, I guess. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll leave you uh, with another little view of our village. Starting to come together, just just a touch, just a touch. And again, I'm I'm kind of liking the way the game has the things uh, spread out on that. All right, I will be right back, folks. Thank you for being here. Do a little bit more when I get back. Oh, I just remembered I've got to sleep, haven't I? Because it's middle of the night. Hang on. Otherwise, I'll 
otherwise that'll be a nightmare. Oh, is it winter? Oh, <laughs> nearly. Okay. Hungry and down on luck. A Shut up. Would mean the world. All right, I'll be right. All right, let's go get our butts handed to us. <clears throat> Skinny piece, lucky number. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 if it isn't the 13th day, eh? I think we should attack. It's my lucky number. And still the wrong, still the wrong guy is doing the research. What? What? What is the deal with that? Get off there. Anything you can spare, kind soul? You did it? Good work. I had every confidence in you. Anything you can spare, kind soul? <laughs> Ed construction material uh, 13 river reeds and a bunch of wood okay I don't know if we have enough river reeds did he just take a whole bunch I think he might have done he did Oops. 
Anything you can spare, kind soul? Anything you can spare, kind soul? Literally living in my camp. Right, we're going to attack the big bandit camp. The uh, the what could possibly go wrong army led by the brave Ivan Ivanovar. What possibly can go wrong? I think with my super duper square shield or a rectangular shield surely we've got this we got this one we make sure that they've got food on them before we go Spare, kind soul. Okay, reads. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Add six creed stone and some more reeds. Probably don't have six crude stone, do we? No. Uh, I want to go over here. Lucky 13. Let's go. Let's hear it for Team Lucky 13. Anything you can spare, kind soul? No. Okay, uh, do you, what weapon do you have? You have a decent club. You have <clears throat> nothing. Oh, so that must be your club. You have no real armors. Okay. And, uh, what's his name? Has got, don't know, can't tell from here. Okay. All right. So, uh, six stone and six reed. Where did we get the reeds? Was down oh, all the way over there. Bummer. Oh man. There's some river reeds over there, though. So we could just go that way, which is down here. <clears throat> yeah, that way. Six reeds and six stones. Just to see if we can make a bandage. I probably should... Uh, Gather some extra re- I don't know what it's going to be to make the bandage. Does it, um... Tech tree, bandage, sage and flax. Okay, so that's super easy. We've got to attack today because it's going to be uh, winter, right? So we don't want to, we should have some of this in stores already, I hope. Your house number growing up was uh, lucky 13. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then the reeds. Oh, there's enemies down here. No. No bueno. Why are there always enemies by the reeds? What is that over there? Is that a bear? There's lots of enemies around here. Oh! from one wolf ooh schmixy oh my god there's so many wolves everywhere not cool It didn't really damage my shield though, so that's uh that's pretty good. So one oh no two three four oh that's our skills kicking in I guess five six okay I got six reeds and we wanna gather a couple more Surprised the wolves aren't down on us, actually. Kind of almost expecting them to come and have a go straight away. There's another quest giver. Okay, inventory full. Fine. Uh, let's not go over there. Oh, look at that big bridge. Oh, no. One of them's got my scent, I think. Oh, sugar. Or three. Or just one? Okay. Ow! Your biscuit. Ow! How's he getting under my shield? Biscuits. I'm nearly dead. No bueno. Run away. Okay, I uh, can't carry any more. Wait, did I just harvest all that stuff and drop it again? Oh my god, terrible. Terrible. How did... Yeah, he was going under my shield. That totally sucks. Now we've got the bloodied wi red window to, to show for it. We'll go this way a bit so we don't go towards whatever else is up there. Man. You can run with your inventory open. That's good. I need all those bits. That you bit off me. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Now let's go kill some bandits here with no health left. Dag nabbit. <laughs> Luckily we've never had ankle trouble here. I think that's what that symbol well I, I don't know it doesn't it just it says like it's blocking 
I think it was just because it was attacking my... It was literally attacking my ankles. Because the one that we fought on the grass didn't... It didn't get through the shield once, right? It charged the shield two or three times. And didn't get a single look in. Unless I had to be looking down with it. It's possible. It's possible I had to be like... I don't know. It doesn't show like in, in an animation sense. Um, but yeah, maybe. Alright, gang. Yeah, I look a bloody mess. It was a rather violent encounter. Great. He did. No, where's the... Where's bandage? I can make simple cords easy. Where's thatch? Okay. Building roofs. Oh, so we can have nicer... Uh... Okay, we can make some thatch for a better roof. Where is... <laughs> I feel robbed. I feel... I feel I have been robbed. Sirs. Um. What is the deal with that? Oh, now it's unlocked. Oh, lordy. Leather coif. So that's two hide and three strat. We could make that. Armored cap. Three cord and two strap. Adventure. So I could give them some better armor, some better clothing. Maybe. Rugged coif. Linen. Okay. Rugged mitts. Scouts boots. Thick gloves. Okay. Bandage. Takes eight sage and three flax to learn. Shenanigans, man. Shenanigans. You know, but unlike, like, Anything you can spare, kind soul? for example, recently, Nightingale, which was just horrendous. Uh, with the, this goes into this, goes into this, is linked to this. It was just, oh. Uh, this game actually feels like quite a, quite a nice progression, I feel. Like, it's not too crazy. But also, you do need to have the things, do the things. So, I need Sage. Uh, which is the taller ones out here, I think. Kind of be funny if I was actually bleeding out. I don't think I am. make the linen no yeah so it's the tech tree has new items to learn once you've got like the item placed down oh they finished the the bandage i'm out here gathering things for it and they're like oh don't worry about it chief we've got it so having them do the research feels kind of kind of easy but not necessarily complaining about it <laughs> it's just it's interesting Okay, enough with that. Oh, fudge. Fiddlesticks. Okay, well, the first thing we get to do is try out the bandages because the only other choice I've got is to rest. And if we rest, it's winter. Are we, and are we, I'm not sure we want to go and attack them in winter. You don't really uh, want to go for that kind of uh, winter warfare in this, I wouldn't think. Hungry and down on luck. A coin would mean the world. Uh, Weaver's loom. Wait, what? 
Oh, bandages made at the advanced table. Okay. Two. Okay. Oh, I didn't pick up any of that sage at all. Oh, I'm such a dipstick. This is what happens when I'm, when we're in overtime, right? Anything you can spare, kind soul? <laughs> Always the same. <laughs> uh, get me some wood for the fire. We did have a bunch of uh, that stuff, though. Somewhere. It might be in the central storage now. Or where did where did we have the sage? We used to have some in here. Night's coming quick. Best Night's coming quick. Oh my god, we've we've lost the day. We're going to be fighting in Winterfell. Dag nab it. Okay, grab all the sage now. We need sage. Uh, N. Who's my gathering? Oh, Owen. Uncle Owen. Uh. No, I need to go to the huts. This, yeah, the gathering hut, which is this one over here, I think. Over here. At least we'll have a frosty reception for them. Nice. They will feel the chill winds. The day they they they, they will regret bullying our friends. We're not gathering sage. I have made another critical error we were not gathering sage <sighs> and why were we not gathering flax or did we already just reach that volume mistakes were made We don't even really need wheat at this point. No, mistakes were made. Let's have a last desperate run around the field, the lowlands. See if we can get some stuff manually. Some more sage. I just wanted to have one fight before winter. Dang it. Nothing. Flax. Nothing. Tall flowers. Aha, sage. anymore okay bandages and now we might as well sleep and attack in the daylight of winter we'll give it a go we'll give it the old college try Uh, I might be able to do like a keep an amount in stock type thing. Yeah, I'm just not looking at that right now. Just more in a panic rush rush. More haste less speed mode. 
Uh, advanced table. Bandage, yes. Wow, so it needs nine pieces of sage per bandage, I think. Or? No. Two. Okay, the number's on the left. So it's two sage, one flax. Well, that's not bad then. Plus two healing. Hmm. We should probably, if we can make a few, we should probably use one, use one uh, just to test the impact. Because I don't want to go in there thinking, ah, oh, it's going to heal half my health or whatever. And it, it might be a slow tick. It might be... I don't know. Do you, young trees give wood or logs? Uh, young trees seem to be uh, just nothing. You, It's a waste. So if you get the saplings... They will give you, uh, like, the branches, the twigs, you know, what it's called, wood. And if you, obviously, larger trees, they'll give you varying amounts of logs, uh, which you can use as logs or convert to planks or uh, wood or branches. Um, but if you get the young trees, as far as I've seen so far, they give you nothing. As far as I've seen. Oh, it's giving me flax seeds. Oh, no, that's my guy gathering. My bad. Okay. Yeah. I do feel like chopping the trees down should give you some of the branches with it. I've said that before, but, you know, it is what it is. And maybe it will later on. Again, many, many things can change in the, you know, before this comes out because uh, this is just a beta but a really solid beta I think okay let's try out one of these bandages so we're at 217 okay oh not 217 that was our gold in fact, that number at the top doesn't seem to have any bearing on our health at all. So it's basically restored about, what, a quarter of a half health bar? Okay. We sleep. And at dawn, we plan. I mean, attack. Day 14. Winter is upon us. Driven by the cold and hunger... They plan their attack. All right, let's go. Let's go, gang. We're going to fight. He won't. So they're too hungry. Oh, my goodness. Guys. Just eat the food. Hungry and down on luck. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Coin would mean the world. Okay. So you've had food. Uh, hello? You... You've had food as well. And you are being... Uh, and down moany on poops. The coin would mean the world. There. Have some food. Now get me some... Spare, kind soul? Bloody wood to chop chop... Honestly, guys, you're supposed to be cooking for yourselves. Is this... I feel like you're a bunch of big crybabies right now. Blech. What's the problem with you? Bunch... Big bunch of babies. No, they have been making food. Um... 
I think I don't know what it is. I think it may just be the maybe the prioritization prioritization of the tasks is wrong or I'm not sure. But they have been making food. They seem to be okay at like gathering and then cooking and then they seem to n grab the food like just in time. I'm only like I haven't really paid close close attention to it. But that's my gut feeling that they're they're cook they're eating food just in time to like stave off starvation. Whereas what you really want is them to have like a I don't know. I mean there's not it doesn't mean it's necessarily wrong if they're doing it sort of just in time. I guess it's efficient. Um I just kind of feel like Every time I then want to order them to do anything, the, the first thing I've got to do is spend a few minutes feeding them. <laughs> if that makes sense. And it's, you know, but again, probably a work in progress. Owen is hungry and will stop following you soon. Yeah. I mean, you get the warnings at least. But I, you know, Owen's also meant to be our cook, I think. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Yeah, he's got cooking and gathering. So maybe I need to make his gathering a three. Also, I quite like this menu that there's just this little drop downs and stuff like that. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy. His number one priority should always be cooking the food. Hungry and down on luck. A coin would mean the world. Well, you're going to get a piece of cooked meat. But maybe there's some coin in it for you if you uh, if you fight well. Did he already did he already clear off? No, Andre went away. Ludum Lubomir has stopped following you and is searching for food. Is one the highest priority or the lowest? Oh my goodness. I didn't think of that. I mean, it says nine and then don't do it. I think, didn't it say somewhere? I mean, I just went with the lighter color and one, like the most standout color. But I could be wrong. Raid threat two. We're halfway to getting a raid. Uh oh. <laughs> Anything you can spare, kind soul? Anything you can spare, kind soul? Yeah, it just seemed like intuitive to me, like rate, uh, priority one. But this is, so this is just like slightly annoying because I want to go with my gang. And they're all, look at them. They've all just cleared off to go and get food. When there's a campfire and, you know, I don't know. Maybe we're going to have the better campfire and stuff. Eh. It's like, it's not super annoying. It's just it seems it feels like it could be wrong as well, but it feels like every single time I go to get them, they're like, "Yeah, okay, we'll follow you." Oh wait, we're hungry. And it's like, "Come on, guys, it's not that difficult." Oh, there's another table here. Oh, cool. This is oh, what? Oh, lordy. There's some really easy to make armor here that we don't even have to research. Winter cloak. Traveler's shoes, hand wraps. With some armor as well. So we can get three armor from traveler's hoods. <gasps> I didn't even see this, man. So... It's hemp and flax. Oh, let's get our guys some, uh, some armor. 
That's cool. It's another side quest. More overtime. I'm sorry. I'm keeping you all uh, in detention again. Humble apologies. Fashion time. Well, I just want them to be able to hopefully survive this fight. Question mark. I don't know if these, if we've even got the right ingredients. Hmm. Oh no, we haven't because we needed hemp. It was hemp. Fiddlesticks. How have we got no hemp now? So I tell you what, you're going to want somebody to be your farmer. You're going to want someone to be your farmer in this. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. More of an after school club than a detention. That's nice. <laughs> There's berries out there. What kind of a winter is this? Or is it winter is at the end of this day? I thought they were saying the winter was upon us. Where's the hemp? There it is. Okay, that looked like it would be a hemp plant. I swear, if we go out to attack these guys and then there's a raid on our on our base, ah, oh, that would be just the worst. That would be just the worst. <laughs> okay, not really much in the way of hemp going on here. Nope. It looks like a fun survival game. Is it coming out? There's no uh, dates or nothing. This is a this is a beta uh, Jedi. So, but there is n no no information about uh, when. We don't know when. <laughs> this is cool though. I, I'm liking this. I like that you can get your... Like, you don't have to stand and wait here because you can get your peeps to to make this stuff. It's pretty cool as well. We can get our group wearing straw hats. That's one armor point. Only Jeff's gonna get... Only the Jeff's gonna get the traveler's hood. I think. <laughs> One linen and two pelts. I could actually make myself a winter cloak. That's cool. I could actually make myself a winter cloak. Yeah, exactly. I I really like wholeheartedly. Um, all they've given me access to this clothes beater, and that's it, right? So, my genuine view of this is I've enjoyed nearly nine hours of it today. Um, I'm going to play some more on the weekend in the, while the beat is still up. And, uh, I would, I would say this is one of those that's definitely worth wish listing to give it a little bump, you know, I know people have got some reservations about, you know, snail and whatnot, but I, I, I would put that to one side and you are either there's a good product and a good game out there or there isn't, right? But, you know, that's my my simpleton's view of it. Okay, we've got one more hat available. We should have some food cooked now. Maybe now we can gather our army and get them to... Or our little ragtag group. Oh, hey, a tabletop. Oh, no, it's a shield. Blah. Okay, so... Uh, boop. 
armor three. Yep. So three, ten. Nice. That's a significant. Uh... Do you like my hood? What do you think my hood, my friend? Uh, all the food's gone. All the food's gone. Okay, there's a piece of cooked meat. They, they blooming better have eaten. Because we are going on this raid, whether they like it or not. We are going on this raid. Are you with me? Are you with me? I can do alt and all. Hungry and down on luck. A few oh. would be in the world. Okay. Companion. 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 We march. The wrong way, the right way. To battle. <laughs> This is going to be pretty hilarious, I suspect. I'm going in with my hatchet. Oh, we better make sure we don't go through that other bandit camp on the way by accident. Because that would be... Yeah, that would be redonkulous. Okay, good that I thought of that in time. It seems like they all ate that food so I'm gonna just hope that they've got enough food to be getting on with we get we pick up some berries on the way just in case because I really don't need them bailing on me in the middle of that fight that would be El Desastre oh here you go a berry each very nice Okay, yes, I've got some berries to spare, kind soul. Anything if you you'd spare, stop. Kind soul? Me, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, berries. And, uh, hello? Stop moving. Hungry and down on luck. Okay, you're. The, the, I need to give you guys Hungry other clothes. And down on luck. A coin would mean the world. Okay, Uncle Owen. Here's some food for you. Where's, uh,. Ludo, I've got a nice hat for you. Boom, let's go, gang. Let's flip in go. I nearly forgot to give Ludo the hat. I nearly forgot. This is a massive, massive battle. Roar! This is such a ridiculous... Come on! Monkey bonkey! Uh, oh, I got turned around. Oh, no, they're up there. Okay. We're good. Hopefully, we're going to fight six and not ten. This is going to be pretty funny. This is going to be pretty funny. Maybe we can draw them out in small numbers. No full outfits for it. Uh, you've seen how much I've tried. It's really hard to get all this gear together, man. <laughs> it's not like I didn't want to arm them and armor them. It's just a pain in the in the proverbial. Don't forget to stand on my traps. Wow. Wow, rude. All right, gang. Anything you Hungry can spare, down on luck. Where's a coin would mean the world. Where's, where's uh, where's Hodor? Oh my God, Hodor! <sighs> Keep up, will you, man? Has he got crossbow? Oh, I think they've got warhammers, and I think, I think this is gonna be a bad. They've got shields. A 
coin would mean the world. Holy shit, guys. This is this. Okay, we've drawn one out. No, why are you rushing over there? We drew them out. Oh, there's one Uncle Owen's down. Oh, no, this is... Oh! No, oh, no! <laughs> I was like, just draw them out one at a time. Let's draw them out one at a time. Oh. Mistakes have been made. I love that it's F to respawn. F. F. They did ring our bells. Yep. 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 All right. Well, what did we learn today, gang? We learned that if we go into battle unprepared, we get our butts kicked. Okay. We got to get ourselves some, uh, we got to get ourselves better weaponry. I'm going to get a bow. We're not going to do this now though. Okay. We, we, we've got to research the bow. That's the next thing. Okay. It needs river reeds and cords. That's fine. We can do that. All right, gang. There we go. That is your lot for today. I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. I guess we'll save it now, having got our butts whooped. Makes sense. Shoot, why didn't I save before? We went, and then why? It's better that we have to live with the consequences. Bandits 2, Grumbles 1. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get them. We'll get them. All right. Uh, thank you for being here all day with us, folks. I've really appreciated the company. It's amazing to see uh, so many people coming and enjoying something brand new. Little cheeky beta. So I think that shows it resonates well, um, as I would have uh, hoped for within our community. Uh, we're going to go... Where is... Uh, where is Earl? Is El Tigre? There he is. Okay. All right. We're going to go and support my body. Carry on supporting Tiger in his charity week. It looks like he's dressed as Bane. He's playing some construction simulator, day five of seven. So uh, let's go say hi to Tiger and support him. Don't worry, no stress if you can't support the cause directly. Just by being there, being part of the audience, chatting along, having some fun with them. Uh, you're doing a ton to help uh, awareness and uh, support Tiger and give him uh, a... Uh, a smile so let's go tiger's den boom uh wish him well i'll tell you one thing uh he's playing uh with his body skype of cthulhu uh, which i always love that name and they're playing construction simulator and they always put on an absolutely hilarious show in that so i hope you guys are going to enjoy that a ton i'm pretty sure you will in the meantime thank you everybody thank you moderators as well been really good on point today with everything um welcome aboard all the newcomers that joined us uh thanks to uh donkey crew and the dev team uh, who were hanging out in the chat early on to help us get started and whatnot and uh um yeah we'll play some more of this on saturday morning um if all things stay equal uh and uh yeah we'll get some more rim welding uh as soon as we can but uh, like I said, this is just a bit of a time boxing exercise. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go and get some rest and have some cheeky foodie food. But not before I say hi to my buddy Tiger. I wish you all sincerely peace and love in your hearts. Have compassion. Look after yourselves and one another. And I'll see you in the next one. Tomorrow, World of Warships, 10 a.m. Central European time. Myself, Tiger's Den, Grumpy Beard, getting the band back together for uh charity and having some fun in world of warships so i'll see you for shippy ships tomorrow goodbye everybody <laughs>